morning, jewelry makers. If you'd have just seen me then, I look like a newsreader. Slightly less intelligent. <laughs> I thought I'd get that one in there before any of this lot did. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness, like literally, last night I was sat on my sofa, feet up, doggies snuggling, just prep, 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 prep. Um, this morning it's literally just, we're like little bees buzzing around the place because we're so excited for today's show. Um, oh, the lineup is just beautiful. Um, I think, do you, you know, Adam's just said Wayne's very excited. I think it is the most excited I've seen Wayne for any show um, because it is his absolute cup of tea. Now, um, Wayne, senior producer, um, and, and, and Adam, senior director as well, you've, you've worked really hard on today's show, haven't you? Um, you know, because... It's, it's probably one of the most beautiful lineups, but also one of the most exclusive lineups as well of gemstones. So I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Marie. Um, so uh, she's here, she's in the building. Um, and we're just really excited to talk to you about some of the most amazing uh, of the world's gemstones. Um, deals too. Now, if ever you've had your sights on a very high-end gemstone, and maybe it has, has, has possibly been out of your reach in terms of budget, um, then we, with Marie here, we're using her as an excuse um, to take items to absolute rock bottom deals, including Indicolite, mm -hmm. Paraba, mm-hmm. Brazilian Paraba though, I'm not talking about any other location, Brazilian, which is, you know, that's, that's the place to be sourcing it from. Um, we've got a really beautiful uh, black spinel strand to bring you as well. Um, your deal of the day is just some really lovely micro faceted rounds. Look at that, that strand, you know, you know that strand right there? Have you, have you ever noticed the spinel bracelet that Claire wears? Guest designer Claire McDonald wears. Um, it's that. She made it on air with me. Um, it's that, and it just sparkles. It's unbelievable. They're lovely little bicones. I've got an amazing opportunity for the most desirable variety of topaz, which is imperial topaz. Um, do your research between now and then if you want, um, but we've got loads of information, loads of slides to show you as well, even of finished pieces of jewellery that are remarkably similar to the strands that we actually offer you, let's just put it that way. Um, and we've got an hour of the wonderful Alex, so uh, Mineral Guy, um, without Alex. So we've got our Marie, who goes to Alex's um, warehouse, if you like, to source all of your wonderful goodies. So I don't think I've ever had as much prep for one show as today. So this is my little black book that I yours we see we're carrying around so in fact sheets on Paraba, Indicolite these are all my individual notes the ones that are it's going to be it's going to be such a gemmy day um, but what we did think on the back of the fact that it is gemstones 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 we also thought we we're going to do maybe a Swarovski hour for the first hour so we can bring you sparkle in that way I need to mention have, have you seen this have you seen this these lovely little smiley faces these are coming up there's nothing little um, but this is coming up um, within the 12 o'clock hour. So um, e these are so rare, Marie will tell you, but very, very, very few agate slices actually have the, have, have the little faces on there. He, might, he looks a bit confused. <laughs> he looks confused. <laughs> Um, I love it. I think these are absolutely amazing. Um, and I actually asked, well, we've got things like Carson. You've got a Carson showcase. I asked for things like this because um, I don't know when the last time you saw these are, but um, I actually used to, I used to sort of sell these in the jewelers um, that I used to work at. And it's basically a jeweler, it's called a jeweler's roll, basically. And you put all your jewels, uh, gems. I put some of my goodies in there as well. Oh, it's going to be mega, 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 mega. Catch that eye. See this huge bundle. This is an elite bundle. Only 10 customers will actually get the opportunity to purchase all of this Imperial Topaz. So you've got a variation of cuts, shapes, and sizes. Um, now, we've actually found a piece of jewellery. Do you want to show it? Right, so Wayne found this last night. 
Um, it's it, they're briolette drops. You know that shape quite. You're familiar with that shape quite a lot on jewelry maker. How about if we said that we could instead of bringing you the one cut? How about if we said we brought you could bring you this is one, two, three, four, five different cuts of genuine imperial topaz and beat that price. Yeah? Do you see the delivery? Five hundred pounds delivery. I mean, I know insurance is going to be quite steep on Imperial Topaz, but wow. So, yeah, there are only 10 opportunities, though, because it's a very elite gemstone um, to, to be bringing them all to you. Um, I've also got a massive auction, mega auction, actually, with your uh, Paraba. Here it is. Now, not only is it a mega auction, we are planning something a little bit historical here, jewelry makers. Now, this is Brazilian, Brazilian Paraba tourmaline. Um, and we've, we, <laughs> we've tried doing price comparisons and literally nothing is even worth showing. Uh, same, I did the same last night. I was looking at prices of Paraba. Um, well, synth the only ones I could find which were maybe similar were synthetic weren't even genuine gemstones. Um, yeah, they, they, I mean, they, this, these fetch tens of thousands of pounds per carat, and it, particularly it being Brazilian, it, it tends to get that higher price tag. It is that pinnacle location, but that is going to an all-time low price tag, which is just amazing. Your deal of the day, here's the Indicolite, which is just amazing. Um, certainly one of the top rarest colour gemstones on this entire planet. Um, to actually form this gemstone, it's actually a geological... Um, phenomena really <clears throat> so tourmaline with all of that wonderful complexity but one of the rarest colors well blues are the rarest of colors within your tourmaline whether they be the paraba or these lovely teal um in dick like tones so that uh, <clears throat> that's coming your way how many do i have of this strand only 106 um, it's going to be an on and gone opportunity. So we want a very interactive show, jewellery makers. If you have any questions about gemstones, then today is the ideal opportunity for you to text. Marie is going to be joining us from about quarter to the hour um, for your Wall of Fame. So if you've got any gemstone, um, gemology questions whatsoever, then feel free to text in live. In fact, she'd love to hear from you. Oh, it's going to be an absolute cracker. I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. Um, so we thought, okay, just a little bit outside, um, outside of your your gemstone heavy show. We thought we'd do an hour of Swarovski, the beautiful Swarovski, um, and I'm going to get cracking with your alarm clock deal. I think my head's a bit scrambled, isn't it? Too much beauty going on. Oh, it is. That, and that's just the guys in the gallery, they say. Wow, it's a tough job, isn't it, Leah? But some of us have got to do it. i got to do it. Actually, I'm going to start with the gemstone. There we go. Sorry. I've just prep, 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 so my brain's all mush. Um, good morning to you, Annette. Morning, lovely Alan T. Marie uh, and Gemma in one day. You're spoiling us. It's going to be a great day. It's, uh, it really is, Annette. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Shall we start that fantastic day with genuine Burmese blue sapphire? Um, so Burma, Kashmir, Ceylon, I would say those three are are those uh, other locations, you know, like I just said, uh, Brazil to your Paraba tourmaline. It's that pinnacle, if you like. It's on a pedestal. And you can kind of see why. Look at the wonderful quality of saturation, that intensity. This will look beautiful with the Indicolite, don't you think? That is your first price crash. Now, I've already, bre I've already prepped my other half. I'm going to be spending today, just so you know. But what I do get home are going to be amazing investments for the future. Um, and I think this is a great way to start that morning, that spree that I'm going to have 35.95 for 36 carats that is less than a pound per carat for burmese blue sapphire um which is crazy and it's totally and utterly natural we're taking it to a lowest ever price tag because you have tuned in for the breakfast club everybody so as if that isn't amazing already i mean do you know i was thinking last night as i, as I lay my little weary head down um yeah i was like who who can compete 
you know, because there are lots of other suppliers and channels and jewelers that are out there, but none that I know that can offer you 36 carats for less than, 30, less than a pound a carat. None whatsoever. I mean, pop that onto some of your beautiful flex right wire um, and a sterling silver clasp and away you go. How many do I have of these then, Wayne? I have 128 lowest ever price tag jewelry makers look absolutely beautiful alongside your indicolite, don't you think? The indicolite, where's my sheets now? I've got, I'm, 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 all, I'm, all, I'm all discombobulated. Coming up at nine o'clock, where's that gone? So, there it is. Uh, coming up at nine o'clock for your um, for your indicolite, but also it'll go amazingly with your um, paraba and also of course your um, imperial topaz. Lovely, beautiful, waxy luster. Look at that high shine luster, uh, and not a single facet in sight. You know, it just goes to show when you have quality gemstones, you don't always need to have the facets. Hang on a minute. When you said lowest ever price, I thought that was the lowest ever price. I thought that was the lowest ever price. No, the one previously. Wayne says no. No, he says this. He's making friends. <laughs> Wayne says he needs friends, he's all lonely. Ah, lonely. I am so lonely. Uh, if you're giving stuff away, yeah, I'll be a friend. I will. Only if you only if I get sapphire for it though. Twenty-three forty-five. I am all over this. What what's what's the saying? All over it. Just all over it, is it? Just all over it. Like a what? Bad suit. Like a cheap suit. <laughs> All over it like a cheap suit. Hiya, Melanie. Hello to you, Channel Owls. You could get, look, literally, if I just wrap that round, you could get at least, I've never heard that expression either, um, two full genuine sapphire tennis bracelets. Team this with maybe your black spinel as well. I think that would look absolutely beautiful. The black spinel is coming up at 10.45. This is the strand that, that, that Claire McDonald actually wears herself. Look at that. And maybe <coughs> alongside your indicolite as well. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Or, or one of your amazing imperial topaz. Genuine imperial topaz. Certainly one of my favorite gemstones to actually talk about on air. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and the potential of what you can actually achieve. Uh, pop it on top, just one on top of a little pearl. One of the designs that I love that our in-house designers are actually doing at the moment. Good morning, Mary. Hello to you, Shirley. Hello to you, Deborah. Nice to have your company, Barbara, West Midlands. Um, Dumfries and Galloway, you're there as well. Make sure you check out those baskets. Up and out and bright and early this morning, jewelry makers. Well done. Um, okie dokie. Sparkle. Oh, I've not seen these. Never seen these before. Are they all brand new premieres again? Yes, he says. Have you seen these before? It's going to be quite fast and furious. We don't like to ease you into your Thursday morning. Oh, no. No, no, no. Wayne likes to shake us into the morning. 3.45 only for your <laughs> crystal silver night. They're amazing, aren't they? Eight millimeters in their size. And I think we described that as a rondelle shape, wouldn't you? Um, but then in the world of Swarovski, they actually call it a briolette. Um, you get all six of them for that amazing price tag. So premieres, a little bit of sparkle to start your day. Yes, please, yes, please. I don't know why I went all uh, rond rondé. <laughs> Oh, they need to bring that back, don't they? Need to bring that show back. I went all boisey, didn't I? Uh, number three. Ah, oh, as TV series to go, that's got to be one of the best, doesn't it? Here you go. Um, Violet, this is. Four millimetres in their size. Oh, that beautiful sparkle. Act cool, Rodney. Act cool. <laughs> You get 12 of them for £2.30. Now, 
these are genuine Swarovski components. So, you know, if you make your, the Swarovski piece of jewelry itself and you can choose how you go about doing that as well, whether it be a stretchy, whether it be um, on some beading thread, whether it be just one of these on top of a pearl. I know you've got an amazing weekend um, planned as well. So get the Swarovski now so you can be making along, if you like, with the guest designers. It's going to be epic. £2.30 only for all of this lovely sparkle and a very delicate colour, almost a little bit uh, Morganite, don't you think? A little bit Morganite-esque. Um, nice little addition to your stash. Moving on. In fact, I'd use it with these. There we go. That is vintage rose, isn't it? I think. Or dusky. Blush. I was close. Four millimetres in that lovely rose colour. Two pounds thirty. Right, right. We have to buy, obviously Swarovski is not something that we actually produce, we have to buy it from them um, as a global brand. Um, and with all sort of, uh, basically with all of your branded jewellery, watches, timepieces, whichever, and again, past the non-experience from when I worked in the jewellers, they hold their margins higher. So um, it's more difficult for us to bring it to you at a, a much, much, much more affordable price, if that makes sense. So um, we actually aren't making any profits at the moment. This is purely just because we loves you. Um, and so it's all about sort of getting this lovely sparkle back to you. We don't, it, it, it's not, we could never do a whole show of just solely Swarovski, if that makes sense, because we, we are a business, so we have to make money at some point but let's just say Swarovski isn't really lucrative for us but there we go uh £2.30 only well done keep dialing just because I move on doesn't mean you have to we've got quantity these are all brand new premieres oh and you haven't done the breakfast club thing Wayne says which means you haven't got a curfew you can buy it all day that's good because there's a few items that I want already the Burmese sapphire um Swarovski always 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 um so light sapphire it's breakfast club prices without the curfew. Yeah. A double treat? It's full of treats today. Full of treats. Um, I saw a, friend, a post on my Facebook page the other day, and it was one of my friends, she'd, and, and she's mad for the Golden Arches breakfasts. You know those ones? Um, yeah, I'm not massively into them myself. But anyway, she, yeah, she really likes them. And she'd got there, um, and it was like 31 minutes past 10, and they refused. They refused. The only reason I'm saying is that you wouldn't have that issue with us here at Jewelry Maker. Literally, you've got them all day. You can order your breakfast perhaps at, uh, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon if you want to. Um, okie dokie, moving on. Oh, this is lovely opal-like colour. Ooh. I'm just hearing about, about Wayne being shortchanged. By a whole ten pounds. And he was sat there in the drive through arguing. He said uh, they were like, no, come back after we've we've done uh, we've done the, the banking. And he said, No, you'll give it to me now. And they did. Uh two pounds thirty only. Yeah, I should think so too. Two pounds thirty only. This is Pacific Opal. Pacific Opal. Pretty, yeah, almost Parabra-esque, aren't they? Maybe that was the inspiration behind the actual gemstone itself. You get a really, really lovely kind of opaly like colour, so almost a play of colour within each of those rounds. Right, moving on. Uh, this is one of my favourite of all Swarovski colours. It's so pretty. Um, imagine the most beautiful tanzanite. Um, I brought in, actually, my, t you know, the tanzanite ring that I told you about that I, I chipped and smashed and they wanted a four-figure price tag to repair. It's actually in, in here. I can show you. It is smashed, isn't it, Wayne? <laughs> Completely smashed. You've, and Wayne says, I've got that exact same design, but in a Paraba. I said, ah, oh, there we go. Did well there. I can only wish to own a Paraba. Um, he did well, he said. So he did, you did very well, actually, buying that Paraba. Uh, £3.75 for that beautiful 6 mil sapphire. Sapphire colour. Um, 12 within a pack. Yeah, I mean, we are going to be doing a stretchy hour. I think it's next um, next Thursday, isn't it? We're going to be doing a stretchy hour. 
Yes. Um, so I, I, I've been, lots of people say, well, don't, I don't put Swarovski in stretchy braces just through, through fear of the crystal actually cutting the elastic. I do, and it's never happened to me. Never, ever happened to me. Um, 0800, 644, all the domes at Jewel Makeup. Just make sure you use one of the thicker elastics. Hello, Michaela. Hello, darling. Hi, Al. Hope you're well. I didn't like using Swarovski at first, but when I did start, I fell in love with them. Oh, there we go. We've converted you, my darling. Yeah, I get it. Lots of people say that. You know, it's lots of people like, oh, no, I wanted to stick with the original genuine gemstones. But, you know... There's, if we do that, we're kind of just closing doors. Can, why not indulge in a bit of everything? Why not? Um, here we go. Look at this lovely colour. It's a light smoke topaz. That's pretty, isn't it? It's like a champagne diamond. Oh, yeah. Wow. For all of these, 12 of them, imagine that with something like smoky quartz or with... A morganite or with any of your beryls, with diamonds. Um, it's one of those colours that's just going to complement beautifully. £3.75. Oh, you're loving this one. You're loving this one. There's tons of you there. Um, we haven't, have we got a text topic or is it just going to be very gemmy, very gemstone rich? If you could, I know, I've got one. If you could buy, if you, if you won the lottery today, there's a lottery tonight, isn't there? No, tomorrow. If you win the lottery tomorrow... What would be the first gemstone that you bought? Text live. What would be the first gemstone that you bought if you won the lottery tomorrow? Mine probably would be a Paraba. Yeah, I was going to say mine probably be Paraba or a whopper of a Colombian emerald, possibly. Um, yeah, surrounded by oodles of diamonds, of course. What would you get waiting? A diamond grill, would you? Um, Adam says he'd get a diamond encrusted dollar sign necklace and walk in like that. Yeah. Because he is so gangster, our Adam. <laughs> Rocking in like P. Diddy. Is he still called that? I don't know. Um, here we go. Puffy, P. Diddy, Symbol, whatever his name. Well, Prince did that, didn't he? He turned himself into a symbol. Uh, fuchsia. Ooh. <clears throat> Beautiful. Hot Cerise Pink. Hiya, Sue. Morning. I would buy the largest piece of Amalite. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one, actually. Yeah, because there's another one locational gemstone. Um, good one. And, that's, uh, and see, that's one of the gemstones that I think, you know... Um, it's not as as well known, but it's got a fantastic story behind it. Yeah, good one. Like that. Yeah, like that. So Parabe, as we mentioned. Um, you'd buy this. Yeah, you don't need to win the lottery for that, though. You don't need to win the lottery for that one. Uh, <clears throat> Wayne says he'd buy all the smiley faces and turn it into a wall. Well, you'd be happy all the time, wouldn't you? Because some of them like this, some like this. Some are... Yeah, no, they're, they're all very jovial faces, though, aren't they? Um, all hand-picked as well. <clears throat> right, this is just so ons. He's a bit like... Oh. I can't, I can't quite do the shape of his mouth. <clears throat> these are your lovely sew-on drops so use them in your textiles and haberdashery as well um, this, these would be ideal across both of our um, jewellery maker obviously and also um, our sister channel too don't you think um, £2.45 for genuine Swarovski so your Shibori silks your Soutash um, your beading foundation um, that leatherette that we had the other day that um, faux leather um, upcycling blouses and and and, and so sort of handbags all those kind of things hiya karen morning l wayne adam marie and team so if i've missed anyone else um lucy 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 uh, thank you for your hard work it is appreciating spreading the love and leah and leah and leah yep to, leah's not leah you're you're a replacement this morning aren't you I am. your beautiful wife oh no lucy's there 
You're Emma. Emma's birthday yesterday. I'm all discombobulated. <laughs> Any excuse to say that? Um, hello, Margot. If I won the lottery, the first stone I would buy is um, a little chunk of Tenerife. Oh, an actual chunk. Oh, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> I was a bit slow on that then, Margot. Sorry. Uh, just your little chunk. Yeah, exactly. Buy an island. Just buy a little, little island. And have it have it as your own little island. That'd be nice. Hi, Susan. I would buy Michael Wolf because he's a gem. He'll be in the bargain basement soon. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't need to win the lottery. I'm joking, Michael. If you're watching, he knows we love him really. Hi, Sharon. Morning, Al. Uh, for me, Russian Alexandrite, 100%. That's a good one too. That's a really good. One. I love this. All these suggestions. In fact, we'll have to ask the question to Marie as well when she steps in the studio. I reckon it would be tourmaline, some kind of tourmaline she would go for. Um, okay, moving on. Oh, this is a whopper. What a whopper. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say it like that. <laughs> Beautiful whopper of a Swarovski Aquamarine. Isn't that lovely? For your prong setting, one by 95. Um, I would go for a big Burmese ruby. Yeah, I'd be tempted by that too. Surrounded by zircon. Uh, my lad would go for a gorgeous aquamarine. Um, it's his favorite stone ever. I think, yeah, you'd probably have to have that specially made, I think, there, Michaela. Yeah, because um, it would, the natural addition to a Burmese ruby would probably be a diamond. But yeah, lovely. Hi, a cat. I'd buy Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, Black Opal, and Laramar. Yeah. Yeah, that. Um, all I'm going to say, Kat, hold fire for the Laramar. I've said too much. I have, I have said too much, Kat. And anybody else that loves Laramar. <laughs> I'm not, very, I'm not very good at winking. They were like, what was that? I can't actually do a wink without screwing my one side of the face up. Here you go. These are different. Leaf so on stones. I'm all right, I promise. Your leaf so on stones. These are different. Gorgeous electric paraba green. Um, they're so pretty, aren't they? I'd actually use those as connectors as well, don't you think? You wouldn't necessarily have to sew them on. You could actually use them with jump rings, just in between um, the jump rings or maybe with some of your cup chain. Um, yeah, shepherd hook, one of these, and then maybe a, um, a little wrap loop with a pearl at the bottom there. Stunning, absolutely stunning. £3.45. So pretty, and you do get the pair of them as well. Oh, my Apple, uh, my iPad rather has just uh, decided to do, has just decided to do a reboot, a download. I think perfect timing. Anyway, so I can't say hello to you, but well done. <coughs> Coming up, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got this beautiful Swarovski cup chain. Now, this is crazy. I remember launching cup chain. Um, the first time it was actually on air and they were they all started I think it was um, a slightly different size to this but I think they were around 24 pounds weren't they when they originally first came to air um, and then they sort of fluctuated you know we might have been able to bought more and be able, been able to give it to you at a slightly lower price tag well uh, this is amazing the star buy price on this is absolutely unbelievable and I have got a mega auction quantity hence the price um, all I'll say is, just to give you a little bit of a handy hint, is Beyonce likes that price tag. Yeah, yeah, that's as much as I'm going to say. Moving on. Oh, I'm round here. See, I'm doing all right, and I'm squeezing it all in. Oh, <laughs> apparently not fast enough. Sorry. Okay. 
Look at that. There's only 32 of these. Oh, 32 to squeeze in. Oh, I see. Not 32 of these within the vault. £2.45. Oh, it's like a Madeira Citrine, isn't it? I always think that when I look at Swarovski when they describe it as topaz. For me, that's more like a Madeira Citrine colour. <clears throat> ah, ah, yeah. We have got Madeira Citrine. Or oh, we did. Yeah, I think we've had one strand. Yeah, it sold out really quickly. Um, two, we're looking to get more. Two forty-five only for this absolutely beautiful color saturation. Eight by six millimeters in their size. For that low, low price tag. Oh, he's the man in the know, is our Wayne. He's he knows what's planned. He knows what's coming around. In a year's time. <laughs> oh, well, the collections. You know the little faceted collections, jewellery makers? There are loads of different gemstones coming your way in the future. Ooh. With quantity as well. Oh, 500 quantity in some of them. Let's just say one of, one of which is the oldest gemstone on this planet. Mmm, Navette smoked topaz. Look at that. So like a marquee slight shape. You could use this with, um, <laughs> you could use this with your cerulean. You could use it in your prong setting, your gem setting. Um, you can use it in your channel setting. Um, there's nothing wrong with you actually just gluing this. Certainly, I saw a lovely uh, Tracy Spurgeon earlier on. So a bit of silver clay, amazing. Uh, Three forty-five only for these. Um, you do get <coughs> the six of them. Hiya, Karen. Oh, I would buy all the Spectralite um, I could get my hands on and some watermelon tourmaline. That's a good one um, as well. Oh, yes, black opal um, and mark to design. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Listen, you don't have to... You, you've, you've got all the money that you can imagine. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Yorkshire, I would have uh, ceiling-to-floor pearl curtains. Amazing. Literally just... <laughs> surrounded by pearls that sounds so beautiful hello justine morning ellen team i would buy the biggest black opal i could find on the back did you see the did you see the black opal the other day wow 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 sold out sold out in a heartbeat but on tuesday wasn't it oh my goodness me it was amazing it was amazing moving on black opal's a, a firm favorite isn't it <clears throat> we have asked for more um, look at this beautiful. Look at that colour. Oh, see, that's that's like fairies and unicorns, um, and all things whimsical. Um, so you get your, you've got your AB coating. So it's your light rose with your AB coating. Yeah, my eye. I'm whimsical. Uh, am I? A bit like Kate Bush. I think she'd be described as whimsical. Kate Bush. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got, do you know, it's weird because I've, I've referenced her, I don't know how many times recently, but yeah, um, Willow's got a favourite song, for some reason she's found True Colours by Cindy Lauper, and we were, dan she was dancing around, Mummy dance with me, and she properly dances like Kate Bush. God bless, you're happy in your own little world. Two colours. Right, here we go. It's 4 95 for 48 in a pack with that AB coating. You just get that really bridal appearance. They'd be lovely in your hair vines and things like that too. Um, amazing uh, uh, sort of adornments, but the sole uh, focus of a piece of jewellery can be all about Swarovski, especially this time of year, don't you think? 0800 644 655. Um, I can't see you yet because, like I said, my, my, my tablet decided to do a little update. Um, get start. Oh, it's doing. I've got to do the get started and all that again. All that malarkey. Here we go. I think I'm back in. I think. Hiya, Mel. Hiya, Janet. Hiya, Pam. Christine and Susan. Hiya, Carol and Maureen. Hi, Melissa. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Joe. Hi, new buyer. There we go. I'm back. I'm back in the game. Sorted. Back in the game and up and down the UK and all around the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Moving on. Oh, you're going to love this. Hang on. There we go. 
This is a lovely colour. Light Siam AB. $7.95 only. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful for all your Bollywood-inspired pieces of jewellery? Um, teamed alongside your gold wire or your gold-plated sterling silver, whichever you wish. That's a pack of 48. Um, straight away, we've got collectors um, getting involved. $7.95. Siam, um, and the same applies with crystal as it is your Mayuki. Um, and I'd imagine all things sort of beading and red apparently is one of the most expensive color pigments to actually purchase. So um, that's why you don't actually see that much of it in sort of your Mayuki and your, uh, and your Swarovski here at Jewelry Maker. Well done. I'm moving quickly. Moving quickly. <laughs> Ish. It says. <laughs> I'm moving at what pace? An average pace. Okay. Fair enough. You want more Usain Bolt? Or what's his name? What's the new guy now that uh, did that marathon in like something stupid like five minutes? <laughs> it wasn't quite five minutes, I know. It was like two hours, wasn't it? Under two hours. Have you? And I was watching a video of this guy trying to actually. No, it was a, it was a school friend actually who's pretty fit, um, and he runs regularly. Well, he went. It was a video. His wife was videoing him on a treadmill running at the equivalent speed that he, that bloke could have had to run the marathon and he could he couldn't even manage a minute it was that fast it was that fast uh, yeah it's that that sprint pace for most people or beyond sprint pace for most people as well so you're getting three of these but it would be me anyway oh bye <laughs> <laughs> these is yeah you've got your lovely graduated pendants and you get them times three and um, these are very popular um because all you need to do especially if you're brand new these are so simple because all you need to do is open and close um a shepherd hook attach one of these um and likewise with a jump ring and you've just you know put that do that multiple times over and you've just made yourself a suite of jewellery. So one in each ear and one around the neck. Uh, $4.95 only for the Siam Red. I'd be inclined to maybe use these alongside. What do you think? Would you put them together? Yeah? I think so. And maybe some of the topaz as well. Moving on. Moving on to your ruby. Woby. Ruby would be up there with me as well. I think I'd be I think I'd be choosing a ruby and emerald, a paraba. It's all of a sudden it's not that first gemstone. I'm just I'm just reeling off my I'm reeling off my wish list. Yeah, Alexandrite for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um Do you know what? Just a whopper of a tanzanite. Do you know I always I always find myself looking for at tanzanite jewellery, so Maybe a really nice, lovely tanzanite ring, which wouldn't necessarily be the most expensive out of the, the, the lineup that I've just described, but it's definitely one of the most beautiful. Um, so again, you get the three pendants here. What would you get, Lucy? London. A London blue topaz? Yeah, good call. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah, you don't see that much London blue topaz in jewellery at the moment, and that's because it's, it's so expensive to, to, to treat. Four ninety five for these. Um, perfect for your Christmas gifts. You know, that is a secret Santa price, isn't it? You know, just just consider that for a minute. If you do secret Santa in your workplace, you, know, you could make, okay, just a little bit of extra investment with your shepherd hooks and your findings. You could actually make a suite of jewellery. Hiya, Poppy. Hi, El. I would buy all the aquamarine, tanzanite and amber I could. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love that. It's all turned into our, our, our favourite gemstones now, hasn't it? Our top gemstones. Hiya, Jane. Uh, morning, El. Um, if I could afford it, would be Sleeping Beauty would be the Sleeping Beauty mine. Oh, you want to buy the whole mine? Fair enough. Um, um, I love the story. Um, I know it's closed. Uh, then a huge pearl. Yummy. Yes. That sounds beautiful. Well, you just want to own the location of the Sleeping Beauty mine. Yeah, I mean, that in itself is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Um, tune in tomorrow because we've got some amazing pearls tomorrow. South Sea Pearls and Saturday and Sunday. South Sea Pearls, yeah, that would have to be up there, I think. Lovely. There's not many gemstones that I would, I, you know, there's not... Would I turn down any gemstone, actually, for that matter? Possibly not. These are lovely. So we've got a really rich, like a Zambian amethyst colour. £3.99. 
three ninety five only for these. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how they're at three ninety five. Oh, they're meant to be four ninety five. Wayne said, "Oopsie, oopsie." Um, okay, so there we are. A little typo. Is is? Uh, you, did your sausage fingers miss the digit? <laughs> He hasn't actually got sausage fingers. <laughs> he hasn't actually. I don't mean it, Wayne. <laughs> With the rhodium silver colour on the reverse there. <laughs> Hiya, Denise. <laughs> it's you, Pamela. I've got an image now in my head. <laughs> uh, Janet Mel, well done. Hello to you, Warwickshire, Samina and Susan. Congratulations. Check out, check out, check out. Lovely. Um, what's that? They're well, absolutely. You've, made, you've taken advantage of the sausage fingers, haven't you? <laughs> Literally. Sorry, sorry, Wayne. I don't mean it. He hasn't. He's got very elegant hands. He could be a hand model, don't you know? <laughs> That's a thing, isn't it? A hand you can be a hand model. Um, yeah, because I don't know if I should say that. I gotta say it. You know there's a bit of a running joke about my feet, about my toe in particular. You know, there's have you heard this? There's a bit of a running joke because I do actually have quite a large big toe. Toes I do have two. Um, um but once upon a time, before, I think I just started presenting and somebody asked me to be a foot model. And I literally, I think I laughed and laughed and laughed so much. I was like, no, I can't, I can't put my big toes out there. Uh, it's true. So they can't be that bad. My whopper. They're all like little suction pads, like frogs, really. Wayne's just ignoring me now. What is she talking about? Hi, Marie. Hi, how are you? Yeah, anyway, moving on. I'll change the, I'll change, I'll change the subject. No, don't ask her yet. Don't ask her yet. She's going to... A red diamond. Oh, she's... He'd already asked her by the time I said that. Three ninety five for these, so a lovely light turquoise colour. It should be four ninety five, but because basically the typo earlier, it just basically matched the price for you. So Tracy, Jeanette, hello, uh, Janet, sorry, um, Elizabeth, Denise, Janice, Pamela, Yorkshire, all making taking advantage of these amazing Breakfast Club price tags. They are available to you all day as well, so um, there's no curfew on this one. I'm just thinking Secret Santas. These would be amazing, wouldn't they? To make sweets of jewellery for less than five pounds, and you could actually make a sweet of jewellery now with the, with the addition of even sterling silver, uh, shepherd hooks, and a jump ring, and maybe um, sort of pop it on a nice bit of cord or ribbon or lace, any of those things. Sterling silver chain, of course. Um, grab these whilst you get the chance. They are beautifully finished as well. So rhodium, by the way, did you know rhodium is six times the price of gold? I learned that the other day. Six times the price of gold, um, and actually uh, rarer than gold as well. It brings a, a really beautiful brightness um, to your precious metal, and you tend to rhodium plate things like your silver, your white gold, because it gives that wonderful brightness and crispness to it. So very lustrous material. Um, okay, Maria's here. She's getting oh, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Maria's getting mic'd up. She's almost ready to rock and roll. It's going to be like a, a, a very a lovely, it, relaxed morning of amazing gemstones and massive deals. Um, so this is your gorgeous blue zircon. Look at this colour. Um, Indicolite inspired. Indicolite inspired colour. Well, or blue zircon, of course, like your Ratnakiri. Um, so yeah, we've brought you a few of these little uh, trilogies, haven't you? These lovely pendants. Three necklaces for less than four pounds. That's amazing, isn't it? That's, that's what you can potentially do. Achieve three necklaces for less than four pounds. Um, pop it on a chain, pop it on. Again, you can suspend these, you can sew these. Um, there's just, you don't have to use that, the actual bale itself. These are, if I turn it that way, you can see. You don't actually have to use the, uh, the bale. 
If you need to re uh, remove that, then you definitely can. You can macrame around them as well. I think that'd be quite cool. Under four pounds only for these, everybody. Um, all coming your way at absolute rock bottom prices. And many of these have actually been premiered. So never even been on your screens before. Good morning, Leslie, Debbie, Janet, Pamela, Wendy, London, Heather, Samina, Ellen, Warwickshire, uh, Claire, Kat, Channel Isles, Adele, Janice. Hello to you, Yorkshire. Check out, check out, check out, everybody. Um, if you are, if you've got anything planned don't go anywhere honestly it's cold it's miserable it's going to be bucketing down all day apparently that's what i read last night so staying with us on the warm um and let's feel inspired by the lovely marie we've got literally so many beautiful gemstones to bring you um up next though it's your star bye <laughs> Mega auction jewelry makers, mega auction. So I've got just shy of 300 of these. Um, and like I said, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. It's going to a crazy low price tag. When we first launched your cup chains, your Swarovski cup chains, they were, in my head, I know they had different sizes as well, but I'm fairly sure they were about 24 pounds or there or thereabouts. They might have been a little bit lower on other occasions. Let's get the clock rocking though, because this is going to be a massive, massive deal. Um, so yeah, they were around 24 pounds. They might have gone down a little bit. They might have been held up. A price it all depends on the actual purchase uh, deal that we're able to acquire now just because it's the start of what we will be an absolutely mega day we thought let's do something a little bit special um, I love this color it's so it's your white opal you get that and it literally is like looking at some beautiful um, Ethiopian opal framed stunningly well in a lovely um, 18 co uh, 18 karat gold color uh, cup chain so um, these are Again, um, have got they have got the they concertina together. You can remove these, you can separate these, you can use them as little individual solitaires if you wanted to, because there is an area for you to sew through or add your wire. Um, massive and definitely one of those items that you are very versatile. You know, you can macrame around them, you can cut them and just pop them onto some um, a, a clasp of any of your of your. Um, choice of course um, you can glue them you can sew them there's just so much potential with them as well 50 centimeter length that you actually get um extended so if i just show you what we mean by that so can you see how they do actually sort of concertina together can you see that so if you actually remove that piece that's running through the bottom of each of those um, each of those uh, cup chains, uh, cups rather than, they can be little solitaires. Um, 278 is how many I actually have exactly. And just to give you an example, one bracelet, two bracelets. That is potentially three bracelets with your clasps, with your findings, Let's bring that price onto your screen because we are actually running out of time. 30 of these have gone already. Flown out the door. And we're at a single figure price tag. I mean, you could literally just kind of sew them onto lapels, couldn't you? You could almost sew it onto the lapel of your jacket. What do you think? Bit glitzy. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? That works. You could actually sort of macrame in and around this as well. Um, you can use it for your bridal creations, your shibori silk, all of the above. It's very versatile. You're all over it. I would be as well. In fact, I might have to get a, a quite a few of these because I think in terms of actually achieving that opal tennis bracelet look, but for a fraction of the cost, and like I said, you could actually technically make one for less than four pounds. Well, because I said three rotations, yeah. £3.32 uh, per, per bracelet. And that's using a very simple, basic technique. Check out, though. Hello, Susan. Hello to you, Channel R. Samina, Marilyn, Wanda. Cheryl, Jacqueline, you're there as well. Um, if you have any questions that um, are, well, obviously gemstone-related, ideally, you know, that you would love to put to Marie, then she is going to be arriving um, literally imminently. I can see her in the gallery. Uh, see her in the gallery. So, yeah, your wall of fame is going, to, uh, is going to be in just a few moments. She was trying to eat her breakfast. Bring your breakfast in. You can have it in the break, can't you? Simon made you a sandwich. Um, I mean, I mean, 
Uh, Simon, um, I mean, we're all here too. Awkward. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. But they're all just they're all just starving here. Nine ninety five only. Everybody, Jeanette, Debbie, hello to you, North uh, North Lincolnshire, Susan. Well done. Okay, everybody, um, keep on dialing through. You haven't got a curfew for your breakfast club hour, so you can get those actually for the entirety of the day. Just today, just today though. Um, time for us to show off your wonderful talents. It's the Wall of Fame. She's here! Hello! Hi! Hooray! Oh, right. How are you? I'm good. Was thank that a you. good wrap? I've only eaten half of it, but yes, it was very good. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, so we weren't hungry anyway. So, sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm... I'm only teasing. Right, then, um, we're so excited about today, Marie. I know, I know. It's going to be sleep mega. sleep last night with excitement. I know, I know. <laughs> I, know. I was prepping until all the, the early hours. Take it away, though, because this is always oh, good fun. I know. What, nice way to so start the day. me in early to do this. Oh, God. Look at that. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, number, sorry, 274. Steve Farnsworth. Hi, jewelry maker. I've been crafting for three months and I'm loving it. You've been three months and this is what you made? Uh, this is a sun catcher that a friend requested who loves giraffes. Hope you like it. I've also included a few of my pieces as, as I have made as a beginner. It's difficult for me as I have a lot of long-term illnesses which makes it hard to do, but I absolutely love my new creative side thanks to JM. Uh, love your addictive channel which has inspired me so much. Uh, thanks for everything you've given me. From Steve. Oh, that is Steve. amazing. Keep crafting. Yeah, you're brilliant. Yeah, you're really, brilliant. really brilliant. Uh, 279, I've got really beautiful. Very, uh, look at that. Oh, look cheerful, at that. Cheerful, sweet. Yeah. 279 is coming from Suzanne Terry. Hello, Suzanne. Hello to everybody at Jewelry Maker. This is my Wall of Fame entry made from uh, a shell pearl scoop um, I bought ages ago. All the components are from Jewelry Maker. I really love them. I made three pairs of earrings as I could not decide which designs looked better. Uh, best of luck to everybody who entered. Oh, that's They're lovely. They're lovely, yeah. That's and you really can mix nice. and match that then, can't you? Yeah. Number 275, well, I recognise these. Uh, <laughs> morning, Jewelry Maker. This is from Brenda. This is my first ever entry. I've been making carry shell rings for years, but as JM are now selling them, it is now so much easier. Everything from JM, hair bands and combs, gold-plated copper wire. Really need to win, so good luck to me. Good luck to you, Brenda. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> uh, some beautiful seed beading here. Oh, my goodness, this is adorable. 280. Oh, look. From, oh, I shouldn't be surprised, the wonderful Nikki Mellish. Hello, Nikki. These are amazing. Oh, God, this is my entry those. to the Wall of Fame. They are birthday presents for my dad. He loves steam trains. It was so lovely seeing Claire, Alison, Deb, and Patty at the Big Bead Show. Good luck to all my fellow offers. Love, Nikki. Nikki, they are beautiful. And happy birthday to your dad. Oh, 276. Brenda Chibwell-Smith. Morning, here is my Wall of Fame ent entry. A bead and seed bead bracelet made with seed beads and Cali beads that were on with Patty McCaw at the weekend. We would love to win, uh, but good luck to all Wall of Famers. I Brenda? Made, I made one of those. Did you? Yeah. That looks really hard yeah, and, to me. And, and Ben. Wow. No, they weren't. Actually. They weren't. Um, look at these, beautiful. Oh, 281. It's from David Price in Manchester. Hi all, please find attached. My latest entry. All three crosses were made using scrap copper, original sheets purchased from Jewelry Maker. A wax um, original was made for all three crosses and moulds made using the Delft clay. Um, the centre cross is my um, interpretation of the Canterbury cross. Uh, the crystals on the left, on the left um, is a Swarovski purchased from Jewelry Maker and I've made them uh, so that they look old. Best wishes to all at Jewelry Maker and all fellow entrants. That's David Price. That's, That's amazing. amazing. They're brilliant, Clever aren't you? Two seven seven. Barney Gibson. Hello, Jewelry Maker. Here are some tiny earrings into which I've set Swarovski to the tiny half drill pearls. Fiddly but pleased with the result and my craft favourite method of making jewellery. Watch this weekend then. Yeah, She's perfect. back with the pearl drills. Yeah, it rip, it rip. <gasps> I'm not giving away secrets already. I'm going to get kicked off. <laughs> 
that. It's all right. Yes, I've already been. Jan's back. Yay! Mm. Look at this. I know who the inspiration oh, look. here. Two hundred eighty-two oh, is from Francis, um, in Somerset. Hi all. This babushka was made from a, the recent red kit. I added flower motif, motifs made with super duos left over from a previous project. Also, uh, the red round beads and bugles are from the bead box. Love it. Oh, well, she's beautiful, isn't it, Francis. Isn't it? Love that. Two eight two. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got one. 278. Sarah. Hi, all. My entry this week is made from a mixture. Different coloured appetite aquamarine nuggets and dyed red howlite that I bought when JM started. I love being able to reinvent jewellery. Making something new always feels like Christmas. Good luck to everyone. From Sarah. Oh, that's Amazing. Lovely as well. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. those colours. Mm -hmm. um, and likewise, speaking of colour, 283 is from Jackie in Kingham. Hiya, Jackie. Um, this woodland jasper is the simplest thing I've made for a long time, but it's so beautiful. Sold the one in the picture and another slightly different. I'm sure they sold so quickly because I could uh, I could stop my, couldn't stop myself picking them up and talking about them. Um, have since bought two more strands. Have a good week, and that's Jackie. There we go. Yeah, everybody wow. does love the woodland jasper, oh, don't they? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's yeah. really lovely. It appeals oh, to everyone. Well, speaking of beauty, Marie... Gems have we, we got, got this, an absolute it? cracker of a show? I know. So <laughs> I think yes, a jackpot, right? we, were, we have. <laughs> so yesterday we were all sat. Uh, not wasn't yesterday. It was the day before, wasn't it? Mm. Um, we were all sat down, sort of thinking, you know, utopia. If we could choose any gemstones, what would they be? And you pretty much gave us the nod of approval for all of them. I know. Wasn't, I think I only heard you say no once. Did you? That's that, quite impressive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yes, I think we did well. <laughs> yeah, um, that would have been Wayne. So we've got his luck. a very elite opportunity on Imperial Topaz, which is the bundle, mm. um, and it's going to an amazing deal. We've got Indicolite. Yeah, which Pareva. I don't think we've seen before here at Jewelry Maker. Well, very rarely, know. definitely not since I've been here. No, no. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. It's very hard to get. Um, are we running out of time, Adam? Oh. Um, okay, so we've got Paraba coming yeah. your way. We've got a really beautiful strand of black spinel, mm. which actually Claire McDonald wears on a daily basis. What else do we have? Your deal of the day is stunning. All microfaceted yeah. gemstones, and we have you. Yay! <laughs> so it's going to be amazing. I did say earlier on, if you've got any questions for Marie, do um, then do in. feel free yep. to text in. Don't go anywhere because it's going to be an amazing show. It really is. We shall return after this. This weekend is our magical winter wedding weekend and we have got the perfect deal of the day. On Sunday, we have finally got back in stock the Flexrite 7, which is our micro strand micro wire, which is perfect for your pearls for your wedding, which we have copious amounts of this weekend. So we haven't seen it since June. We are super excited that it's back in stock for you. So if you want to get hold of it, you need to join us at 11 a.m. this coming Sunday. Hi, I'm Gemma Crow, guest designer here at Jewelry Maker, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about a project show that we've got coming up on the 24th on the Mid Show. The project show focuses on one particular project, which is a more in-depth piece that I can take you through the whole process. So we'll be having a demonstration every hour, and as we build through those hours, you'll learn everything you need to know to make this particular statement piece. It's not going to be a kit, it will be different components that we do throughout the show. So we'll start, we'll have that beautiful lapis, um, gorgeous carnelians, seed beads, and um, your findings and everything you need to make this as we go through. So make sure you can tune in on the 24th on the mid show from one till six to see this project in all its stages come together. Hope to see you there.
Now this weekend, it's our winter wedding weekend. And what is a wedding all about? Well, it's a celebration of love. And if there's one thing that you're going to love this weekend, it's the incredible treats that we've got for you. Now, what's the thing that we think about with a wedding? It's pearls, isn't it? We've got every kind of pearl. We've got Marbay pearls, freshwater pearls, potato pearls. We've got peacock pearls, you name it, we've got them. Even Baroque pearls. Also, we have got, back in stock, we've got the incredible Dremel tool. And not just that, we've also got all of the different sizes of the pearl burrs for you and great availability this time as well. So hopefully if you want one, you'll get your hands on one. Also amazing, beautiful kits, perfect for wedding jewellery. And alongside that, we've got some of your most favourite guest designers. We've got Linda Brumwell, we've got Mark Smith, we've got Monica, we've got Sheila, we've got Alison, we've got Fleur. Gravy. Gravy, Jandwire, the pearly queen herself. Uh, all coming on air for you and uh, deal of the days. I've just got to mention, we've got deal of the days with pearls, sterling silver, sterling silver three chain deal. And we know how you love those. And finally, back in stock after four months, the Flex, right? Seven as well. It is going to be an action packed weekend. Make sure you are there this Friday, Saturday and Sunday at Jewelry Maker for our winter wedding weekend. You come into the studio and we smother you in Paraba. <laughs> oh, I do, yes. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it lovely? Can't complain. No. I know, Paraba Tourmaline, and someone's got to do it. Yeah, um, now, job. that is actually coming up. The Paraba is coming up. When? Remind me. Wayne? What time are we doing the Paraba? 10 o'clock. Big historical auction on your Paraba Tourmaline. Um, look at that. I mean, to really be able beautiful. to say that in one show, and I've I've worked with gemstones for a long time, as uh, um, I know you have, but in one show, in a five-hour conversation, if you like, I've got Indicolite and Paraba Tourmaline. I know. That's pretty spectacular. It is. And Imperial Topaz. That's pretty amazing. And, you know, as, as shows go, this has got to be creme de la creme. Oh, that's nice to know. It, well, it is. It really, really is. Show. And we were both saying, you know, um, I don't, I don't recall. Actually, I've certainly never brought Indicolite to air. No, well, I certainly haven't purchased it since I've been with the business. So this so, is the first yeah, Indicolite I've been purchase. Looking for it. Yeah. So it's wow. taken me how long? I've been here about eighteen months now. That's how long it's taken me to find it. Wow. Yeah. So um, obviously. Tourmaline comes is known to be one of the most colourful of gemstones, but there are three colours in particular that command the highest prices. Yeah. And they are your Paraba. Yeah. Which is that lovely electric neon blue. Yes. Um, yes, <laughs> like the one that's coming up at 10 o'clock. Rubellite, which is like the pink red. Yeah. Which is beautiful. Beautiful colour, yeah. And indicolite. Yeah. Now, I was doing quite a lot of research last night, and indicolite, um, it can be in an ombre of colours, but it ha it's, it's that wonderful, it's almost a little bit teal, isn't it? It is. And you've got to think the reason it comes in this variety of colours is because of the nature of the tourmaline. Mm -hmm. So when you turn the tourmaline crystal, it will change from one colour to another. So the colour saturation will become deeper when you look down what we call the C-axis. Yeah. Um, so when you get the ombre, they will cut it according to its best colour. In, because in it's very direction. pleochroic as well, isn't it? Yeah. Highly, highly pleochroic yeah. too. Um, now, I'm going to get the clock rocking because we've actually got how many of these? 106. To say that you own in Dicolite is just absolutely amazing. I mean, like I said, we, we, were, we were all... Um, we were all literally researching, researching in the, in the, in the run-up to today's show. And I've, I found some wonderful things here. Usually, uh, it's very, visually very distinctive um, in comparison to your Paraba tourmaline. Um, indicolite is uh, derived from the Latin word uh, indicum, which basically means blue dye obtained from various plants. Oh, right. There and you go. it can be indig indigolite as well with the indigolite. G, because in some of the gem books, yeah, it's spelled. They refer to it as that. Um, and also the Greek word lith 
Ethos, which basically means strong indigo blue. Um, but cutting, I'm glad you mentioned the cutting because that's something I was reading a lot about. Um, and do get as well. We've shown, we've got we've got this. We brought this in to show you. I have to go back to the cutting. But this is something that Wayne's printed off, and that's actually the lab report, isn't it? Yeah. So this is what you that? get. Do you want yeah. me to come back to it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you were talking about the cutting. I did. I Whichever did. Whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> Which do you want to talk about first? We can talk about the certificate. So this was one where I asked for Indicolite, and then I get offered all sorts of things, as you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, because I work in a very challenging marketplace. So, um, and so when it came back and the certificate said, you know, it's tourmaline, I said that I want them to state that it's indicolite, but, but normally that doesn't happen with a laboratory because this is a trade name and it will name yeah. the actual material. Okay. Uh, so, so I asked Prakash to contact the laboratory and actually have it put onto the certificate because it is so hard to get. Yes. So they did. So they did. Yeah. So on the certificate, it actually says, and I don't know if you can see here, specific comments. Uh, this blue coloured tourmaline uh, can also be called indicolite tourmaline in, as in, in the trade, it basically says. Um, and that obviously gives you the weight, the carrot weight, the colours. Yeah, so that's my certificate that I, I use uh, within our system. Yes, so it's is... not the certificate that the customer will no, receive, no, no, but no. that, that but just... to me is that's the confirmation that I know it's been through that laboratory. It's a really good laboratory. And they've confirmed it is what I'm asking. Is for. what it is, yeah. and that in itself, you know, um, we've. I've, I don't think I've ever actually shown you, shown our viewers your lab reports before. No. So that's how exciting this opportunity actually is. Going back to the cut, because yeah, I was so excited. So what do I talk about <laughs> first? Um, because it is very, very highly pleochroic, and it's 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 important that these are sort of placed in the hands of highly skilled lapidists, isn't it, to make the most of the pleochroism. And as you said. This, I was reading a lot about that sort of C axes and how they actually sort of utilised utilise it to the best because it forms in, in quite a diverse crystal. It does. I asked Wayne if he could get me a strand of the little crystals. Did you manage? But they're not here. Not here. <laughs> um, we're going to use a different crystal. Okay. But I, don't, I couldn't get a tourmaline crystal. I've been trying to buy a tourmaline crystal, a really nice one for a long time, but they're just impossible to get hold of. And probably quite expensive. Very, very, yeah, very expensive. So, um, so I haven't managed to get one. And I, I do have a few in, the, in my marketplace out there, but I couldn't get hold of one for today. So we're going to pretend this quartz crystal is a tourmaline, is a tourmaline. crystal. So um, tourmaline grows as a long crystal like this, uh, but it's actually triangular in shape. And if we do get the uh, items over from the warehouse later, I'll show you. Um, and what you find is that the colour will vary when you look across it this way and when you look down it. Because this is the C-axis. This is the C-axis, the long axis uh -huh. that goes down in the world of crystallography. And so the colour will be paler when we look across it this way and darker when we look down the c-axis yeah so when the cutter is looking at the crystal and deciding what he's going to make from that crystal he's actually going to look at the color in both directions and decide which is the better color to show so you'll see in our strand it's ombre so you will find that some of them he's done down the c-axis some across the c-axis to get a variance of color throughout uh, the strand yes so yeah so that's how so the cutting is really really important uh, of, in all the tourmaline families but I think when you want when you're looking at something that in itself is already very very rare you don't want a lot of wastage from that crystal either so you don't want to have just all the palest palest ones I, that's why we went for the ombre strand so that you could have that effect of having the best of all the axes. It's so beautiful. Um, oh, here we go. Here Wayne's we go. Here we go. We've got oh, the actual. We've got the rough crystals. So you actually asked Wayne yeah, to. I sent um, in today because we do in. sell these, and um, and they're one of my favourite things because I do absolutely love tourmaline, as everybody knows, mm -hmm. and all gemologists are the same. Yeah, <laughs> we all love tourmaline. Well, because I guess there's there's more there's more of a story behind the tourmaline than many other gemstones. I think I think when you get a gemstone that's so diverse and it's got these huge pocket pockets of value with its colour, yeah. and then you get watermelon and it comes in every colour. It's a, just a very exciting material, and with its pleochroism as well. It's just really, really interesting to a gemologist. So fascinating, fascinating material. No. So I want to show, can I just borrow it back? Yeah, oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> She's run yes, off with it already. 30 of these have I'm already gone, by the way, one. jewelry makers. So we're going to cut the price and then we'll, oh, we? yeah. And then we're going to cut the price. Talking. Cut the price on indicolite? cut the price. We think historically that this might well be the only indicolite strand that we've actually bought you here at jewelry makers if you have seen it then it obviously wasn't under wasn't purchased, it wasn't by, purchased but, but by, by yourself it, yeah. that is already amazing for 20 carats of of, of, of genuine indicolite amazing so wait until you see this no in fact don't wait what 
When you said cut, I was not expecting that. If this doesn't sell out, I would be absolutely amazed. Okay, did, you know it, cry. <laughs> did you know it was going to that <laughs> not price? Not threatening you at all, but... Um, did you know that? I, yeah, I know that it's... I know that Wayne and I have discussed it, and I bought it at a really good price, so... Can I'm, I... I'm, yeah, I'm not freaking out inside. He's not he, trying to she get is. me sacked today. I can tell. <laughs> I, I, I know Marie quite well, and she, she, you're just having a little struggle right now, aren't you? Um, so... You, you obviously know of uh, Richard W. Hughes, and I've, I've got a book of his. It's one of the first gemstone books that I actually put, I was well, actually given, actually, when I was doing my GIA training. Um, and he wrote about the price of Indicolite. Right. Okay? Prices ranging from 50 USA dollars, not bad. Per carat. Per carat. Yeah. Up to one thousand yeah. dollars per carat. Set up to um, that, and like I said, that's stated by Richard W. Hughes, probably one of the most respected individuals in in, in coloured gemstones. Fifty to one thousand. You're not even paying that. You're not even paying the lowest price point, and you've got twenty carats. That's it. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Check out, check out, check out. So back to you. What Sorry. were you going to say? No, no, no. Please. Can you zoom in on this one for we me? We can do some zooming. So now we've got, we have got tourmaline crystals now. So this strand is made of little tiny crystals. And this one, it's very small, but you can see that it's a long crystal. And if you look down it, can you see it's triangular? Yes. There. So I don't know if we can see the colour very well. So this will be the palest colour. And then actually when you look down this one, yeah. you can see it's watermelon. So yes. its colour is actually slightly different. So it's got a green on the outside and pink on the inside. Can you see that? Yes. yes just about. Um, so I'm trying to find you another example where you can see um, that it's... Because tanzanite's yeah, it the same, darker. isn't it? Tanzanite likes to have the sea axes as well. So lots of gemstones like the sea axes. Yeah, tanzanite changes colour with orientation, but that also picks up and changes its colours, um, how, how to describe it. So with what you're wearing, so it'll pick up other colours oh, that okay. you're wearing. So um, my mum used to have a tanzanite when I was a kid and she used to say that it matches her suit. So she has a purple suit, it goes purple. And if it has, she has a blue suit, it goes ah, blue. And I, I used to think that. she was talking absolute rubbish as a teenager. But she wasn't. And she wasn't. But she wasn't. <laughs> um, but no. Um, I'm trying to show you one with a lighter, darker, but I can't find a perfect example. Yes, let's do this one. So there is here, sorry, Leah, I'm a, no, I'm a pain with my tiny crystals. Um, this one you can see is a pale green across, and then when you look down it, it's <gasps> yeah, black. It's, yeah, yeah, really, really deep colour. So I'm hoping you can see that oh. in this strand. Now, um, these half the stock has gone already, jewelry makers. This is, I think, in nine years, um, the, we believe anyway. Um, only uh, the only indicolite that we've uh, actually brought live. It is certainly one of the rarest of your colour gemstones. I think certainly up there and price per carats because a blue tourmaline of any description, whether that be your Paraba, whether it be your indicolite or even other alternative tones, they're very rare, aren't they? And it's, it's the geological occurrence that makes I think it rare. Blue is one of the rarest things in nature. Yeah. Um, just in, that's in my brain. It's, it's yes. very difficult for yes. nature to produce blue and flowers. Yeah. Yeah, you don't All see an like awful that. lot of blue That's in true. nature, do you? So, yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Half of the stock has gone of these already, jewellery makers. Got, I've got this new book that Katie found for us, which has a whole section on Indicola. Oh, look. Look at that. Look at this colour. We haven't colour. got the book to sell before everybody asks. Maybe in the future. Um, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. It has its own page in the gem books. Well, I can see why. It's yeah. stunningly beautiful. And if you've tuned in today and you think I've never heard of Indicolite before, it's very rare. It's in the, I always say in the top three of your root, uh, of your, your tourmalines. Yeah. Um, and, it, yeah, prices per carats can be tens of thousands of pounds, um, depending on sort of, well, I just said, well, Richard Hughes, I think, was saying a thousand pounds per carat, but depending on the size. Just beautiful. And it is a really unique colour, isn't it? Yes, so beautiful. So sort of and I think its value's gone up with the Paraba. I think that's brought the blue, people wanting the blue of the tourmaline. But the Paraba is a very, very different blue, isn't it? It's more of a yeah. turquoise, very specific. But that then has increased the value of the Indicolite because people suddenly want the blue tourmalines yeah. uh, because they're so hard to come by. So, yeah, that sort of nudged it up. And it's a wearable gemstone in terms of most scale, etc. I mean, it's one yeah, of those that... Yeah, it's hard. It's a hard seven to seven and a half. Right. On the hardness scale, so durable enough to be worn most days. Yeah. You know, don't do anything mad, don't go and do your gardening in it or anything. No. But just be sensible, but it is durable enough to wear. You could put it in a bracelet, um, 
and it would be fine. It just yeah. It would be fine to yeah. do that. I mean, such a beautiful collectability. I can't believe this price tag. You need to check out those baskets. Right, jewelry makers. Jewelry makers, I feel like Thursday mo uh, Thursday morning we need to shake you shake you up a little bit. Um, that is unbelievable. I mean, in fact, if you'd have asked me five years ago when I was working on another channel and I was certainly auctioning gemstones like Paraba and Indicolite and Rubellite and things like that for thousands upon thousands of pounds, if you'd have said, Eleanor, you know what? You'll get 20 carats of genuine Indicolite, natural Indicolite, um, and you'll be able to buy it for less than fifty pounds. Never in a million years would I have believed that. No. Never in a million years. Would you? Well, no. I suppose I've never thought that I would be able to buy it. it was would be my realistic opinion. Yeah. But if I'd thought five years back, could I be sitting here thinking I've managed to source indicolite? No. It's uh, it, it, it is one of those <laughs> it's something that I've never really, never really come across in day to day uh, in the jewelry industry. It's, well, we're very it's you know it's a treat within the industry to find these things, and we're so. fortunate to be able to actually sort of. Uh, um I mean, we must never be blasé. It was where, this is one of those moments where I kind of think, you know, I have to pinch myself to realise what's going on here. Um, this is genuine indicolite, and we're at £35. That's absolutely crazy. Check out those baskets, everybody, because this will not hang around, and I'm definitely going to be buying some of these. 30 is still in baskets. We only had 106, did you say? 106, so well done to you. Essex, Multibine, Carol, Hertfordshire, Judith, Patricia, Melanie, Kathleen, Tracy, Claire, Sophia, Heidi, Jennifer, West Midlands, Multibine, Susan, Kent, uh, Wanda, Diane, Maury. These are, right, okay, over half the stock is gone. Half the stock is gone. Um, but I want them all to go. These are too beautiful to be sat in your vault, right? Definitely, definitely. So, Marie, okay, they're nagging so Marie, me in jewelry makers, <laughs> jewelry makes. So don't put a clock in. That's, Marie, that's not me actually agreeing to anything. Can you do something a bit special? Okay, so they're nagging me to do something special. Well, we don't want any to go back to the vault, do we? Do you want your special moment to be now? And that's... Yeah. Okay. Yes. Go on. Price reduction? Go on, Just let's a bit... take a little bit off. Okay, but we want... You've got 60 seconds to get on the phone lines and put it in your basket so that we can gauge just how many. We, we want them all to go. It's too beautiful to go back to the vault. Okay. Although... If you, okay, if they all go... If you can then leave I'll one do... for me, that'll be great. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, you can't have one. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, go on, so if, you, if they all go, if they then all I can do it. If they all go. A one-off price. Okay. So, what do I have to do now? I have well, to just wait, wait and see. Wait, wait, and, wait and see. How many people? I actually feel a bit nervous. You know the part us. when Simon's on and I come in and tell him off? Yeah. I just feel that I'm putting myself in that you, situation. You are totally in that situation. <laughs> well, well, we've put you in that situation, I have to say. Uh, Mary, Kath, Linda, Verna, uh, you're there. I can see Jojo, Jill, Elle, Margaret's there. New customers. I tell you what, what a first purchase. Oh, um, no, imagine. If, That's yeah. the first gemstone you own. That'd be insane. Indicolite. What was the first gemstone you ever bought? Mine was Moonstone. Was it? Mine was Moonstone. Mine was, I think, like a Peridot, an Amatrina. Imagine yeah. just being able to say, yeah. oh, Indicolite. Yeah, amazing. Is there enough there to sell it out? There's enough there. Right, Wayne's really confident. He's shaking his head. Go on, I'm going to take... I can't believe I'm going to say it. Go on. I'm going to take £10 off the price. OK, I was expecting... <laughs> five. <laughs> really? I think so. <laughs> 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 the Somebody seems to have lost my confidence. Oh, no, well, we've <laughs> yeah. got to do it now. You've got to, we got to, it's going to sell out. Well, that's insane. But we could have just sold it out at the right price. Seventy nine ninety five was out. really good. That that's was amazing a really value anyway. Yeah. So how do you buy in dick light at these kind of prices? Like, because so, I'm being the person that I know that once upon a time I was when I used to watch channels and think that can't be real. That can't, uh, you know, that, that, that. How do you do it? How do you so get these prices? It's a massive negotiation. That's what it is. So it's a lot to do with supplier relationships. Um, it's there's lots there's there's many many factors but supplier relationships the size of our buy goes yeah. a long way for us we're quite a big business so we can we've got quite a lot of buying power um so yeah and but i'd say it's mostly relationships so when i find something and i really 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 want a good price then i will you're extra nice to that person yeah well no i don't think nice <laughs> it's maybe the term i'd use no maybe extra um 
I don't know. Uh, flirtatious. Firm. firm. Uh, not flirtatious in all occasions. There are certainly occasions where that helps. Um, um, well, but no, I think then it's like a hard negotiation that I... I know this is a high value. I know what he's got. Yeah, I and know, you don't just buy yeah. one gemstone at a time, do you? You no, actually, so you'll buy, you'll be buy across multiple. Across the range, so yeah. so I would probably have been offered from this supply. This is actually quite a new supply, uh, maybe twenty lines. And I've spotted this one and thought, right, this one I want as a massive deal because this is something super super special. He knows its value. I know its value. Yeah. And then we just, you know, we'll start negotiation. But as you said, there's the other, the rest of the buy taken into consideration. You know, it's. it's if, if we're in India, Simon and I could do good cop, bad cop yeah. uh, to a degree. But for something like this, you know, we all know it's special. He wants to be able to provide it for us so that he can say brought it to the channel. So it's all a little bit of lots of different things. Well, I tell together. you what, whatever it is, it's working. And that is absolutely unbelievable. We've got 40 in baskets for the final. How many? Nine. Uh, the final, the final nine um, within, and that's 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 potentially nine years. Nine years waiting for this gem zone. That's pretty insane. I know. You know, um, and, and another reason why I'm so incredibly proud to say that we're, you know, we are associated, be it employed or, or, or as a customer, with Jewellery Maker. Yeah, it's lovely. It's, it's a lovely business. It, it really is, yeah. yeah it's a very um, special business. Very special. And we've got Paraba Tourmaline coming up as well in 40 minutes' time. It's just too exciting. Mega auction, historical auction. I'm not sure you even know what's going on. There's a giveaway of Prey Tourmaline as well. Oh, right, right, right. Tricks. Prey Tourmaline is being given away today. Okay. Given away. Mine didn't tell me that part. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. That's that necklace that you're nice. wearing. Oh, you're going to give my necklace away? Yeah. Well, no. it's not. <laughs> and, and there's a pair of earrings and as well. earrings. I don't have my ears pierced, so I can't wear those. Don't you? No, only my, pier my body piercing. I don't oh. have them traditionally pierced, no. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> Check out, so Samina, Alison, Cheryl, Carolan, uh, Somerset, Lillian, L, Shandy, Kate, loads of collectors. I wouldn't be surprised if there's lots of jewellers, actually. I would have thought jewellers, collectors, this is one to own, isn't it? This yeah. is something that you've got to have if yeah. you're a gemologist or you're a super collector because it's so unusual, such an unusual material. Do you own an indicolite? No. Nor me? No. Well, the trouble is for me is that I... You know, I buy them for everyone else. I never get that moment to myself to think, oh, I think I'll have one of these. Actually, I need to buy one of those. So, yeah, and then before you know it, it's gone. And you do know now it's gone, so you're not going to get that one either. Okay. Ah, oh, more in Dicolite, everybody? <laughs> Definitely. Well done, well done, well done. Um, okay, I think it's an, an ideal... An ideal time for me to show you this beautiful Paraba opportunity. Now, this is Brazilian Paraba, mm -hmm. which is... It's really important to say that, isn't it? Yeah. Because there's different locations. I've got the history of the Paraba tourmaline. I was reading it last night. And it's just a lovely story behind it as well. Um, but still, Brazilian takes that. Takes it's the special. It's the, the special one. Special. I, think, so, I mean, they're very, it's such an amazing colour, isn't it? Well, you can pre-order yours now. Um, if you've longed to own Paraba... Um, and it's never been within your budget. Listen, you're not alone. It's a very expensive gemstone ordinarily. Um, it was the one I said, <clears throat> if you could buy any gemstone, if you won the lottery tomorrow, which gemstone would you buy first? And I said Paraba. Did you? It would be oh. Paraba. It would be Paraba, then probably followed by a really lovely, massive Colombian emerald, probably. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah. Uh, so you can pre-order yours now. We're going to do something historical and... It's a mega price, a mega auction in terms of quantity, and someone's going to get Paraba Tourmaline given to them today, but you have to check them out. So that's happening at 10 o'clock. Um, okay, who wants findings? Me, 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 me. Everybody me. wants findings. It's all I hear. <laughs> yeah, you do, you do, yeah, we do. We need you know, more findings. You know the conversations that we have on air? More silver, more findings. We do yes, pass it on, don't yes, we? Yes, 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 definitely. Everybody wants more findings. We try to keep up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? It, it is, is difficult. It and is. I know that um, our Jack is working very hard on the essentials collection. He is on the essentials list. They all are, everybody, all of my team. Absolutely. Working really, really hard. Absolutely. So this is uh, your sterling silver bolt ring class. So with the indicolite, like a tennis style bracelet, mm. beautiful. Oh, that would be nice, yeah. And then a rose gold. Yeah. Oh, teal with rose gold. Mm. 
you need these. If you've got the Indicolite, you need these. You get 10 of them as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I used to work in the jewellers when they used to come in and they had a workshop upstairs. And, you know, if you broke a piece of jewellery, it'd be booked in. It'd probably be booked in for about two, three weeks. And to replace a clasp like this would usually be about 15, 20 pounds. And that's one clasp. Yeah. And now... Having the experience of jewelry maker, I know how simple it is to change. Um, three ninety five. That's thirty nine p each. Bargain. Well, I don't know if I should tell you this or not, but I'm gonna. <laughs> you know, at that point, I'm thinking to myself, just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I have these things like, should I tell Maria? No, I don't around. want to know the secret. <laughs> it's not a secret. <laughs> But do you know we used to do? Stir what? I'm not grassing you up. No, no, no. no. <laughs> do you know the sterling silver findings packs? That yeah. We we used to sell like 13 pieces, different mm. pieces. So it'd be okay. a, it'll be a bolt ring, a head pin, a crimp, jump rings. Right. So 13 pieces in total, 14 pounds. Right, okay. That's what they used to be. Right, okay. Pretty amazing, isn't 395. it? 395. Wow. 395. Um, with the rate, the, the trend of stacker style bracelets at the moment as well, and necklaces. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I need. Is... Tell me, you've got quantity of these, then, Wayne? Yes, he says. He's not going to tell you what quantity. No, <laughs> yeah. he said yes, yes, yes. There is quantity. Just because got. I'm going to need to get some as well. Um, moving on. Okay. Countdown to the Paraba. Um, right, trigger class. And it's all about continuity of design as well. Look at oh, that. Oh, they're cute. They are, aren't they? Yes. And I find these really easy to sort of open and close so a trigger class. So what's the difference between this and a lobster claw? Lobsters are curved. Okay. Then I thought I'd seen the manufacturer of a lobster claw, but it's not. It's this that I've seen. Okay. I've seen they hand make these. Really? Yeah, it's insane. I'll see if I can find the photos on the phone. Um, yeah, it's madness. So they... They hand, we watch the whole process um, from the melting the metal, drawing it down, putting it into the machine, stamping out the blanks, folding them up, putting the mechanism in, all done by hand, soldering the bits together, like all watch. done by hand. Like they do with watches. Yeah, it was so absolutely, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Have I got the wrong one? Oh, this triggers, was, yeah. Oh, number three. Oh, you were right. Sorry. <laughs> You are right. Triggers yeah. are the curvy ones. Lobsters are the straight ones. I beg your pardon. Okay. Got them mixed up. Got them mixed up. Um, anyway, there we go. I'll put it the other way around. That's why. No, well, it was the not the so curvy So is this the ones. one that you saw? No, it was the no, other one. No, the curvy, curvy ones. Um, so here we go. The gold. So we've got, as you can tell, we've got the, we've got the rose gold too. You get 15 pieces for 9 95 Beg your pardon, Adam. Sorry. Um, but nice and easy to sort of purchase. I mean, I know that in speaking to guest designers like Deb and Claire, they all say that if you go to, if you start your silversmithing or you do anything um, like a, go to college or university to study jewellery, the first thing that you actually make, um, I think Hayley mentioned it too, the first thing that you actually make is a box class. Yes, I've made many a box class. Have you? Yes. <laughs> I don't, it's like, again, I can't, it's, it's, it's really engineering. Hard. It, yes, it is engineering, but I think it's one of the first things you make to show you actually the sort of engineering aspect of, of jewellery making. Okay. So it really puts it into your mind that how difficult that is and how it's not just attaching two things together. No. Nope. You've got to get that mechanism, you've got to get the spring in your class. Yeah. It's got to all fit. fit. And precision, that if you do that wrong, it's not going to work. Yeah. So you um, found it? I found they're not in any order, unfortunately. That's but, okay. um, I don't know if this is interesting. Possibly not. I <laughs> it's think not so. interesting it's to anyone other than is. me. This is the story of my life. Can you see it? Lee? So here's so they've got if you look at the background there, they've got this sheet of silver yeah. and they stamp out the shapes. Um, so here yeah. they are. Um, there we are. Um, let's keep going. Then this is a factory. So you can see here that this machine is sorry, is is stamping. Oh, it's video. video. So yeah. that's the shape it stamps out, and that's part of your of the actual clasp. So, and then they bend them in half. So you've got two parts, and they bend one in half, and the other one sits inside. Um, let me see. It's amazing. Yeah, and then here Is they it? are. So it's not quite the same shape. Sorry, Lee, I'm driving you mad. Here they are, all finished. Wow. So it's not the same shape. It was That's the other okay, shape. But same process, it? though, yeah. isn't it? Exactly the same yeah. process. Well, I tell you what. Let's bring those ones yeah. back then. Let's bring back that shape. And here they are. So here, they, by hand. That's crazy. Tell me if I'm boring you, sorry. You're uh, really yeah, not. So by hand, they've finished them all. 
I couldn't believe this was all done by hand. No. Because it, they're so tiny as well. And we charge something silly like 50p. Yeah, and someone's... Uh, 66 pence yeah, for the last then, one because they're slightly bigger yeah, so, obviously and they're not in order because when they show you round a factory they never show you in in order the process no well i, <laughs> so, I, I, I suppose, uh, I suppose so you have to you have to put it all back together in your head but i suppose that's it, a little bit of as well works. you don't want they don't want their secrets to be sort of passed on possibly no, yeah yeah and yeah, it's all sort of a bit of that, that. yeah 12 so jewelry makers make sure you check these out there these will be lovely let me drink tea then you That's, drink tea. Yeah, in China, then you drink tea. That sounds So you do nice. all that, then you drink tea. Um, this <laughs> colour, alongside your imperial topaz that's coming up, um, 10 very elite places to purchase a huge hoard um, of imperial topaz. I just love, because you get that pink, don't you, with imperial topaz, so I think maybe a little bit of your rose gold in there mm, would be amazing yeah. as well. And your indicolite. And your paraba, to mm -hmm. be truthful. It's going to work across all everything, of those. Everything. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's bring you gold plated, but these are whoppers. Oh, they've got to be easier to make, haven't they? <laughs> well, <laughs> I feel sorry for the lady who's making the tiny ones and someone get this massive one. I can one. do this lobster claw. Oh, you I can see it now though. Can you see how it's bent over? Yeah. Oh, look, sorry. <laughs> so can you see how it's bent over and then they solder the top and yeah. they put in the piece in the middle. Yeah, it's very cool. The class work, yeah. It's, How much? it's very clever. How are these five ninety five? Because it's easier when they're bigger. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but there's more precious metals, surely. <laughs> no, so I'm thinking ahead of this weekend as well, where you're going to have lots of pearls, big size oh, yes, pearls. Yeah. Oh, these, there's some amazing things. This would be pretty spectacular mm. alongside this uh, this weekend show. £5.95, I'd be stocking up on these. And having that continuity, as I said earlier on, um, you know, if you've got big statement gemstones, you know, big chunky pearls or obsidians or whichever, you're not going to want to put an itty bitty clasp, are you? No. You know, it's got, it's got to have that flow, I suppose. Uh, moving on. Oh, let's bring you some toggles. Oh, nice. Yeah. <clears throat> I was told the other day why a toggle's called a toggle. I can't remember what the story was, though. Don't well, suppose you know. No, I just thought it was the word. Um, <laughs> I was is told. It, is it more complicated I than think that? it is, actually. I okay. think Deb told me set of the reasons for it. Um, so you've got here, yeah, sterling silver, 925 sterling silver, hammered on both sides to detail. And all that precious metal, one and a half grams of precious metal. Yeah, and again, I've seen, I haven't seen this one finished in China, but I saw the one that looks like it's got rope. Yeah. You no, know, the nautical looking yeah. one. Yeah. I saw that being manufactured for us while I was in China. Okay. Yeah, and it's all hand finished. So, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it is. And all these little, all the little jump rings that are attached to there, all hand soldered on. Yeah, it is. The and amount of detail, yeah, and then the price is madness. They're flying out the door yeah. already, everybody. It's a very gem-heavy show, but you're going to need your findings as well. In fact, you know what? Genuinely, and this is this is hand on heart, the truth. If you speak to anybody in the buying team. Um, this is the items that we get asked for the most, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of your sterling yeah. silver. Um, and that's what we ask you guys well, for the, the pull most. For, for them is from everybody. So we have customers messaging in that they need more findings. Yeah. And so then the presenters come in, the producers come in. But then the kit team also want the findings to go into the kits. Yeah. So then you get this complete pull from everybody that everybody needs more findings. But then you've got me saying, well, I want all the budget for the gemstones. So you can't all have the money for no, the findings. No. And so then poor Simon has to decide who gets he, allocated yeah. the money and uh, what we're actually going to buy. Oh, <laughs> so, dear. yeah. It's a conundrum, isn't it? It is, it is. Did you say number seven? Okie dokie, let's do some bolt ring clasps. Um, I don't know which one's the sort of the, 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 the original clasp, but a bolt ring's definitely got to be one of those I that's historically be. yeah. been yeah. around for the longest. And, and I imagine one of the strongest as well, because I just, my, my little brain just considers the fact that you've got a full rotation in there almost, haven't you? So it's very strong, yeah. a bolt ring clasp. Um, That's a good size as well, isn't it? Yeah. I was looking at buying some real chunky um, gemstones yesterday, and they, yeah, they and would big, need a supporting bolt finding. ring class. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. ten. Uh, these are eight millimeters, and you get ten within a pack for fifty nine p each. Well, it's rounded up sixty pence. Sixty pence per gold plated sterling silver bolt ring clasp. That's absolutely unbelievable. 
you know, all that beautiful work, all of that handcraftsmanship yeah. that you were just describing, amazing. And yet, I always perceive it as being one of the strongest, just because, um, like I said, when you when you actually sort of pull back the spring, it kind of the rotation goes all the way around. You've got a message coming through. If you have any questions for Marie, then do feel free to yes, text us. We are do. live in the studio, Marie in Yorkshire. Hi, Ella Marie. Um, there's a. Uh, there's a tea bar and the circle part. That's right, that's it. Uh, the circle part is the ogle, so it's called toggle for the tea bar. Oh, okay. That's it. Oh, that's there clever. you go. Thank you, Marie. Oh. I knew I'd been told it, but I couldn't remember what it was. Oh, I've learned so something. Oh, is the ogle. Yes, the ogle. Like it. The I ogle like and it. the t. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Five ninety-five. Well done, Cambridge. Keep those messages coming through as well. We do like an interactive show, don't we? We do. We do. Yes. Do you know? I was thinking this morning. I was like, we've been like ships passing the night, so it's actually the first time that I've actually sat down and had any kind of conversation with you at length. The no, the last time I saw you was when the lock broke. Yeah. So my house lock broke on my husband's birthday and had to spend three hours drilling the lock out and Elle kindly took us in. Me, well, my mother <laughs> and the kids. A little waif and stray yeah. stood locked outside, outside their house. Locked outside the house, yeah. And while my husband drilled the lock Come out. Come in yeah. and have a, a cup of tea. We were yeah. very close to getting a Chinese We nearly had away. to get a takeaway because <laughs> it was nearly bedtime. Yeah, nearly, <laughs> time, nearly. Yeah. Um, look at this. Oh, I love this. This is absolutely on trend. So Everywhere. you're seeing loads and loads of these at the moment, uh, yeah, in all the jewellery fairs that I go to. Well, I did actually put, us, uh, Adam, you know those photos that we sent in of the jewellery? Um, so that was the photos that you shared with me yeah. of all the designs. They are, like you said, very much like this. Um, this sort of, would be, i tell you what, you know the deal of the day bundle? Yeah. Th that's the trend. The chain with the shape with the with the deal of the day yeah, bundles. Yeah, like multi-layered. So you have the two loops either at either end. That literally all you need to do is attach your, your clasp of choice, toggle, lobster claw, whichever. I think you should go toggle now just because, you know, we've learned that. Now, just because yeah. we've learned about the <laughs> ogle and the t. Um, and then you have these lovely star motifs. So it's so pretty. And it's, it's literally a five-minute make, Marie. You know, this is something you could literally do in less than five minutes. And then it looks really professional, doesn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, this is like what you would actually buy from a sort of a high street jewellers for considerably more than £10. Yeah. Oh, mm. absolutely. 9.95 the length is 50 centimeters so that equates to a 20 inch necklace am i right in saying i oh, think I so i think it's a 20 inch but um of course because you can actually finish it off you can actually um add length to it very easily too so um add a bit of extra chain if you're looking for maybe like a 24 26 whichever you oh, want i like it when people are really clever and they add that piece of chain so that you can make it as long or as short as yeah. you like yeah yeah clever. Or a slider mm, would do that too. Yeah. Put the slider mechanism. 9.95 only. Good morning to you, Muriel, Michelle. Hello to you, Gillian. Hello to you, Buckinghamshire. Patricia, well done to you. It's a big amount of sterling silver for that price tag. And use it with the parade with the mega auction. It's less than 25 minutes away. Jewelry makers, 9.95. I mean, honestly, um, yeah, I said to Tom uh, last night, I was like, right, just to make you aware, the credit card might get a little bit of a... Um, do you pre-warn? I don't. Well... <laughs> Why well, cause the grief before? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I did actually, and he was like, "Oh, okay." You did just kind of just well, all right. He's um, quite laid back. He I is very chilled. So. Um, what what size jump rings would we use to complete this as a necklace? Um, probably the same. You could go with something like a what's that? That's probably like a three mil three mil internal I diameter. Don't, do you know? I don't think it would really matter because even if you went as big as the star, yeah. it wouldn't look out of place, no, would it? No, I agree. Yeah. I think it's all down to your choice, really. Yeah. Um, and likewise with your clasp. Hi, Beverly. Morning, all. Marie, is it possible for you to get some red hematoid quartz rounds and Ooh. drops, please? I'm going to add that to the list. Thank you very much, Beverly. I'll have a go, yeah. There you go. Carol saying, please, Marie, uh, would it not be possible to have uh, the jump rings with the bolt ring clasps together. Aha. So you get the, the bolt ring mean. and then it attached already to yeah, a jump so ring. Yeah, so all you need oh, to okay, do, yeah. I, I know what you mean yeah. actually, and that's a really good idea. 
It's a, Do you uh, make a list for me, Wayne? Yeah, it's, it's a like really, like it's a really, PA. really good um, idea that Carol actually. So because I've got a pen I've, and I can make I've notes. come across that situation. So I'll just use this one as an example. So yes, yeah, so they've actually got a bolt oh, ring see. class that and side then, and then a bolt ring class that side. So oh, two I either side. She meant then add a jump ring here. Yeah. J sorry, sorry. There. Jump ring there and a jump ring there. That's what so meant, I meant. Okay. So all you need to do is okay. open and close, open and close. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. Mm. Good good yes, call, Carol. Yep. Good call. Sorry, I said bolt ring, didn't I? Yeah, I meant jump ring. Um, yeah, good idea. Right, moving on. Keep those text messages. Mm. Okay, these are genius. So this is a large wire crimp connector. Now, no idea what it does. I mean, I see I these do. things listed mm. <laughs> in the stock and I think, I wonder what that does. They're really good. Right, go on then. So, I only know because I was, I was joined by Wyatt. Yeah. Um, when he came across Beedle, from... Beedle on wire. Yes. Yep. Um, and he told me. So basically, if I turn it round, see that picture there? Oh, you okay. can make, you can get yeah. your, your leather, crimp, yeah, crimp, yeah. make a, like a, a thong bracelet or necklace. Mm -hmm. You can do it with wire. You can do it with, I think, memory wire. You just oh, crimp it together. Oh, that's clever. So a bangle, all of yeah. those things. More They're super fast genius. joy making. Yes. Genius. So you can actually use your gauges. It's mm, 2.1 millimetres. Um, yeah, mighty crimper tool. But I think your normal tools work, do the dot job as well. Four ninety five. dollars um, I remember them actually being on air with Wyatt and going, ah. That's clever, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very clever idea. So, yeah, if ever you've wondered, wondered how to sort of finish designs like Kumahimo, you could probably put like a very fine Kumahimo braid in there as well. Okay. That and would then work. Just clamp it in. Yeah, clamp very it in. Very clever. Um, moving on, head pins. Oh, these are super popular. There was a fight over these the other day. Uh, was that you, Wayne? Yes, yeah. that was you. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, let's go, just have some more. I'm always really pleased that I start so early in the morning. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, Wayne, Wayne took the initial amount and then I asked for more. Sorry. This is something else that, we, yeah, we can't have enough, can't get enough of. Head, it was because they are so, it's like, it's like milk and butter to your yeah. household shop. You need it. Yeah. Um, so you've got a nice, a lovely long length in your uh, ball head pin. Anything that you cut down, don't throw it away because that's precious metal. You can't physically make these. You can make a sterling silver one, right, okay. but you can't make a rose gold one. Right. Um, and if you remember on Tuesday when we had our little meeting mm. around your desk, I actually said to Jack, saying about the featherweight headpins that you wanted the, the, the sort of the coloured metals as well, didn't you? I did pass that on, jewellery makers. Um, so, 10 pack, you get a lovely little ball detail on the yeah, top that's there. that's soldered on by hand as well. We've seen that as well. Have you? Yeah. So, these earrings that I'm wearing, for example, mm. I don't know if they're a featherweight or if they're a normal headpin, either, either or, uh, but... I don't think they've got the bobble. They do. That's a featherweight one, this oh, one, okay. though. Because it's a pearl. Mm. But, see, the, are they the bubble or are they flat? I can't quite see. Oh, no, they are flat. You're right. Oh, you're talking about this part? Yeah. Oh, right. So that's literally yeah, on a head a pin and then a loop. One. Okay. And then a loop there, so that's they are necessities to sort of bring everything together and to spend. Um, so always stock up on them. That I can't say that enough. Stock up on findings when you see them on our shows, because they are very, very, very elusive. Hello to you, Elle in Gloucestershire, saying hi, Marie. Uh, lovely to put a face to a name. Please, 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 can we get some more rainbow coated quartz coins? Um, I'm desperate for them. Oh, I think I know which ones you mean, Ooh. Elle. You mean those hammered ones, don't you? That I think oh, the hammered. hammered effect. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. If you ever have, if you ever get anything like that, and you've got the actual code, that helps me a lot. But yes, other than that, I don't want to buy the I, wrong thing for you. No, yes, I think that's what you, you mean, Elsa. So, yeah. so message in if I'm right. If yeah. I'm right, three ninety five only. Way. Moving on, add it to the list. Mm. There we go. Um, bales and these. These are on my essentials right, list. Okay. I feel that you've put this little showcase of essentials here to teach me a lesson. <laughs> I feel like now we're going to actually get her on and teach her what they do. No, so no, it. not at all. <laughs> not at all. Although we can kind of just say, oh, we want this for this and this for this. Um, so that's a little bale. Oh, they're cute, aren't they? So, yeah. uh, if you look. Uh, again, my necklace. I do. I, I do know what the bail is. I know you yeah. do. I know you <laughs> do. I know. I can recognise that I know you do. One. Just in case anyone that's new to jewellery making, though, if you wanted to put a bail, it just kind of draws the eye down towards the pendant. Does, yeah. So instead of a jump Finishes ring, it. 
you can use a bale. Yeah. Wow. And, and is it even got 925 stamped on them and everything. And everything, yeah. yeah. So this is the fluted mm. bale and it comes with the actual little loop there. Yeah. Here we go, 925, you've got your lovely sterling silver fluted bale. I love these. I just think it makes such a difference. And there's, you know, there's designer brands out there that don't actually use even uh, fluted bales. It just, it just, uh, for me, it's that professional finish. It's yeah, all about it is, that professional yeah. finish. Turn it round, you can see that's where you attach to. And obviously, this is the part where the chain will actually go through. Um, I'm assuming chain, if you turn it that way. Be a nice little pair of earrings as well. 895 only, and that is for all 10 of them. They're nine millimeters, and it's precious metal, precious metal on your precious metal um so we can't we do we do find it difficult to sort of uh, um to keep up with the sheer volume um, and and demand for precious metal it's and i think really it's a it, it's a conundrum because we sell such amazing gemstones now that's why there's more sterling silver that's wanted yeah quite possibly yeah. i think the level Which of because because the level of our gemstones has gone up mm. the demand for the sterling silver's yeah, gone up yeah i'm sure you're right yeah. yeah yeah i mean we've got pareba happening in 15 minutes time Mega auction, <laughs> mega quantity, historical price. That's me trying to wink. <laughs> I don't think you should do that. No, <laughs> no. Adam, Adam has already told me that. <laughs> don't wink, Al. Just don't wink. Um, okay, moving on. To what number, sorry? Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a charm oh, bale. Pretty. That is lovely. Oh, I'm almost kicking myself now because on Carrie's desk, I've got some of my Swarovski. I brought some of my jewellery in. You know, the Swarovski charms that we used to sell. Um, and they're all on these, aren't they? Oh, right, OK. I don't know. And you just literally attach. It just it, it gives it that finish. Instead of just popping it on a jump ring, it just gives it that finish. Right. Um, and I put my charms on, on just a long line chain. So pretty. Yeah, isn't it lovely? That's gorgeous. And just a little cluster, maybe a little cluster of your gemstones. Pop one of your Brabers, what's a, a group of your Indicolites, some of your Deal of the Day as well. Let's not forget that. Hiya, Trevor. Hi, Marie and Elle. Uh, would it be possible to get sterling silver Stardust Spacer Tubes? Oh, the, uh, spa the Stardust Spacer Beads are really, really popular. Yeah, I spoke to, I spoke to Caroline about that Did the you? other day before she went on honeymoon. Yeah. Um, and I think that's on in the pipeline. I think oh, that's right, part. Good. I think that's part yeah. of the collection that she's actually doing, Trevor. So watch this space because yes. I was asking something similar. Keep your eyes peeled. So I think we're on the same page there. Um, when is she back, Caroline? Monday. Come Monday. on, Caroline. Come on, Caroline. <laughs> yeah, we were so close to texting her on a honeymoon, yeah, on Tuesday, weren't we? I don't text. I've texted her, but not about work. Just, yeah. I'll send the code in, by oh, the way. Oh, thank you very there much. There we go, it's really there we helpful. go. Thank you. Uh, 195 for this. How many do we have of these then, Wayne? 59, but they are... Okay, yeah, 30 have already gone. Well done to Angela, Cheryl, Tracy, County Durham, Sue. Lots of multi-buying on those, yeah. Um, they're popular, aren't they? Um, okay. Which one? Okay. I got it. Sorry to lean out a shot. Here we go. Your findings packs. They're great, aren't they? Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? You know, it's so easy, and I'm sure I can't be the only person that gets in, uh, that's in this situation. So it's so easy to get swept up and you know in 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 the beauty and the rarity and the story of all your gemstones, and forget your findings. It's so easy to do that. And then you think, right, I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little bit of time making jewelry and you haven't got the findings. So stock up when you get packs like this because um, you will use them. Uh, even here in, during the live show, you know, you, you certainly have heard um, guest designers and myself sort of just sort of say, like, have you got findings? Have you got this? Have you got that? Um, having them there, ready and available is, is such a, I recommend it highly. Just amazing value as well. Two ninety five. Yeah. You know and you what? Can you make can make multiple pieces of jewellery with that, couldn't you? Two pairs of earrings, yeah. two necklaces, yeah. or a necklace and a bracelet. And this chain is really a nice chunky chain. Yeah. 
Um, this, do you know what else this is really good for? Like open links as well. So if you wanted to do like extender chains, oh, okay. bubble star bracelets. So, so you know, the other day when I was on with um, Claire on Tuesday and she was demoing that bubble star bracelet, this is the chain that she actually uses. Right, so okay. that's a bubble star bracelet. So if I turn it's that around. It's very effective, isn't it? It's that gorgeous. Is. And yeah. that's all just... Did I see Claire had done one with Amber? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's on Tuesday. It's really that's all little wrap loops that are basically fed onto the this chain so right. as you can see that's in silver color and this is the rose 2.95 only jewelry makers for these 21 pieces you get in total I, I just grab them it, that's an add-on to your order price tag isn't it you don't really have to think about it um you know you're only paying in one postage and packaging and I, I, I i'm always running out of findings it's one of those things findings and elastic mm. Because I think I'm I get loads of people ask me for elastic as well. Yeah, that's because <laughs> because um, actually actually it's as uh, if I don't listen. Isn't it? I do listen. No, you do. <laughs> you definitely do. Um, but it's because and Claire mentioned it actually on Tuesday. She said the, it's a massive trend at the moment. Stretchy bracelets. Oh yes, absolutely. They're huge, aren't yeah. they? I look at all the jewelry trends on Instagram, and there are loads and loads of stretchy bracelets everywhere. Um, yeah, loads everywhere. with lava rock as well. Yeah. Like three quarters of the way round, and then different gemstones at the bottom. Lovely. I love that. Yeah, Lovely. Because that keep it really light. Thank you, Leah. It? Yeah, lava rock yeah. is quite lightweight. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't quite reach that one. Um, here we go. So this is your gold plated. Same again. Same again. Same again. But different colour. Yeah. Put the label back on. There we are. So you get I mean, the to toggle class. Look at these. I mean, I would pay two ninety five for one of those. Yeah. Has somebody just messaged? Sue's, Sue's read my mind. Hi, Sue. Sue says it's worth that just for the toggle. Yeah. I took toggle, toggles either, either. It, it really is, isn't it? Oh, so these are the, um, the shepherd's hooks that your earrings made from. Yes. Yes. I like how you're calling them mine. Oh, are they not yours? <laughs> Right, okay. No, this is part of the deal of the day, Joy. Oh, okay, there you are. I, I, we, Wayne and I went I up. It was you. I thought it was actually owned by you. You'd bought it from a shop. I, I have, I have <laughs> got jewellery um, of my own, which I've brought in to show off that um, the jeweller's role. Oh, right, okay. Oh, that I we're love doing. That. What time are yeah. we doing this? Five minutes Ooh. time. So show you what the jeweller's roll is all about. I love this product and that was my request, wasn't it? Was, it? it was, it was. One of my little you additions. lucky that that was still here. Yes, right? yeah. Uh, grab these though, yeah, like I said, just it takes two seconds if you have the right tools. Open and close, attach, done. Amazing. Amazing, yeah. job done. Um, okay. What's in 20, oh, jump rings. These are like gold dust too, aren't they? Jump rings, I think, we, we have a lot of pressure from Fleur to get jump rings, so they're probably um, the, the thing that she's on my case. Yeah, so, yeah. because she, 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 I think she said once that um, in any one week she'll use 3,000 jump yeah, rings. Yeah, so and do, sometimes so more. Yeah, there's um, a lot of pressure to make sure we keep jump rings. So, but our jump possible. rings are not just, you know, you can make your own jump rings, you can. However, these are hand sawn, which as opposed to machine cut or, um, or, or plier cut, because you get a burr, I like right, that okay, word. Yeah. So, with the pliers. Uh, with the pliers, yeah. 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 Uh, and a machine. So these will perfectly align. So if you imagine cutting metal, you'll get that one, especially with your, you know, your cutters, you get that one side which will taper down at like a 45 mm -hmm. degree angle. So they don't align flush. These do, because they just literally will slot perfectly back in um, against one another. And you can mm -hmm. just about see it there. So perfectly, yeah, so. perfectly flat. The quality of our jump rings, Marie, mm -hmm. is, um, and, and again, you've heard, our viewers will have heard um, Fleur say this time and time again, uh, is the best. Yeah. She said it's the best. We do put a big emphasis on the quality of the jump rings. And is thanks this, to Fleur. Th thanks yeah. to Fleur. Yeah. And is this something that, um, part of the same sort of manufacturers that you were saying so earlier on? So this isn't one that I saw uh, in the process, but I have seen jump rings being made. Um, no, I haven't seen these. I think, uh, yeah, these are made in China, but I didn't see that. It was quite interesting where they make the findings because it's a whole area, mm. which is like a village, and you drive in, it's securityed. Uh, so you have to drive in and be registered in and then within that village are all the different manufacturers for different findings and then so the jump ring guy will sell his jump rings to everybody else but everybody gets them at the same price and That's so the, the lobster claw man he sells his to everybody but they all get I them at the same price. I want to be called the lobster so, claw man. <laughs> so we can 
call you that if you like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's quite an interesting. I didn't the actually see. Yeah, I didn't see the jump ring manufacturer, but it's within this little village yeah. in the middle of China. Where that's so all cool. of this happens. Like, yeah. like, I, I don't and that's what, all sterling silver. Like, I've got this image silver. of like literally like a um, almost like a Wild West style okay, village. No, and you've it, got... Just remember the part that it's in China. I know right, that. Yeah, so yeah. It's, uh, I know that. It's I not just, the most it, luxury environment that you're working in. My little head. It's very, very interesting. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is from the same. Um, so the same. Mr. Yeah. Jump Ring Man. So, yeah. And it was really interesting. It's not how I imagined it would be. Because even if you think in the jewellery quarter here, the manufacturers, a lot of them manufacture the similar product yeah. uh, under one roof. But in China, they have an expertise in each thing. And then they sort of share the love between That's... them that I'll sell Aww. you the jump rings, you sell me the lobster clasp. And then. Yeah, and so it's so it is very very clever how it all works. Wow, I've always seen little things like this. It's so lovely to know. Nine ninety five with a five millimeter internal diameter. Um, okay, star five by meter. Did I say five meter? I don't know, but that would be big. <laughs> <laughs> five millimeter internal diameter um so yeah we've got a little uh, carson showcase as well because yes. you know we thought loops magnifying glasses all things gem uh, gemology uh marie's on there um and one of the things that i said look can we add have you got anything in the vault that is remotely like a jeweler's roll um because we used to sell them in the jewelers that i worked at and they were actually quite expensive we were talking like sort of 30 40 pounds for a jeweler's roll and i think with the quality of the gems that you have today um it's worthwhile storing them in these finished piece of jewellery co correctly. Now, big star buy. We're going to do something extra special up next. So... My request, and I hope you agree, I, I haven't brought one of these to wear and I don't know how long. Do you know, it hadn't even crossed my mind, but it, it was a moment of genius. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Um, now, how many do we have? There's not 84, many. 84, yeah, within the vault. Um, mm. If you love these, then might be something that you might look to get again. Um, let's get the clock rocking because we're going to do something extra special. And I took it, I was like, can I take that home? And I took it home and I've, I've filled it with a, f a, a few of my pieces. Have you? Yeah. So, um, now the stuff doesn't come, obviously, it's my jewellery. Oh, is this your giveaway? Hey. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so there's a few pieces, and you'll notice look, look, jewelry maker, jewelry maker, jewelry maker. Oh, wow. Jewelry maker. I love looking in people's jewelry boxes, and it's something that happens to me all the time. But look, imagine. look at how good this is. That is brilliant. So you've got these attachments. I don't know if you can see, it's quite difficult it's to show. It's hard to show, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because they're kind of like little, little sausages that you basically just fasten together, and, and you can put. You can put all the rings on there. Um, again, I they put, all... I know this isn't very professional, but I'm thinking if you put the white behind it, you can see when it comes okay. off. Okay. Because you can't see it, can you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. Clock's ticking, by the way, and the graphics are going to appear. So you can see it. There you go. You are. Now you can see they're sausage-like. So, see, and you get those times four down there. These also... Now, along here, you've actually got little holes for the for, for your for your earrings whether they're drops or whether they're uh, studs these can you see actually fasten that's one of my such a good idea i actually need one you know i own another jewelry business yeah we wrap I'm everything you up in got tissue one. No, I don't know. Why don't we have this? When you said it yesterday, it's like we travel everywhere, wrap it all up in well, tissue this, paper. This, and this is genius. We've my, my dad bought my mum one because she used to go on all these different holiday trips and things like that, and she never used to take sort of her her, her posh posh jewellery. But if you did, you'd want it to be safe, wouldn't you? And everything folds down, so literally. Dunk. Yeah, really travel Dunk. sized. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. Put that one in there. That covers your rings, so they don't scratch everything else. Roll, Roll. it together. Velcro just there. Done. Genius, genius, it's genius. It's such a good tool. Yeah. You do oh, need some I do of these. Need that. I do need um, that. Unfortunately, you're probably going to miss out today, Marie, because our lovely viewers are <laughs> uh, um, are, 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 are loving them. Um, but they're so good, aren't they? 
So, so, so good. So, yeah, I took this home, put a few of, a pieces of my jewellery in there madness. as well. Wait, sorry. Yeah, the price you heard the price. Life. You can tell I'm not quite as professional as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you get genuine reaction. <laughs> 13.95. Um, we used yeah. to sell these for, and they were quite expensive. Right. Okay. Um, quite expensive. They are fab. Yeah, have, if you, not every jeweller will actually sell them, of course, but, um, but if you are lucky enough to see them, you'd be quite surprised by the size. It's even just to protect so that yeah. is so important to protect those rings yep. isn't it because if you didn't do that they would all knock against each other if you other didn't do damaged. that something like this happens what did you do what did you do Al? they've quoted me over a thousand pounds to repair that oh, look at the tanzanite yeah. oh no i've chipped it i'm disappointed in you <laughs> I've massively, I've massively chipped it. So it's oh, really worthwhile looking is, after is. them. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've spoken about that on air, actually. There's a massive chunk out yeah, of that Tanzanite. Huge chunk. Um, yeah, four figures to repair, to repair it. And you get loads of room, too. Um, like I said, you've got the four places for, uh, for, you know, for, for rings. You've got one pair, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven pairs of earrings. Oh, no, and these. These have got the little hole cutouts yeah. as well. You don't have to use them. You can wrap your chains around as well. Um, these are amazing. So, like, if you have a sterling silver chain and you don't... It, they do get tangled, don't yeah, they? Yeah. So just looping it round so they just hang down yeah, perfectly and then roll brilliant. it, it's going to prevent it from all yeah. sort of knotting. If you've got a safe as well, because part of my problem is that I put my jewellery into a box to put it in the safe and that takes up all the space in the safe or it, I can't get it all in the box. This is genius, this is Al. Yeah, this was a really good I'm glad, idea. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little light bulb moment. Yes. I'm glad because you do need these because yeah. you go down, you travel with I travel your jewellery, don't you? I travel with jewellery and yeah, so it's absolutely essential and we spend ages, I mean after each event we probably spend 40 minutes wrapping it all back up. Yeah. <laughs> but actually this would be, and it doesn't look very professional when we get to our event, if someone comes in early and we're unwrapping everything out of plastic yeah, bags yeah, yeah. and tissue paper. Um, because we want to protect it, but actually, if it came like this, that would be that would make my life so much easier. Because I used to, I think I used to go all back and forth, back and forth down to um, are we run out of time, back to Hatton Garden all the time. So traveling, them keeping it all safe. Yeah, it was always yeah. in a jewelry roll Fitting like this. Handbag, that would perfect. Yeah. Um, oh. Glad you loved it. Yeah. Now, do you know what you're going to love all the more? Has it gone, Wayne? Has it gone? <laughs> Has it gone? Has it? Uh. Ten left, oh, ten left. <laughs> um, now, jewellery makers, um, we are about to do a, a, a really historical opportunity on one of the world's most desired and exciting of all coloured gemstones. And yet it was only discovered in the 1980s. Love so, that. yeah, amazing. Yeah. Um, historical, low price tag, blaming Marie. <laughs> and somebody's <laughs> also going to win Paraba jewellery. Don't go anywhere. It's happening after this. Now this weekend, it's our winter wedding weekend. And what is a wedding all about? Well, it's a celebration of love. And if there's one thing that you're going to love this weekend, it's the incredible treats that we've got for you. Now, what's the thing that we think about with a wedding? It's pearls, isn't it? We've got every kind of pearl. We've got marbay pearls, freshwater pearls, potato pearls. We've got peacock pearls, you name it, we've got them. Even Baroque pearls. Also, we have got back in stock we've got the incredible dremel tool and not just that we've also got all of the different sizes of the pearl burrs for you and great availability this time as well so hopefully if you want one you'll get your hands on one also amazing beautiful kits perfect for wedding jewelry and alongside that we've got some of your most favorite guest designers we've got linda brumwell we've got mark smith we've got monica we've got sheila we've got allison we've got fleur Gravy. Gravy, Jan Dwyer, the pearly queen herself, uh, all coming on air for you. And uh, deal of the days, I've just got to mention, we've got deal of the days with pearls, sterling silver, sterling silver three chain deal, and we know how you love those. And finally, back in stock after four months, the Flex, right? Seven as well. It is going to be an action packed weekend. Make sure you are there this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Jewelry Maker for our winter wedding weekend.
Hi, I'm Gemma Crow, guest designer here at Joymaker, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about a project show that we've got coming up on the 24th on the Mid Show. The project show focuses on one particular project, which is a more in-depth piece that I can take you through the whole process. So we'll be having a demonstration every hour, and as we build through those hours, you'll learn everything you need to know to make this particular statement piece. It's not going to be a kit, it will be different components that we do throughout the show. So we'll start, we'll have that beautiful lapis, um, gorgeous carnelians, seed beads, and um, your findings and everything you need to make this as we go through. So make sure you can tune in on the 24th on the mid show from one till six to see this project in all its stages come together. Hope to see you there. Hello everyone, I'm delighted to announce that for the first time in Jewelry Maker history, I'm coming on tour. I'm coming up to Harrogate on Saturday the 7th of December to do an amazing workshop. You'll be able to buy tickets for this workshop this Sunday during the morning show, 27th of October. So we look forward to seeing you then. See, it, can, it is contagious, that. What's See, that? See, everybody <laughs>, laughs at me because I always get, I always break into a little bit of a Will Smith rap. They're not, yeah, that's what I was saying. I feel like we should do a little countdown dance because yeah. you get counted down in your room. Yeah. You do, you do. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, we resisted. We maybe did. Next, maybe, maybe next, next countdown. Maybe next, <laughs> OK. Can you imagine if this day you made one of your lifetime purchases because that's always going to be what I perceive Pareba to be a once in a lifetime opportunity um, it's like Russian Alexandrite it's like Indicolite that you had previously they are it's always one of those gemstones that is, is going to be on any collector or connoisseur's radar right yeah um, I mean you probably barely had your foot through the door and you were hounded for Pareba Tourmaline. Absolutely was one of the things that I was given on a list, of, a wish list, the first week that I was here. Yeah. It was Pareba, Alexandrite, um, Papadasha Sapphire, all the things that are so high value yeah. that I was like, I don't think we're going to be able to achieve that, yeah. but yeah, we'll yeah, have yeah. a really good go. Well, um, yeah. And you did it. But you didn't just get Pareba tourmaline. You actually got the Brazilian Pareba. And I can't emphasize this. I don't think, you know, Alexandrite and Pareba, uh, and Pareba tourmaline in particular, I think those two, the location really is key. And it massively drives the price, doesn't it? Price yeah. per carat. Um, so re in reading about it, and we will we'll do a countdown because this is going to be a really historical auction. If you need to make any confirmations, you need to do anything that you need to do, now is the time to do it because this, you know, we won't be repeating this auction, by the way. Um, so, I mean, what, what, what? Yeah. Look, Mary's okay. mega auction one time. Yeah, exactly. It's, it, we, we can't do this um, repeatedly, surely, for something like Parade but Tourmaline. So, regarded as one of the rarest gemstones on our entire planet. And um, it was traditionally um, originating, as we said, from only one location, and that is the Paraba, the, the state of Paraba in Brazil. Um, and many still consider true Pareba tourmaline to be only from that location, don't they? I yeah. mean, further deposits have been discovered in Kenya and Mozambique, I believe, but per Brazil, most people still have. And I was reading, actually, your former boss as well, Wayne. Um, his, 
his uh, write up. It was he was desperate. He got hold of Mozambique, but he was desperate to get hold of the the Brazilian lo uh, location. Um, so, and in just a few decades, it has become one of the most sought after gemstones in the world. Um, what I've, I subscribe to the jewellery editor. Oh, that's don't, good. Yeah, yeah really, yeah. really good. And I love their write ups. And if you read them, what they wrote about Pereba Tourmaline, um, there's a wonderful passage about tourmaline as a gemstone. Um, but yeah, discovered in the 1980s by a gentleman called Hita Dimas Barbosa, who spent years, uh, years and years, driven solely by passion and the belief that something special was hidden underneath the location um, of, the uh, of the hills, the Paraiba Hills in Brazil. Um, and he found this gemstone just driven by a hunt, which is just amazing. Um, he must have realised that when he saw this incredible treasure that he had truly, truly struck gold. Also known as, and I'm going to lean on you there, here, Marie, so is that Cuprian? Cuprian, yeah, I think. Cuprian Elbate. So, um, and the, the reason why Paraiba actually has such energy is down to the trace elements of copper. Yeah. Because a Paraiba will have copper inside, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's a, a, a colour range, actually. So if you've ever seen Paraiba and it's more green or blue, um, they're both classed as Paraiba, but the neon blue is the most valuable. Yeah, this really unusual blue. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. And, and going, re retracing our steps, you actually said, you know, blue in Mother Nature is a rare thing. Yeah, it's it, uh, in my head, it's the rarest colour to find, but that's just a fact that's in my head. I don't know where it came from, but um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It well, is, it's very difficult to find. You don't see it a lot in nature. It is achievable, but it's not the easiest no, to achieve it's, for nature. It's like when you actually think. I remember talking about Ratnakiri blue once, mm. um, and that, if you were looked, to look at a Pantone chart, is called Celeste blue. Right. So, and I was like, hmm, interesting. I wonder what Celeste translates to. And I'm so glad that my little brain ticked over that way because it translates to heavenly, oh, okay. as in out of this world. Aww. So it's, yeah, one of the rarest colours on this planet. Now, in a surprising twist, as I said, Paraiba was actually discovered in other areas in 2003. Um, but still, the most sought-after location is the Brazilian mine, and that is what you're getting here. Now, as if this mega auction, one-time deal, wasn't exciting enough, one of you, and you do have to make this purchase. We're not talking about something that's popped in your basket. Um, it has to be committed to, has to be checked out. Sorry. One of you is actually going to win the necklace that Marie is wearing and a pair of matching earrings. Sorry, that's not... It's all backwards on there, isn't it? Is it? Oh, it's lovely. Genuine Paraba mm. tourmaline. I mean, I never in my wildest dreams imagined that I would be able to say that I owned a Paraba tourmaline, but today, guess mm. what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the most of your one-time you. deal. And the matching earrings as well. They are beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, very, very designer. Mm. Um, let's get the clock ticking. So how many do I actually have of these available? There are 80. You have 80 for a reason. Okay. So. Talk to me. So, um, this was very popular, this, this strap. It's of course. It's so hard. I, mean, I can't even stress how difficult it is to find. This is a, this was an absolute find. So we did bring it to air before. Yes. Uh, but this time I went back to the supplier and I was like, look, it was so in demand that we need more. We need to offer this out to more customers. It's not fair. You know, everyone's nagging in my ear that this is something that everybody should be able to own. And so I managed to secure just the best price. I think it was one of those moments where you're sort of thinking, actually, I don't want to put you out of business, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> needs must. Needs no, no, must. <laughs> like um, it's one of those moments yeah. where I thought, this is a deal, this is. And so we have managed to, we're going to bring it to you as a one-time mega deal. So what Wayne's written at the bottom there is, is genuine. Is genuine, one-time one -time only. That's it. That's I it. mean, I know what your intentions are. I heard the discussion. You don't want to miss out. I mean, like I said, if you need to, I don't know, if, if ever you've wanted and longed and uh, lusted over this gemstone, today is the day. It is the day. It there, is uh, the just, day. You, if you're going to do it, do it now. Do That's it today. It. There's, there's no messing with this. N no, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And I genuinely, I mean, 
I never thought that I would own a Prober Tourmaline because it's so expensive. And I've I'd considered it in the past, but they would have been tiny little itty bitty ones and they certainly wouldn't have been Brazil. They certainly would not have been that colour, that neon colour. I mean, the colour is just phenomenal. He did a really, I mean, he's bought the most beautiful Prober, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, it's not that, and so, yeah, it it's not the greeny tough. tones. No, it's the beautiful, beautiful Pure, turquoise blue. Pure, vivid, yeah. electric blue. Um, and I'm just holding the one. Look at, the little, look at that. That's yeah. absolutely stunning. Um, so we've got some images, haven't we, Wayne? Um, you took you took some... Oh, it was, I beg your pardon, it was the other one. But um, can I just show them one pendant of the Imperial Topaz in that rough crystal? Um, do you know which one I'm on about? Only because it's the similar shapes. And if you're wondering about how to work with the actual shapes, then this is an image. Look at that. Look at that, 1,001, oh, it's a totally different gemstone, but I wanted to show you the design beautiful, itself. Yeah. Isn't it stunning? Yeah, you could really almost lovely. do that with these, mm. but five times over, because yeah. they're actually averaging a carat each. The graphics are live. Um, I, the fact that Jewelry Maker actually bring in pray, Brazilian Prey Batormley, get your certificate of authenticity. I do think that's quite important. All collectors getting involved so far. That there is amazing that that's a price tag yeah which i would fully expect and actually would say that's relatively inexpensive for, for brazilian praber tourmaline yeah i agree um wayne you've sold lots of praber adam wayne has sold brazilian praber tourmaline for four thousand pounds per carat he says and and you probably could have sold that multiple times over same my experience, and I know Adam, you'd have had the same experience too, is that whenever you had Paraba on a, on, on a show, in a finished piece of jewellery, granted, you know, they'd always have diamonds, they'd always be 18 karat gold or even platinum. Um, they, I, I've got one story on Paraba. I sold a Paraba, I forget the size, to uh, one of um, my USA viewers. They purchased it for £6,000. She sold it because she was upgrading her Paraba. Nice. Um, she sold it on eBay, mm. of all places, for 21000 Wow, that's impressive. For 21000 So that profited from her purchase. Yeah. Um, and these are not, these are not pie-in-the-sky figures, are they? Mm. No, no, no. These, you know, it's an extremely valuable material. This is the sort of thing that I, especially as a student or as a young gemologist, would have gone to a museum to see. Yeah. Uh, because so where else could you see it? Uh, I couldn't walk into a stone dealer and say, have you got any so I can have a look? And no. Th that wasn't there. That's not an option. This is a go to a museum and have a look if you want to see it as a gemologist. And then now to have, you know, 20 years, I must have nearly done this for now, to be able to bring it round and be able to offer it out to customers at a super affordable price um, so that all those people don't have to go to a museum. No, well, this, <laughs> it's, you know... And don't it's have to just treat. dream about owning it, who actually kind of make it a reality yeah. now. Yeah. Um, 199 This is where we have closed before, which is amazing. Please do not think that's not an amazing deal. That is an amazing that's deal. That's an amazing deal for one of those crystals. Yeah. Um, and this is huge. Let's talk about the fact that, because you, you asked to see the tourmaline uh, crystals to, to speak to our customers, didn't you? Um, it's a really big thing at the mo moment, non-faceting gemstones. Absolutely. I mean, it's hugely on trend, isn't it? If you look in the marketplace, you will see loads of people using rough pieces of gemstone. Yeah. And also a talking point. Yeah. Of what's that? Actually, this is how it grew. Yeah. This is how it grew, and this is what it looks like in nature. We haven't messed with it. We don't need to. It's naturally, no. naturally beautiful. So if you go in and search the high street, you will find at the moment, particularly, loads of rough gemstones trending with all the big high streets. And for me, when I went into the Hong Kong show and saw all this colour in the in the shows, you know, what's on trend, what's coming up. So this will be filtering into people end of this year, beginning of next year, and then next year's trends, really. To see so much colour, so much rough, so much really jewellery maker product, very, very exciting. Going to make it very hard for me to keep the prices amazing puts a challenge on because if the whole marketplace yeah, has decided yeah, to run yeah. with this, I've now got to That's be true, extra, yeah. extra tough. But... Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. And it is, our, it is our amazing relationships with our suppliers. You know, this is, you know, sit down for dinner and argue over the price of your prober <laughs> until you give me the best deal you possibly can. Yeah, it's... Uh... But Marie, you said at the beginning of this auction that with this reorder, you have got a better deal, yeah. but we could still... If we were any other business, 
we would still hold a higher price yeah, tag, yeah. wouldn't we? That's what I love about jewelry maker, though. That is, it's you pass that we on will those. Honor that you know, we've you've seen it time and time again. Remember, Simon came on one mid show with an amethyst deal that we'd got and passed that offer on to the customer. And so few retailers yeah. will just pocket the cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. jewelry maker doesn't work like that. If I can get you an amazing deal, that is what I'm bringing to you. We're not greedy. It's not. It's not about that. It's about we call ourselves the jewelry maker family and that's how it feels is we buy i'm out in india buying for you i'm thinking of the end customer um so and and that's that's how the business works that's the sort of ethics of the business ethos isn't it? Yeah, yeah 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 i think I, I i don't think you're all prepared for just how good this is going to be so what we're going to do and do you know what i've got my phone i was going to purchase this on there how many I'd have we like got? To help you out, but um, I'm not going to. <laughs> no. How many? We had 80. Now we have got 60. I don't think you realise just how amazing this is going to be. And you know, can I just say, yeah, one time only opportunity. Um, there are moments in our in our lives, I suppose, without sounding too deep. But um, if you are a gemstone enthusiast these opportunities do not come around every single day. They really don't. This is not just any parade tourmaline. I mean, that in itself is, is a sentence that doesn't make sense, if you like. This is Brazilian. To so get your certificate of authenticity, this is going to be the best parade opportunity that you categorically have ever seen. 60 second countdown till Marie passes on that one time deal. I don't own this gemstone. Certainly, um, I, I never imagined I would own this gemstone, especially at the price uh, that you're actually looking at right now. Um, so you are getting, I mean, on this strand, you've actually, I've got the five, um, the five crystals. That's averaging a carrot each, a carrot paraba tourmaline, uh, normally Brazilian paraba tourmaline as well. Uh, completely natural in its car, uh, colour, Norm can fetch up to tens of thousands of pounds per carat. Can. I think, well, I mean, that's absolutely. Yeah. If, if, that, if you've done your research, you'll know the value you'll of know that material. The only, the only parade that I saw at sort of less than a couple of thousand pounds, guess what, was synthetic. Mm. That in my research last night. So do be careful of that, jewelry makers. Don't get caught up in that. You know that you are getting the real deal, um, Marie. This is epic. This is absolutely unbelievable. It's a little clock on again, so like the pressure builds. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's. I, I can't believe. I, I don't. I don't think you're expecting what's about to happen. One of you, with one of your purchases, by the way, will announce it. Come what the end of the show? The end of the show will win five carats of genuine Brazilian Paraiba tourmaline as well. Woohoo! Marie, what are we doing? What away. we doing? We're going to. Oh my God! That's I can't. It's like a drum roll. I know. Ninety-nine ninety-five. I should feel that we should do a little victory dance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, you've just purchased five carats of genuine Brazilian Paraiba tourmaline. Not... I mean, please do not think that Mozambique is not valuable, because it definitely is, or Nigerian Paraba uh, tourmaline is valuable. It definitely is. But this is on... It's like Russia to an Alexandra. It takes it to a whole other league, doesn't it? It does. I think it's such... Because we bought it now, and you can have it made up for something for Christmas. Imagine opening that on Christmas Day of, like, oh, my goodness. Can I just say, Marie, when I buy this, mm. it's all mine. <laughs> I'm not giving. I'm not giving any of these away. I think, um, oh, if I'd received that on Christmas Day, though, oh I know my. obviously you're selfish. But yeah, I'm not sharing it with you. You have to I buy think, your own. Yeah, it would be what just what an incredible thing oh. to, to have on Christmas Day. I, I mean, just just I know one. I know one person that owns a prey but tourmaline in there. You know, as as a friend. Do you know? I actually don't. I, I, I don't do, know anybody who And do you know who it is? Um, oh, it's do I know actually that? <laughs> Well you probably would, yeah, you probably would. It's um one of our head buyers on um previous associates channel, mm. his wife. 
Oh, right, he okay. bought his of all your coloured gemstones. He actually bought it for his choice. wife. He chose oh, okay. Brazilian prey tourmaline, and I can tell you, it is this lovely electric blue? I'm, I'm delighted for thank you. you. I really to everyone am. Everyone who's Marie, buying it because no, it does. You. you know, it's been. It's emotional. It is emotional because I've put an awful lot of effort into it, and then you know, negotiation and and the hope that everybody likes it. <laughs> I mean, and then you never know, do you? You could have all just gone like. We've but, got yeah. collectors getting fours. That's because they've got sense. <laughs> 20 <laughs> carats of Brazilian Paraba tourmaline that yeah. you've just bought. Yeah, that is. It's just, yeah, it's been, in, it's been an amazing process. It's been brilliant to be able to bring it to wear. And it's lovely that customers can obviously see that it's something that you want to own. So yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. you know, really, really grateful. That's... That's yeah. uh, and in dick light in one day. It's just the best day. This is what I sleep last night. And Imperial, we've got Imperial, Imperial Topaz. And the deal of the day is exciting. I did see it. Was like, I did I notice saw you were up quite late. It was I was like, up late last well, yeah, night as well. Yeah, when I couldn't sleep, I woke up at four o'clock this morning and I was like, oh. But I woke up before the sun came into the room. No, my, my son, he comes in every night. <laughs> I was going to say I the like, sun. Where is You'll he? Be there for <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was that early that my son hadn't wandered in to sleep on the floor like he does every night. Oh, bless him. Nice and early in the morning. Oh. Very, very exciting auction. And you it's know, been... you, you're probably going to be the same tonight, jewellery makers, because you've got the anticipation uh, anticipation of waiting for this to arrive now. Yes, that's um, exciting. Um, and you, exactly. you think this is spe uh, special right now, and you're doing your own little victory dances. Um, imagine how you are going to feel when this does land on your doorstep. Well, it's like when the product comes onto my desk, uh, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. And then everyone says, oh, she's carrying it around the building. Because I've waited. You do. You I've actually do it. that. I've waited for you it do to do be that. cut. I've waited <laughs> for it to be stranded. Yeah. I want to physically see it. And then, yeah, there it is on my desk. And then I do walk around the building showing everybody, <laughs> expecting them to be as enthusiastic as I and am. And we are. And we mostly, always... mostly they are. Um, but can I just <laughs> say that maybe would, um, would the wise possibly get this added to your insurance, I think would be yeah. a good idea. Um, not at the price that's on your screens. Not at the price. That is not its true value. It's considerably more than that. It's extremely uh, hard to value, thinking as a valuer. Well, it's really extremely hard to value. You'd have to it's take... so unusual... Uh, yeah, it would go. It would have yeah. to go to somewhere a, a colour gemstone a specialist. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> so they're gonna be Thank you me. for my family. Jay says, "Oh, Jay, Thank wow." You. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, 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 do you know I'm totally on your wavelength because I will. I'm buying this not just because I love it, but because I think it's my responsibility to buy it. Knowing that if I work in this field, you know, Willow might not take that same path, that same direction. Do you think she's going to be able to afford to buy Paraba tourmaline? She has some amazing jewellery, Willow. Yeah. <laughs> she's she all does. right. Yeah, I she's... come around, she's like, hi. Yeah, she yeah, does. That's a beautiful necklace. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> does. Hi, yeah. Sue. I am so happy to have this Braver Tormley in my collection now. I may even part with one of them, um, or perhaps not. <laughs> I'm not going to, Sue. So, so I, 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 be I... more L. Keep them for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be selfish on this occasion. Be selfish. Keep them for yourself. Um, how many have you got left? Because seriously, I'm getting, I'm stuck. I'm starting to get worried because I really want one. Fifteen of these left. Um, L, June, Louis, West Yorkshire, Hertfordshire, Sandra, Lynn, London, Essex, Denise, new customer. My goodness, if this is your first purchase, wow, wow, we are. I don't even know why I said that. It's the Paraba. <laughs> I think you've got a bit too excited. I think so. Uh, <laughs> Linda, you've got to check them out. Jill in West Midlands is there. Now, to Carol in Devon, who has just bought an amazing eight. Well done, Carol. Oh, good for um, you. Deborah, Linda, Susan in West Midlands, Multibine, Suffolk, Merseyside, Dorset, London, Heather, Kent has bought four, Somerset's multi-bought, Moray's multi-bought. The reality is, folks, I mean, you have, you could literally, no, I'm not even saying that. Buy one, get one free. But no, on Brazilian prey, we're talking, but that's basically what like you've that. done. That is what you've done. Yeah. That's amazing, yeah. Uh, hi, Tracy. Wow, wow, wow. Marie, what an amazing deal. So glad to be part of the JM family and get deals like this. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, oh. well done, you. Thank you. So can you get more? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, it, it's not something. I mean, you go on, you, you've just come back from India um, and you, you go on all of these buying expeditions and it's, 
always going to be on your radar, I'd imagine. Oh, but... yeah. There's, I mean, there are things on your radar, but it's what's available, you know. Yeah. They can't... We've just spoken about how difficult it is and from Brazil to actually find that material. And it took that chap five and a half years to dig one bit up, you know, come on. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and then since then, they dug most of that part Yeah, up, well, that's, so, that's closed um, now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so you think... It's, the original it, mine. It's genuinely difficult, you know. Yeah. It's not the same as buying other materials. I mean, I do have this conversation with other buyers, you know, so people who buy things that are manufactured, they can, their job is slightly easier than my job because I'm trying to buy things that are extremely rare and have to be mined and often treated and, um, you know, there's whole processes they go through. It's not the same as just buying stationery, for example. Precisely, yeah. yeah it's not something it's... that can just be uh, sort of whipped up, made, or sort of just increase the quantity. Paraba, Indicolite, Imperial Topaz, these are very desirable coloured gemstones. Very special, and very you know. little of it comes out of the ground. Um, I, I don't know uh, in terms of what the statistics are with your pra your Brazilian Paraba tourmaline, but you just you just mentioned there the, the original location is now deplete, isn't yeah. it? Um, you know, yeah, that, 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 the, you know, the Paraba Hill mine itself is now closed. But there are other locations, but very small amounts. It's tiny copper plates within the Paraba itself that give it this that vivacity, it, yeah. isn't it? I love that, though. I love the elements within the gemstones. That's one of the things that really drew me into gemology mm. was how they're coloured and that it's really, really interesting, isn't it? And also when you think about Brazil and um, the other countries this gemstone's found, if you look back, it's when the... Um, before the plates moved in the earth, actually okay. they grew together. It's just the world that's moved, which means it's now in another location. Okay. So they actually grew together. So, that's crazy, yeah, isn't so it? when you actually think about all the geology and the gemology and yeah, the science behind it, that's really what fascinates me. And all the amazing little facts about little, each material and yeah. tiny little copper oh, plates. Told me that very exciting oh, fact, yes, didn't yes, she? Yes. Which was really exciting. So you showed me this um, this yeah, morning. So um, uh, my one of my very good friends, Claire, uh, is an amazing gemologist. And I was asking her, I was telling her that the Praeba and the Indicolite were coming on today. So she was also, she would have bought them uh, for definite. And hi to her mum, because she said she's watching today. Hi. Ah! Uh, so, uh, and she was saying that it has this, um, tourmaline has these amazing properties anyway, uh, but actually it was in the 1960s, it was uh, developed using jet engines to measure vibrations in the gauge called an accelerometer. Uh, so actually, they keep your plane safe, tourmaline, not Paraba. Not Paraba. they're going that yeah. far. But, but actual no. tourmaline. Yeah, yeah. other, other so examples of... Because there's, there's an... It's is it piezo, an piezo electric. Piezoelectric, I think it's... Um, piezoelectric. P -I -E. So you're saying that, like, my husband will deal with tourmalines? Yes, quite possibly. I mean, different gemstones are used in different parts of engineering yeah. for all sorts of things. But So this is a gemstone which can um, create some sort of, it's like electricity, I suppose. Uh, so it has a pyroelectric effect. Very cool. Where, yeah, it will become charged. Not your Paraba, obviously. They're not going to use Paraba well, tourmaline. that effect, but they're not going to use that in a jet no, engine. No, no, clearly, clearly not. No. We have got, oh, no, hang on, it's kicked me off. 42 in baskets for the final five. Once, oh, hang on, sorry, it's just kicked me off. One minute. Um, can I ask you to hold that one second? Uh, the Bye. final, <laughs> yeah, she's out of here. She is out of here. The I final five of these. And don't forget, one of you is going to win. My, yeah, let's, here we go. One of you is going to win. Marie's sorry. beautiful. Paraba tourmaline, sweet of jewellery. Too much hair, look. I need to get rid of the hair. <laughs> oh, I can't. I mean, that is the stuff of dreams. To say that you own one of those, let alone five plus the strand that you bought. Just unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so we had 14 baskets for the final three. So it's either you, Susan, Jill, Elle, June... Oh, hang on, because there's, there's some names here that have messaged and saying you've got it and... and it doesn't look like you've checked out to me. Make sure you've checked out your baskets because it's not actually guaranteed to you until you make that confirmation. This is a one-time deal. 
do not expect, because we get this quite a lot. Um, oh, well, you had Paraba. I'm not going to say Paraba because we don't have Paraba like 10 to a penny. You had this gemstone and it was sold at that price tag previously. Things do fluctuate in the oh, gemstone gosh, world. Yeah, massively, you know, and that's one thing that might drive me slightly around the bend. Yeah, yeah, I bet. <laughs> and that people expect it then to come back at the same price. And do you know what the other thing is? Is that the value of our sterling silver is the, va the price of sterling silver now is the highest it's been and yet we still keep it at the value that it's been for, yeah, for yeah, years yeah, yeah. and years and years. So yeah, so it's things like that where that's how much we're fighting in the marketplace to keep the prices yeah. and, and hold it. But for the gemstones, no, it's what's come out of the mine, it's the yield, it's the supply and demand. There's so many things to be taken into consideration. It, especially, this yeah, would be a absolutely. gemstone they would stockpile. Brazil, not oh. stockpile, as in sit on. They'd keep oh, yeah. hold if they've of got it. The, if they've got it, then they're going to be very selective who they sell it to and at what price. It's yeah. the sort of thing they can completely control the price on. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's not like some they've of the, got the more abundant materials. Then, yeah, obviously, yeah. that's a bit different. But, no, so we can never really guarantee the price because you never know what that marketplace is going to do and you never know what they're going to do up True. so you know it you just don't know do you you've just purchased brazilian pareva tourmaline i mean that like i said i'll go back to sort of the introduction to this mega auction that right there is a defining moment in anybody's collection yeah it really is do you own brazilian parabia tourmaline no unfortunately not because you've just sold it all <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't feel bad about that though. No, um, I'm hoping I will after this auction, but if. Oh, really? Am I going to miss out? 50 in baskets for the final why two. Why do people do that? Maybe people should message in and, uh, and tell me why they don't check it out. It doesn't make any sense to it's me. Ne it's not it's going like, a single penny lower. That is, like is your price. It's putting it in your shopping basket in the supermarket and then what, leaving your basket and yes. going off for a cup of tea and then coming it's back, so true. check what's still in your basket. It's so it seems true. Like the oddest concept uh, to me that you'd it leave is, it there, it's, not pay for it, and then that maybe go so back true. in the shop and buy something else. But, so, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I agree with you. There's two left. Wayne, you own a prey, but don't you? Wayne owns a Paraba. It's a most... Uh, do you own a Paraba as well? Leah does too. Oh, see, I said I didn't know anyone. It turns out I know lots oh, of people. Oh, hang on a minute. Because I know these are... I'm not Brazilian, though. No one can... Okay, so Wayne says his is Mozambique. Where's yours from, do you know? I think it's Brazilian, but it's going to be my engagement ring. Um, it was... Leah's... changed my mind. So you changed your mind. So I kept it, I still got it. Is oh it a faceted goodness. stone? A loose stone, yeah. A loose stone. Yeah. Have you had anything done with it yet? Oh my goodness, you so need to, Leah. Wow, and get that valued. Yeah. Make sure you get it valued and, 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 and insured. Wow, wow, wow. 99.95. I can't believe there's two left. This is, this is, this is actually <laughs> painful right now because I actually want, I really want to go and buy. Can somebody go and get my phone or not? No, because you're going the queue. You can't skip over the 50 people, can you? Yes. If they don't can check you? out, they can. You left your basket in the middle of the supermarket. Snooze, <laughs> you lose. I think, you know, if on the case... <laughs> this is a silly story, I'm sorry. Okay. You know, when the kids were little and people left their shopping basket unattended, not because they were going to go and have a coffee, but just because they left it. The kids would hide things. So I remember my little one once hiding a Halloween like hairy hand <laughs> in someone's shopping basket. in Because he wanted it. Just because it was funny. Yeah, yeah. So oh, when right, right. she comes to one packet, there's this big hairy hand sticking out. <laughs> I can imagine your wife doing chuckle. that. Yeah. Uh, you definitely wouldn't, I wouldn't walk away from this opportunity. 100%, 61. Um, of you have it in your baskets. Oh, who just got that one? Oh, <laughs> oh, there's some jumping going on. Oh, it's just not fair, really. <laughs> it's, it's not. Has fair. anyone actually gone to get my phone? Where is it? It's in my bag. Yeah, there's only one left now. It's in the. It's in the. I'm gonna miss out, aren't I? It's in the dressing room. I'm gonna miss out. Michelle Lanarkshire, <laughs> Cornwall. Really mean. Listen, first oh. come, first serve. Lund Who just got one then? Pete's pegged it. Well then, Pete. I I'm just, I'm, I'm being completely open about this. If you don't check it out, I'm coming after it. Oh, Lucy's got the phone. <laughs> thank you, thank you, honey. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it. Where's the app? You know when you do an update and it jiggles. Where's the app? 
It's because you're in a panic like state. Yet. Stop panicking. <laughs> I am panicking. Can you... there, there, there it is. is there, there it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I'm doing it live. Bye now. Oh, I added loads of other stuff to my basket the other night. I walked away. <laughs> And you've left your basket. Yeah, it's this okay. This is what it's, it's, it's because practice what you preach. I'd say. No, it's because uh, I bought loads of uh, Swarovski the other day, and I phoned up in the end. Right, I'm on it. I'm even removing some of the Swarovski, so you've got that extra time. Jump rings, I do need those. Hang on. Oh, do you know what else is in? Now. You're not live on the telly. No, hang on a minute. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. I'm doing it now. Here we go. I've got some, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep them in there. Right, check it out. She's doing it, she pressed the button. I pressed it. Oh, what's going on? It says it's out of stock. Oh, uh -huh, right. It's because the grand did you write's out of stock, hang on. Well, that will serve you right as well. We told you that was how to get as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've wasn't a got... lie. <laughs> no, 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 I've already got that. It's because I sometimes phone. Oh, right. That's why. Okay, proceed. There you Yay! are. Yay! <laughs> there I am. You see me? There's one I left. I can't see you. There is one left. I own I a Brazilian Prey but only now. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> making the most of Marie's one time auction, Joy Makers. It's never going to happen again. No. Never, well, yeah, you know, never say never, but highly don't unlikely. No, I don't think so. No, highly, no. highly unlikely. I don't unlikely. think that supplier's going to be talking to me for a long time, so that's it. Do they watch? I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes they ask to send the show. Oh, really? So he might email and say, can, I watch, can, I, can you send it? And then obviously you can watch back on YouTube, so, yeah, he might ask. Now, the only thing, I, I'm, I won't be entered into that competition. One of you is going to win. Five carats of Pareba tourmaline. Can you imagine if they do <laughs> triple my name? I, I promise I won't. It will won't be the honourable thing to say. I will no, be honourable yes. and say, yes. no, 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 choose, yeah. pick again. Um, so we'll do announce that at the top of the show, jewelry makers. Oh my goodness. Should we melt the phone lines again? I mean, that was obviously um, a very, very, very prestigious opportunity. Now, the other day, Adam was on air with myself and Claire McDonald, and Claire made a little bracelet out of these. She wears it. Next time she's, she's, she's on, have a little look at her little stack of bracelets, and she wears it, and it's just on mm. elastic. It's so beautiful. Um, and loads of you messaged in saying, have you got that strand? We couldn't find the strand. Guess what? Here it is. Have you reordered this, then? This is brand new. Aha! Yeah. That'll be why yeah. then. Yeah. How many do we have? 287 jewellery makers. Not for very long though. It's another star buy. It's so beautiful, this, Marie, and that will go onto an elastic. Well, I'm not allowed to take it off you. You know, the rules of being on air with you is that you mustn't snatch the product off the presenter. <laughs> you want to look at Thank it, don't much. you? You want to look at it. So oh, where's, that? So where's my jewellery gone loose? Yes. What? My little jewellery roll, where's you know, it gone? Next to oh, it's next to Marie. I was here. Oh, God, I only kept that to remind myself. I should have added it to your basket. Just you should have done, actually. Up. Should have done. And only because, I mean, it's not the same strand, but I put in here some little bracelets that I made some time oh, ago. Oh, so pretty. Um, out, of, out of, oh, hang on. Oh, it's, there we are. Out of, uh, out of spinel. And it's just such a beautiful gemstone in just a simple stacker Sim style yeah. bracelet. It is, it's one of my, I think it's one of my favourites for now. And it grows on me more and more that I see it. It's the luster, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's it's one of the highest lusters, close to diamond, very, very close to diamond. Really? Which is why it is so, so sparkly. And it is just beautiful and always looks good with all the facets. See, even in this little video there of it catching the light. And that's why it looks good on the bracelet. Do you know it's how I always describe sparkly. it? 
A paparazzi flash. Do you? Yeah, there you are. You know, when you see... It's when not you... something that's happened to me, Elle. It might yeah, happen I'm, to you. I'm sure... Oh, no. I'm sure... No, but if you imagine all these yeah, Hollywood yeah. A-listers stood on the red carpet and it's like, pap, 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 yeah. pap, 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 It's like that across the surface of the gemstone, yeah. isn't it? it's absolutely amazing. And this is so beautiful, micro-faceted. They're so cute. I love it. Yeah, Who? It's a build-up to Christmas. I'll tell you what, who's, uh, um, you know, we have to sort of think about, okay, what can I make as Christmas presents? What's going to be, what is going to be, um, have that reaction that we all want to see from uh, the receivers of, uh, of your jewellery especially. Um, whilst, good point, whilst protecting your own bank account. I don't have that ability. To well, protect my bank account. That's you'll do it sub. Thing. You'll do it subconsciously. <laughs> do I? Because we're going to take this under five pounds. But I have just shy of three hundred of these. Again, I'm adding it to my order. If there's any of these left, I'm definitely getting some. I'm on a little bit of beading thread. The bracelet I'm wearing here. Look. Now this is part of your deal of the day, which is just fifteen minutes, just over fifteen minutes away. Imagine doing that. Yeah, that's stunning. Ahead of the pearls that yeah. we're going to have this weekend. Yeah. I think if you're thinking Christmas, you know, if you've got a craft store with Spinel particularly, that you, it will catch the light, won't it? So as people are walking past, it catches your eye because it's super sparkly. Also on Christmas Day, candlelight will make this look amazing. Oh. Or the candlelight will catch, make it constantly look like it's moving because it will catch all the little facets with its high luster. And everyone has candles on the dinner table at Christmas, don't they? Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to look amazing. Yeah, so... Talk to me about crystal. I mean, because because this is of all, it always make puzzles me. Of your spinels, your multicolored ones are not opaque, are they? You can get opaque can varieties, get opaque. Um, but with black, it is that really beautiful. It's the most beautiful black gemstone, I think. I think it's yeah. It's, it is is so close to diamond. Yeah. If you want diamond, you pay for diamond. But yeah. this is the diamond look without the price tag of the diamond. Absolutely. I, it, is one of my firm favourites. I mean, Red Spinel has a huge price tag in China, particularly. It's really, really, really valuable. Yeah. And they push the price. Um, Black Spinel, you know, it's amazing value. Looks just the most sparkly gemstone that you could own uh, at such an amazing price. I think it just ticks all the boxes. It, it does, and it's it, it's a very, very, very fashion-forward gemstone. Lorraine Schwartz uses it a lot. Um, what's that? Over a hundred of these have gone. Yeah, that will do. And then I'm going to get told off. Oh, that's nice. That's um, pink spinels oh. um, that I bought bought years ago. Do you know what? Hardly ever wear that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the luster, isn't it, and the mm. brilliance that you yeah. actually get. Really, really pretty. Oh gosh, it would look lovely alongside um, alongside these kind of colours. Use it with your sterling silver little beads. Use mm. it alongside your deal of the day. <gasps> Use it alongside. If you are one of the lucky ten. Ten? There's only ten of these. Oh, don't of tell your people that. No, 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 your can imperial they topaz. Can we pre-order them, can they, Wayne? You, can we pre-order the imperial topaz? Yeah, there is five. Can we pre-order the imperial topaz? I don't think you can if there's only ten, because that's really mean, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or am I wrong? <laughs> um, no, it's not mean. <laughs> No, you can't pre-order those, but they will be That's amazing funny. alongside it too. It's really durable too. It's right up there on the most scale, isn't it? It's it, it, it's one of those gemstones that you could wear on a daily basis. It's hardness of eight, so yeah. that's very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really durable. It's, it ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? It's yeah. got the high luster, it's very durable, it looks good, it takes a nice cut, so it's got really high polish. This book we have sold before, but in the next volume uh, I was going to say I recognise yeah, it. So it's, mine's an older book. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful material. Comes in multiple colours. I personally prefer the black. I do like the red. I mm. think the red's nice. And we did, um, we bought a strand of uh, spinel nuggets, which were oh, red. Oh, yeah, But yeah, they yeah. were actually, some of the original crystals were in there because the crystals grow. They're very exciting, spinel crystals. Can you just grab that one for me? Cubes. They grow, as the, but this is how a diamond grows in yeah. this shape, and they grow like that. And this strand of um, nuggets that we bought had the little red crystals in. I was so excited. I sent a photo to Claire. She was so excited as well. Simon so was like, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you what are know you getting what? excited about? <laughs> you know what? Rarity, beauty, uh, rarity and value, you know, all of those things that, you know, that's a big plus point, of course, but it shouldn't drive, it shouldn't be the thing that instigates our sort of purchases. It should always be that beauty, it's shouldn't beauty. it? Beauty. Beauty. Every time. Always. In my opinion, and don't yeah. you think that Black Spinel has got that and yes. it's got it in droves? Yes. Yeah. 
you know. Um, natural. You know, this is what Shirovsky is created to look like, in my opinion. It, That's what they want to look like. It's created to be super sparkly and catch your eye. Yeah. This is nature. We're under so, five yeah. pounds. In all under of this conversation, pounds. we're under five pounds. You know, you know, you know, just have a little moment when you think, oh, hang on a minute. That's a genuine gemstone that's formed for thousands and thousands. thousands of years. And we've yeah. just yeah. swooped yeah. on in there, put faceted them into those beautiful little rondelles and basically brought it for five pounds. I mean, do you know what I'm going to... It's I, a I, long I, strand as well. Though. I was going to say that, perfect wraparound style bracelet on a magnetic yeah, glass. Yeah, oh, look nice with your Christmas outfits, won't it? That's so lovely. Yeah. Well done. Well done, well done. Right, now, you did ask, Marie, for... I might be having a little bit of a freak out because um, <laughs> this morning my loop broke. And you don't, you don't realise how that important that was to me, but it actually just broke. I mean, I have been screwing it together now for quite a few years. <laughs> so maybe it is time. It's one of those things, isn't it? If you, if, if you work in a particular job and you have a tool... <laughs> Yeah. that is so essential to your everyday life. You yeah. get quite attached to it. Yes, but being the neglectful soul that I am, I left it in my handbag. And uh, when I came to collect it this morning, it is now in a few pieces and the tiny screw's gone. Um, so I have to buy another one. And they're not cheap, the loops. Well, we might have so. a couple. Oh, have we? We've got a couple of loops. Now, look at this. Oh, so... Oh, I met. Is this Carson's? I yeah, met this the Carson's is Carson's man at a show. He was a nice looking man. So, this is. It can't. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Sorry. I sometimes forget you're on the telly. <laughs> Look, I don't know me. if it was Peter Larson from Carson. I don't know. If Peter that was Larson him. from Carson. I don't know if that was him. Um, right, what do I do with all of these? So, hang on. They so all kind of attach, don't they? Because you've got, you've got. I love it when you prep the show, Elle. <laughs> No, because I thought this I thought this was the one that actually goes on here. It's not, is it? It's a different it's a, ah, okay. Oh, okay. So, so you actually sort of stand Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And, and then, then you the can put that in there. Look. So that goes like Look that. At that. That's oh, very that. good, isn't it? I bet that's super handy for most things. My nan always had a magnifying glass next to her, you know, when she sat in her chair, and next to her chair was all her things. Yeah. Always a magnifying yeah, glass. Yeah, to read the paper. Yeah, well, yeah for yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. A magnifying glass. You out. can, um, you, and this, I mean, this one's slightly different. So if I actually show you, can you see? Oh, yeah. So it, that will magnify, won't it? So they're all magnifiers, obviously, but they all just clip. I won't push it in, but they all just clip in here. I think even there's if There's a push little it in, light. Just... Can you see the light? Yeah. Just there. If you want to wear it around your neck, there's also a little adjustable... And you can take it off the stand before yeah. you do that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Then you've got this one. That's I'll right. Pop it in upside down. There you are. So pop that you one pop on. it in and then you just squeeze it and it comes out. So it's trying desperately hard. So this is, I mean, this is again um, very much a you product. You oh, bought all these, this. didn't you? I love this. You can so you don't need your loop. You can use no, these instead. That's what I'm saying. Can we bring some products on that I can replace my loop with? There you are. Perfect. Twenty seven ninety five, And you get all the different types that's too of magnifiers, which instructions then. inside will um, tell you which one's which. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Right, this is cool. Um, Marie, I wish I had more. Ooh. Because this is, I'm going to close the box first and show the picture on the front. How many of us are desperate for a loop? So when you are looking... In include the smartphone clip. That's what you oh, use, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Now... That's so handy. Um, so it comes in the box. There's the smartphone clip. Oh, wow. There's your eye loops. So you've got different... different. I don't know if you can see, but just there, there's magnified by... Is it that way? Yeah. You can six times, 6.5 times magnification. But these, I have to say, Marie, are... Yeah, because they're different magnifying sizes. But these are the ones. Wow. They're, really, they're like the comfort fit. Well, then you've got both hands, haven't you? Yeah. Whereas and they normally do. with my loop, I've lost a hand. Yeah. You're desperate for these, aren't I you? <laughs> I'll buy this one up. <laughs> 20, what was it? 21 95 Oh, my loop cost nearly £100. Did it really? Yeah. 
So it was a bit of a loss, really, isn't it? So why was that so expensive? So it's, I mean, how long have I had it? Probably 10 years. Okay. I think this is the second loop I've had. Okay. But when you work with diamonds particularly, very good if you knock the loop with the diamond, you can chip it. So the other one I chipped. Okay. Um, yeah, because it's something, the quality was important and... and so, yeah. And Carson's are, you know, a, a, a premium brand. You've got the magnification. These are quite limited, though. Look at this one. So, um, There's only five left now. Five of them left. You need to get more of these. So you're go you're doing the. I'm just wondering how it goes. The, from the there. phone attachment. So you've got the instructions in here. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you take off the little spongy bit. Um, how many left? Sorry. Oh, that's super handy. That is. Good. Three of them left. Okay, so four and a half. So there and we then go. You just attach it to your phone because that's what I use nearly all the time is a magnifier on my phone to take um, photos of all the inclusions in the Adam, gemstones. I just sometimes listen to myself. And think, Production yeah, need these as well. Yeah. Production needs some of these because for photographs in um, that we bring on air. I mean, often we steal yours, but you know sometimes yeah. The, 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 to get show uh, a photograph of the uh, gemstone internally, we can do that using these as well. Oh, really um, hi Wendy, I have these and they're amazing with the phone. I use them for identifying uh, pottery. I find field walking and anything I need to see in small detail. Oh, that's a good idea. Great yeah. idea. Yeah. So this is not just going to appeal to sort of your, your gemstone enthusiasts. No, this is going to everybody. be... Uh, just, yeah. Do you know, that is so easy. The one that I've got, uh, which again, I think was over £100, mm. that attaches to my phone. I have to take the cover off the phone and then yeah. attach it because it's designed to fit the phone okay. and then you can put you have to put you have to keep it in a little box and it's a bit of a bit of a nuisance but it would seem but that but this one literally one, you just click it onto there and then that's it and then the quality of the image oh my goodness yeah can you see that on the overhead take it take a, take a picture of oh which one which one what do you want? Which take one? a picture of what do we yeah. think Oh, there are inclusions in there. Yeah. But this is only four and a half times magnification. Uh, how would that is so much easier than what I use. Oh, sorry. That would help be helpful. Than what I use now. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's super And that's handy. through the magnifier. Yeah. Can we have some more of these, please? Yes, Katie. <laughs> Katie, 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 Katie sold out. Sold yeah. out, sold out. Oh, sorry, um, let me put it back together. Cause... Um, okay. Moving on, number five. Yeah, that's amazing. Right, this is good. Yeah, this is cool. I had to pick it up to have a little look at it. So, um, can I borrow one of those? Yeah. Oh, so then you need this as an attachment for that. Ooh, look. No. <laughs> Do you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> you know, um, you know the man in Harry Potter. Yes. Doesn't he? Have How do you guys him? <laughs> So, no, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. No. Harry Potter. I think we should no. stop that. I've never seen Harry anyway, Potter. You've never seen Harry Potter? No, What's wrong never. With you? Never. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is going to fit my head. I'm crying here now. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, hey. all right, Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't think I've ever looked that attractive. <laughs> oh, helps I me. I think you should get one for uh, Tom. Uh, helps <laughs> if you're not laughing. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway. That's, no, in all seriousness. <laughs> I don't think you can be serious. Just put it away. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> When you need your hands and you want to look at the same time, <laughs> you're anyway. going to have a use for that band. You what? really it are. It would be handy it's because, cool. again, completely hands-free, oh. isn't it? That is super handy. Yes, yes. exactly. And Amazing. it is adjustable as well. So you've got... Um... <laughs> Just put it away. <laughs> Wayne, can you not move on? <laughs> Yes, right then, let's anybody, move on to yeah, yeah, let's, please, 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 oh, please. please. The tissue now. Oh, uh, that's all right, I'm used to it. Right then, everybody, who wants another massive auction? Oh, my goodness, it's been so good so far, but we've still got more to come. We've still got your I Imperial Topaz. 
in a massive but very limited auction. Um, and this beautiful deal of the day bundle, I mean, it really is. I, please don't think that it's been outshone because it absolutely hasn't. No, it hasn't. No, it, um, no, this is a beautiful deal of the day bundle. I put together myself, so it's not being outshone. Really? Yeah, yeah, um, it's and really lovely. So you've bought each of these strands individually? I, I bought them individually, but bought, put them as a bundle because this is the fashion. Yeah. This is what I'm seeing in the marketplace. We, we've got some images that you took when you were over in China yeah. on your buying trip, and, and it just literally confirms everything that you have just said. Yeah. A selection of absolutely beautiful, genuine gemstones in an amazing, an absolutely amazing deal of the day. Don't go anywhere, Jewel Makers. Back after this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gemma Crow, guest designer here at Jewelry Maker, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about a project show that we've got coming up on the 24th on the Mid Show. The project show focuses on one particular project, which is a more in-depth piece that I can take you through the whole process. So we'll be having a demonstration every hour, and as we build through those hours, you'll learn everything you need to know to make this particular statement piece. It's not going to be a kit, it will be different components that we do throughout the show. So we'll start, we'll have that beautiful lapis, um, gorgeous carnelians, seed beads, and um, your findings and everything you need to make this as we go through. So make sure you can tune in on the 24th on the mid show from one till six to see this project in all its stages come together. Hope to see you there. Now this weekend, it's our winter wedding weekend. And what is a wedding all about? Well, it's a celebration of love. And if there's one thing that you're going to love this weekend, it's the incredible treats that we've got for you. Now, what's the thing that we think about with a wedding? It's pearls, isn't it? We've got every kind of pearl. We've got marbe pearls, freshwater pearls, potato pearls. We've got peacock pearls, you name it, we've got them. Even Baroque pearls. Also, we have got back in stock we've got the incredible dremel tool and not just that we've also got all of the different sizes of the pearl burrs for you and great availability this time as well so hopefully if you want one you'll get your hands on one also amazing beautiful kits perfect for wedding jewelry and alongside that we've got some of your most favorite guest designers we've got linda brumwell we've got mark smith we've got monica we've got sheila we've got allison we've got fleur Gravy. Gravy, Jan Dwyer, the pearly queen herself, uh, all coming on air for you. And uh, deal of the days, I've just got to mention, we've got deal of the days with pearls, sterling silver, sterling silver three chain deal, and we know how you love those. And finally, back in stock after four months, the Flex, right? Seven as well. It is going to be an action packed weekend. Make sure you are there this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Jewelry Maker for our winter wedding weekend. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share.
are. Welcome back, everybody. Lovely to have your company this morning. I'm joined by the wonderful Marie. Hello. <laughs> that shouldn't be this much fun, should no, it? No, no, you know, they say that, don't they? That you're supposed to. It's not supposed to be this much fun at work. Oh, well, but it is. I think but most is, days of my working life have been amazing. Yeah, yeah. we're very yeah. fortunate, aren't yeah. we? Um, and I, call, I class that, to be part of the JM family, and so many of you message that as well, it's so nice that you take on that expression too, um, because we are a big family that extends all around the world. Yeah. Um, and I love, I love it that, you know, we can now bring you on and you tell the story behind, you know, so many of your purchases and the, the fact that, you know, you do tend to remember every single one of them as well, don't I you? Don't, no, I have to confess, Most of I don't them. remember them all and sometimes I feel bad that I didn't remember it. But if Fair I haven't enough. remembered it, Simon normally so, has. Yeah, so, some, somebody yeah, will. Yeah, but yeah, there's, there, you get exceptional ones. Some of the stuff that, it, you know, it's just it's product yep. that, we, that comes onto my desk and I've bought like 100 products on that particular order and then there's one. But there's always an element of surprise. Yeah, I like that. So, like Christmas <laughs> like, every oh. single day. Um, now, as soon as I came into the studio, I was like, can I, can I wear these? Um, because, uh, do you know what? The past three shows that I have done... I think our in-house designers have made some of the most beautiful jewellery. Oh, they make lovely stuff out they there. They really what do. What job is that? I know. I mean, <laughs> look at Amazing this. Job. So you've got a pearl, a perfect, beautiful spherical pearl, which you're going to have loads of over the course of the weekend. Oh, yeah, don't get me started on the weekend. Um, yeah. And then... <laughs> Look at those gorgeous micro-faceted garnets. Yeah. So that's got a beady bead. Is it? I there love that. It looks like a raspberry. Yeah, that's right. A little, a little beady bead of garnet. I've got the matching earrings as well. And these will just go on to your, your, your head pins, your featherweights or your, your normal sized head, head pins. Super simple to do. I mean, if that's the first piece of jewellery, um, it's actually one of the first techniques that you learn, actually, as a beader, is a, is a beady bead. Oh, right, OK. It's very so effective, it isn't is. it? It yeah. is. Um, and there'll definitely be demonstrations. Now, micro-faceted gemstones are everywhere at the moment, aren't yep. they? Um, and it's definitely something that we, Stroke Eye, have been asking you to get more of. Because I, this look, the stacker-style bracelet look, yeah. is huge. It is. Um, Astley Clark, I think, doing probably some of the biggest designs right. um, in this kind of size. Um, out of this one deal of the day, you're getting four strands of beautiful, genuine gemstones purchased by Marie um, with that continuity of size. Now, we have a quantity of 145, which is not huge. No. But you do get four strands. You do. So you'll have to just be quick. You'll just have to be quick with it. Um, let's get the clock ticking, shall we? So you purchase these all separately, because I'm, I'm looking at a selection here, which we'll go through those in a few moments. Obviously, some of the most popular of gemstones that we offer here at Jewelry Maker. And then you, you, you've you bundled them together. Yes. So when I purchased them, I would have stated that I wanted them to be bundled together. So it's trying to get... Uh, a nice, a nice value proposition, I suppose. What I'm look, I'm not so good with colours, so I don't. I would, I struggle to look at colours and think these colours go together. Mm. Luckily, I'm supported by a huge creative team. Yes. They help me quite a lot with that. Um, but so for me, it's the, it's the <coughs> gemstones that I know that jewellery makers love, uh, and that have an, a good value and will retain a value, and that will make a lovely. A lovely bundle. A lovely but deal actually, of the day I don't bundle. Think I did too badly on the colours. No, you did really well on the colours. <laughs> I was going to say these. Look good it's, it's especially for this time of year as well. You yeah. know, for the you know when you look out your window, it's these wonderful warm tones. Five seconds before the graphics appear. And we have actually got photographs that Marie took whilst over in China of the trends that you're going to see probably next year now, more yeah. so than everything, which, which does... Oh, that's uh, not. That's for something else, that one. Uh, on, uh, on. It's, the, it's the pieces of jewellery. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a very random photo as well. Uh, on it's the, lips, the pieces the of jewellery. I think, yeah, oh, there we go. No, 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 so, I'll talk about that in a bit, Adam, sorry. I'm not sure that you're allowed to take photos like this as you go around these yeah. events, but never mind. But, you, you know, if um, you look across any just of the... Just go back to that one for me, please. Okay. The previous one. Yeah. There's the little stars from that necklace. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, I can and see. The, I think the photo the is top. upside down, but, yeah. You could see that everything, all the charm bracelets, they all had an accent of maybe one or two or a little collection. Yeah, little of clusters. Faceted rounds. And then they were also in, you know, the earrings that um, 
that you've got for, with the Paraba, not those oh, right, ones. Yeah. The, that, These ones. Yeah, that effect with the chain coming down uh, and again with a little, a little cluster of beads at the bottom. So you that could was very do popular. that with these, yeah. couldn't you? And so when I went and looked in the marketplace, you could see loads of all these sorts of fashion with loads of these tiny faceted uh, well, gemstones. It, I mean, it's it, 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 it's a, it's a trend that's there right now as well. So if I if you go on my Facebook page, um, then I've actually uploaded a photograph of, of one of my favourite collector designers, Ashley Clark, which is a um, a really lovely jeweller. See if I can find log on to their um, onto their website website so um yeah i mean they're they're all over the place as well Ashley clark so they they are actually doing um their their bracelets in particular um jewelry i'm just getting it for you bracelets are all about uh sort of like the stacker style and they're micro faceted gemstones aren't they yeah. they're all micro faceted gemstones which by the way for some um of their even their quartzite ones were like 80 pounds yeah for just the one i mean if you sh if i show you again i'm not Entirely sure I should do this, so I'll be very quick. Because um, <laughs> that will make it better. Yeah, that will <laughs> make it better. But can you see how you've actually got sort of really beautiful... Do you see that there? Right. There we go. It's yeah, all this again, look. Again, the little charms. It just... Yeah, it no, just it's all... Everything a jewellery maker can make, isn't so it? So easily. Yeah. So, so, so easily. Okay, so going into bangles. Now, this look here is something that I've been talking to Victoria quite a lot about. Um, so, yeah, I think um, I think you might see something. But look at that. That's so... You could do that and probably do it in a matter of 10 minutes, couldn't you, jewelry makers? Faceted fancies. These are flying out the door. Um, and let's talk the about right the gemstones. Colors, they were all the colours in you. They were? It's as if I know what I'm doing. So, um, <laughs> you do know what you're doing. So, talk about the gemstone choices. So, I... I absolutely, absolutely love turquoise. Yeah. Um, I don't. I'm not. I, I'm not a massive fan of the really, really plain ones. Mm -hmm. But I like the fact that it's all mottled with different colours, and you get this amazing variation. And um, and turquoise comes from many locations, and it has huge price variations. Yeah. Huge. I can be offered a turquoise one day for. £20 and then the next day for hundreds of pounds. Okay, um, why is that so, then? Well, I have I yet to do it. I want to do a really big piece of research on turquoise and try and bring it onto the show of actually all the different values and understanding the different turquoises, but I just need some time. Okay. Um, sometimes it's locational, sometimes it's colour. Yeah. I know here we talk a lot about Sleeping Beauty t turquoise and there's a big value put onto that particular one, but actually the other turquoises also have very high value. Absolutely, uh, yeah. And are, and are very rare. So it's trying to bring all of that knowledge I'd yeah, like to yeah. bring onto the channel. Um, but really, I think it's down to beauty that they are absolutely stunning. I really, really like turquoise. So this is listed as orange garnet, but I looked at that and thought, oh, specotite. Yeah, it probably is. It probably yeah. is, yeah, but, yeah. but it hasn't, doesn't carry the specotite price tag. Yeah. Then you've got your lovely um, red garnet yeah. and also your rose quartz. It's a lovely combination. Four strands and each of multi those strands. multi -vowel. Multi barrel, yeah. I beg your pardon. Um, so four strands, 38 centimeter strands each. Yeah. That's amazing. Nice. So there's a lot of jewelry. I mean, I'm wearing a really lovely suite, um, earrings, necklace, and also huge carrot weights in this lovely sort of stacker style yeah. bracelet. That's so simply put together. If I turn it around, I, I mean, look at that. that. I love the detail with the little uh, spaces at the end as well. Beautifully done. It really is. Mm. It really is. Hats off to our Sue and Anne. Amazing. Now, they are flying out the door. We only have how many, did you say? 145. But you put this bundle together, um, and a bundle usually means that you're going to get um, additional savings. Is that the case today? I would hope so. Right now, we're at £14.95 per strand. Two millimetres in so, size. Yeah. And this is also, um, the cu the cutter of this one is my favourite cutter that I talk about quite a lot. Is it the lady? So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so I know that because I know immediately that's her multi-barrel. Uh, so, uh -huh. um, yeah. And so the faceting is really strong. So again, in the little video, you can see all the flashes of light and that is down to the amazing cut. So it's really, really important, the cut of the gemstone. I remember you telling me about her. So she's a female supplier and she specialises in cutting, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah, and she was So she does like kind. our pumpkin cuts, doesn't she? Does she does our pumpkin cuts, the weird and wonderful cuts. She does yeah. the beryl 
tumbles that I like, and her polish is always amazing. She does lots of the, she does lots of barrel for us. So the aquamarine strands, the rounds, which yeah. have the really nice polish. Lovely. And um, she does all that, and she was so kind, and she invited Simon and I into her factories, and she actually fought to get us in because the factories are so secretive, and right. they don't want anyone to see. So we weren't allowed to bring a film crew in, but we were allowed to come in and take photos okay. of the cutting. Unfortunately, I was extremely ill on that day. It was really tough. Oh, bless but anyway. Yeah. Um, and so um, we saw the different, um, we saw all the different ways that she was cutting, how she was developing new cuts. We went to her cut developer and had a look at the tools and which tools he was using uh, to create these new cuts. Um, and that's really for jewellery maker because obviously we need constantly new uh, cuts to come into the business to offer new products out to the customers so that you can offer variation in, in product. Uh, so yeah, so we actually went and saw all the process of how they cut such a tiny, tiny facet onto a gemstone. So when you're there, yeah, you're watching it, masterpiece, yeah, skill. Lapidus is not something that you just become overnight. It's something that tends to be decades of mm. training. And then we say £14.95 per strand. Yeah. But that's not what we're stopping because it is a bundle. And it was your choice to put it into a bundle. I know. <laughs> so that's an amazing deal of the day. The total carrot weight. Do we have the total carrot weight? 103 carrots across your beautiful garnets and turquoise and barrels as well. Um, so... We're meant... I might, shall I say that? <laughs> okay. We're meant to take it to... We're meant to take it to a bare minimum of £10 per strand. Meant to. 60 seconds starts now. I see your clocks pop back in there, Wayne. Look. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> meant to. getting used to, to this now, how it works. Like, meant to. Like the warning signs. The clock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the clock. When he starts whispering stuff to you that I can't quite hear in my yeah, ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. We've all got our own little so, language. Yeah, that's have. Yeah, but I'm getting used to it. There you go. <laughs> so. Well, then you said £10 per strand. That's amazing. And it really is amazing. Okay. But we're going to push our luck. Are you? Yes. Okay. Um, because it's the deal of the day. And if you can't do it, then when can you? And on the back of how mega the show's been already with your parade bear and, you know, your, um, your beautiful Indicoli and the Imperial Topaz that we've got still to come, we're going to push our luck. So 15 seconds, we're going to go lower. However, they've all got to sell out. We had 145. How many have already gone? 60 have already gone. I mean, these are super versatile and they're everywhere. You know, the, the focus of today's deal of the day is trend, trend, trend. It's bang on trend. It is. That was, that was the idea. It's just, and again, trying to get it ready for you for Christmas, for market stalls, trying to make sure that what you're selling is coming into trend next it's year. It's current. I'm thinking about all of these things when I'm out and about there. Mm. It's not just, you no, know, you don't sleep? bits of the gemstones. Your brain's always go, it's <laughs> it's ticking tick, over. Tick, 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 so is this going to be harder to buy, do you think, next year when the, when the trend is yes. like... The price, booming. yeah, so the prices will absolutely go up. Okay. Um, you know, we've had relationships with these suppliers for a lot longer. Um, it's it's great to see beads in the marketplace and it on is. the high street. That's lovely, but there is an effect that that makes my life harder. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. And I, um, and I can remember you sh sending me, gosh, this is going back to, I think, when you first started here at Jewelry Maker. I think you sent me a picture of a Chanel necklace, which was beads. Yeah, yeah. And that was thousands of pounds. Yeah, absolutely. So beads are... You know, faceted round beads are everywhere at the moment. Yeah, and I think, I think that's that's definitely going to affect the price. But they can't compete with my cut, so you know, I win. Uh, Yay! <laughs> so, so, uh, or the relationship that's so always going to continue yeah. to you, you, you'll continue to have. I will always have. So that we're not saying that you're not going to be able to get hold of these, but you you will have to. Like I said, it's your work is cut out for you. It when is. It's, it's my when it's, it's it's my work that that it is to make sure that the price is still, say, completely competitive. You just said in my ear, please don't shout at me. I don't really shout. No, you're not no, a shouty not person. A shouter. Not a shouter. And luckily for Wayne, I only stay angry for about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I can get really angry and then that's it. That's it. You move um, up. Right, but don't be disappointed then. Okay. <laughs> I think that's I think that's worse anyway is if someone's it? disappointed. Is it? That's it. <clears throat> so you you said ten pounds, didn't you? That's yes, what you said. That was ten pounds. That I was happy with. Okay, luckily I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to look. 
Okay, just so we just so we just push, push that look like just that little bit, okay. just that little bit. There were only one hundred and forty six to, to begin. I mean, you've got you've got there eight full bracelets. Yeah. From that amazing price tag. Um, you've got multiple little beady beads like this, like the, the suite of jewellery that I'm actually wearing. So, so how many do they take? About 15 beads or something? I want to say like. 12. I might be wrong, though. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I think uh, you should count the beads on the strand, Del. As a punishment for the price, you've got to count the beads on the strand. Um... <laughs> Okay. Actually, yes, that well, is Wayne's job. I'll Wait, tell you why what. Why don't you come in? I'll tell you what. And right. count the beads on the strand. You count those beads. <laughs> but are they inside? No, no. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know how I'm to joking. Do I'm that. joking. I'm joking. This is like a, a puzzle. A, bead, a beady bead. It is like a little puzzle. But look how beautiful that is. Yeah, it is really beautiful. As I said, I thought that it was you. It was your jewelry that you'd bought. No, yeah. no. It's I wish. It's so effective, isn't it? They are absolutely yeah. gorgeous, and that's literally just a little wrap loop there on top. Um, I'm loving it. And you could do, even if you just made these suites of jewellery out of this deal of the day, you're going to get tons. Yeah. Tons and tons. You only use, I think, probably about, well, let's say 12, 15. You don't use a massive no. amount for a beady bead. Um, they're flying out. The text in, if you know, jewellery makers, it's probably me being dim. Hello to you, Yorkshire. Hello to you, Somio, Barbara, Lynn, Ethel, Dawn, Susan, Pamela, Jan, Kat, Penny, Mary, Margaret, Tracy, Miriam, Carol, Ali, Jean, Pam, Tina, Agnes, Mary, Joyce. I can't, I can't say hello to everybody. What's... Ali, Jean. Ali, Jean. <laughs> Did I say Ali? She said Ali, then no, Jean. No, seriously. And that made them Ali laugh. Ali and Jean. <laughs> Ali, Jean. Mm. Absolutely. Ali and Jean. Uh, 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 yeah, not Ali, Jean. You said his best. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear me, dear me. Um, love that. Gloucestershire, say, um, Chris, Justine, you're going to have to all start checking out. There's tons of you with your baskets now. We have had sellouts, and we are going to have more sellouts throughout the course of the morning because we've still got, we've still got the Imperial Topaz. We've still got the Mineral Man Hour I without know, the man. I licked his hour. It's going to be really no fast. man. We no. should message him. True message. I'm going to message him. Should we like going, I'm him. Face no, he's too high risk. Oh, really? You can't FaceTime him. No. <laughs> it's it's it's. <clears throat> it is true. It is true. He's a massive risk. Every time he comes on air, I have to properly have a conversation with him about behaving himself yes, on yeah, live television. Yeah. But I quite like that, that there's that, there's that element of, of naughtiness naughty. too. Yeah, he's um, very fun to work But we've with. got an amazing hour um, of all of Alex's goodies coming your way, including the smiley faces. I know. I'm so glad they didn't Which is your, literally your Instagram picture. Them. Yes. <laughs> um, Marie's Instagram picture. A smiley face. <laughs> you hold a little they're smiley amazing, face. They're amazing. Thirty-two pounds. We should not have been at this price tag. <clears throat> We've got twenty-one of these left. They are huge at the moment. Take inspiration from lots of the designers that we do talk about regularly. I mean, I can't make direct comparisons to those designs, but you do know that many of our components are manufactured in exactly the same place. Absolutely. I mean, there's only so many factories in the world. True. Um, so, yeah, and we use some of the biggest factories in the world, which the other companies will also use. So, yeah. yeah. So I, rem I remember going to that one, which I know you said they've moved now. They've actually mm. got like a different, um, um, what would you they've call it, a, factory. They've done, yeah, they've it's built very high new tech locations. Factory. Yeah, most amazing factory. Um, I remember going there and actually literally see, it's almost like, it's, you can imagine, right, it kind of goes like this. Do you want to make a... Such and such, jewelry maker, such and such. You can see exactly the yeah, same. They do. Yeah, it's the same, you know, it's the same. There you go, there you go. There you go. Um, you're right, there's only so many suppliers in the world. There's only so many of these left as well. 15 of them. Oh, that really is, it's like, it's a mixture between your specetite and your hessenite. Yeah, it's a really beautiful colour of orange, isn't it? Yeah, mm. really nice. Spiced orange, mm, I want to call yeah, it. And nice. that's it, that's natural. Yeah. That's natural. The turquoise? It will be stabilised, I would have thought. Yeah. When which which is, which I, I always quote you whenever I talk about turquoise, like ST is responsible, isn't it? Stabilising a turquoise. Oh, yes, otherwise it wouldn't be durable enough for you to wear, so it would just all fall apart. And yeah. We don't want that to happen. So no. I actually watched them stabilising. Uh, really? I don't know what was in 
the stabilising vat, but I went and watched the machine, yeah. It was amazing. So what do they do? Do they, like, coat they, it? Yeah, so they put it into a high-pressure machine. Um, so they... Um, so it was it was a filthy machine. It was a big. Uh, it was like um, I'm trying to get my words out. So it's like a, a stabilizing oil that they were putting in, and obviously that had created uh, grease around the outside. So mm -hmm. that's what I mean by filthy. So it was this uh, big machine. It was outside, yeah. and then they'd put the material in, and then they were screwing the lid on, and then under high pressure, the state the uh, the grease or what whatever that material was, will go inside and make sure that that becomes a more durable material. Okay, and so they fill the any cracks and crevices. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's a porous material, <clears throat> not that you'd be able to look at it and think, oh, it's full of holes, but if microscopically it's porous. Okay. So if you'd worn it without, then obviously dirt and thing, you know, yeah, yeah, even yeah. oil from the skin would get in there and damage it. So, so it's all treated in its rough state and then it can go off and get this amazing faceting. Gosh, they're beautiful, Marie. Yeah. They're absolutely beautiful. Love that. Well done. Got a little cheeky extra uh, couple of pounds off each strand as well there. Wow. Okay. Well done, Wayne. My <laughs> goodness. What start by now? Oh, okay. So. So I don't know a lot about this then, apart from I can sit here and it's very pretty. Um, well. And then what did you say? There's hardly any of them. Yeah, we've only got ten. Oh, only ten. So we did. Uh, I mean, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm Post-it Note Central here. Um. We were, we were discussing on Tuesday, okay, what gemstones should we include? We've got you here. Uh, what gemstones? And, um, and straight away you start thinking about your high-end gemstones as well, don't you? Which Imperial Topaz definitely is. I mean, as the name suggests, it's the rarest mm -hmm. um, and tends to carry the most, the highest price tag. Now, we can do, and I will do in the future as well, I think we discussed this, that I will do a showcase of Imperial Topaz, because I love doing, uh, actually talking about it. But Wayne's brainchild was that, let's do an elite club. This wasn't part of my conversation. Yeah. Oh, was it <laughs> yeah. not? <laughs> no, we discussed putting Imperial Topaz onto the show. Mm. Then Wayne went away. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Did a Wayne So, thing. well, I was like, uh, no, I'll do the showcase. Because um, we were concerned about how much time we'd have. Um, and we will, we will bring them to you individually, but we want to give 10 p opportunities mm. to get all of them at a Marie's deal. Yeah, okay, okay. In a star bar. Now, this is obviously going to be more considered. Now, topaz, naturally brilliant forming. It's got lots of beautiful clarity, doesn't it? Yeah. Amazing clarity. It's a beautiful gemstone. But as the name suggests, Imperial is the one that tends to be the most expensive. And I can remember um, listening to a, a former colleague who were talking about going to the original location of Source, which was Brazil. Um, and watching in the Ouro Preto location of Brazil, watching the huge machines, you know, even though it's so scarce, a massive investment of, of machinery, and yet they unearthed in an entire day one imperial topaz. In an entire day. Um, but I love this. So, I, I mean, I've done my research, but I love what, what you actually gave to me there, Wayne. And it just basically says, you may have heard of Imperial Topaz, but do you know the story behind this orange and pink gemstone? Traditionally and exclusively a Brazilian gemstone, Imperial Topaz was supposedly named in honour of Emperor Dom Pedro of Brazil. Um, to differentiate genuine topaz from citrine. Um, and it does actually have a, a difference, doesn't it? It's more, a far, far, far yeah, um, different. more golden. However, on the back of that, um, because I've also heard that Russia yeah. have claimed that it was them that named Imperial Topaz after sort of the, the crown, yeah. basically. That's definitely the part I know. But I think that this is, quite, this, this make, is what makes this actual collection of uh, imperial topaz quite interesting because you've got a pink imperial yeah and uh, your sort of sherry colored imperial topaz and i think that traditionally when the russians named it imperial it was actually the pink 
Yes. Uh, and then over over time, the sherry has become the colour that you initially the go to. The pink is rarer, right? So as far as I'm aware, yes. Right, OK. So, I mean, they're um, both rare. Yeah, so that was my understanding of the stories. But in gemology, you are told a lot of different versions. You know, the history is uh, quite confused on gemstones because... They believe one gemstone is something, and then they test it, and yeah, it was actually yeah. the whole time. And people have described it as topaz, but actually it was this. And so, you, so sometimes you do get this sort of jewel story, yeah, yeah. where two countries have recognised it as something really special, but um, until you know, and then eventually we've all seen that it is the same material. It's, it's Just got an amazing. It's got two lots of history. I, I one like in Brazil I, and one in Russia. I love so, that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, like I said, uh, going back to sort of yeah, Brazil, saying it's um, they they named after Emperor Dom Pedro, who claimed um, Brazil's independence from right, Portugal. Okay. There's another story, but this has got a really beautiful high level of pleochroism with some of the most amazing uh, color displays. Um, so pink here yeah, being the rarest, usually the most expensive, but these wonderful, um, yeah, like warm Madeira like colours but you can spot the difference between um, a topaz to what other citrine because it's actually got much more brilliance yeah, doesn't it? Uh, to me the, I couldn't mix them up. No I um, think yeah. yeah because the topaz has a completely different luster to me this it's almost metallic mm -hmm. if you look at this it's not metallic but it's almost you look at it and it's very very um, very very shiny with this quite an unusual luster whereas quartz has a vitreous luster so it's more glassy looking yeah, yeah. Um, so then it's down to the polish but naturally topaz looks quite an unusual luster now just before we get the actual clock ticking um if i cast my mind back sort of six five years six years possibly and my first ever imperial topaz showcase um like there was an immense amount of pressure sort of said put in, you know, and rightfully so, this is not criticism, saying this is one of the most exciting gemstones to, that, we, that, we, that we were then bringing to that channel. Right, okay, we have only ever designed 100, I remember, 132 different designs mm, in, okay. in Imperial Topaz. We, you know, there would have been more of things like Alexandri and pink tanzanite is another one i put on marie's list um yeah uh, you know Challenge. there'd be more of those um that they would have actually put and they were all set into gold now just before we get the clock ticking because there is only 10 um wayne has has found some amazing images and this is to highlight because it's almost one of those things that i really want you to understand just how special this gemstone is even in faceted beads like this so this is an 84 carat faceted bead strand so is it a necklace or a strand strand it's actually a strand and it's 831 pounds and 86 pence i mean that's not ridiculous because that's 84 carats of of, of, of natural yeah. beautiful it's a little bit paparaccia isn't it imperial topaz because you get mm -hmm. elements of yeah. pinks and oranges yeah. together so i mean ours is a higher carat weight firstly there's more. 120 carats you're getting here of Imperial Topaz. Yeah. Right, the next one, look at this. I don't know if this is a typo, but, I mean, you can I mean, imagine... Maybe what... they're walking it over. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> they do, really do not trust the delivery services. <laughs> um, right, so Imperial Topaz in these absolutely beautiful faceted petals. These are current designs, aren't they? Yeah, um, nine hundred and ninety-six pounds fifty plus five hundred pounds delivery. I don't think they want to sell that. <laughs> no, just, uh, no, no, no. It's mine. I mean the price <laughs> for the jewellery. Yes, delivery. What no. is that? Yeah. Fifty? Was it meant to be fifty? Possibly. Even then, you know, five pounds. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then my favourite. There's one more, isn't there? Oh, there's two more. Okay, so oh yes, look at this. So that's. A one and a half carat, nice. 1.55 carat pear imperial topaz surrounded with a halo of diamonds set in 14 carat rose gold. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely stunning. And Beautiful. it's 1,346. But, you know, comparatively, that's one and a half carats of, of, of imperial topaz. Yes, the diamonds and the gold. We've got 120 carats here. Then... 
Um, something that I think is totally, totally jewellery maker as well. I've got this. Uh, I love oh, that this design. This showed us earlier. This is it really looks nice. like the gold has been poured the over the top. Orange, but other than that, we're all good. <laughs> yeah. Is that you, Wayne? Not spelling Imperial orange. topaz gold pendant. I think I think Wayne was getting all excited. We basically, can't spell doing these slides. Either. Yeah. Um, um, orange, deep yellow gemstone, fourteen carat gold statement necklace. Um, to be honest, it's really, really beautiful. That's isn't lovely. It? Do you know what? I, that I design really I've like spoken that. about, Marie yeah. on air, about really? I'm doing that with my amber. Yeah. So I bought that big amber and almost created like it's been poured over yeah. the top. 1,200, let's call it, mm. rounded up. But this is all imperial topaz. And we could have gone on and on and on and put more and more slides. They're all high value, aren't they? So, who would love to own in different cuts? You've got your ovals, you've got your drops. In the pinks and the oranges, you've got these absolutely okay. amazing pillows. Lovely. That's prakash. That is touch there. I can tell. <laughs> it's lovely. That is stunning. Yeah, it's got good taste. I love. I I love that strand. Your gorgeous plain rondelles and then your faceted drops. Who wants to own all of this? A lifetime parcel. Me. At the best possible. Yeah, me, me, me. <laughs> 60 seconds starts now. We're going to be bringing it to you at under £500. Yes, it is going to be considered. It's Imperial Topaz. It's always going to be more considered than many other gemstones. Oh, definitely. The difference is we can bring you colourless topaz. We can bring you blue topaz. And they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. But they're always going to be um, more affordable than Imperial, aren't they? Yes, yeah, definitely. This is the highest value of the topaz. Of all of them. Yeah. Um, and it's highly pleochroic again, so yeah, it kind really. of goes back to the Indicolite conversation yeah, that we does, had. Yeah, so you've got pleochroism within the within the topaz itself, and I think you can actually see that yeah, within the gemstones. Particularly yeah. the, the you've strand. you've got the pinks and you've got the, the beautiful sherry colours in there as well. You've got a nice range of everything, different cuts. It's lovely. It's going to be one yeah. for the collectors again, it is. isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, that, you know, just one, take one of those pairs and imagine that in a piece of jewellery, just one of those. I think you'd be able to get the money back for what we're about to take mm, this. There's boring. only 10 though, so this is a very, this is Bre this is Wayne's idea. Um, <laughs> he says passing like, the buck. At, well, to it, it totally is his baby. He's like, I'm going to do 10 at the best price. We can't afford to do more because he's taken it that low. Yeah, Wayne can't afford to do more. No, no. I don't think he can. <laughs> Naughty Wayne. 120 carats in this amazing bundle. And this is Russian Imperial Topaz. So Russia and Brazil, I think, mm. again, are those locations, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Russia and Brazil are the two main locations. Which is what so, you've got here. Yeah. That's what you've actually got. So without question, one of the world's most coveted gemstones. Um, yeah, there's some really lovely articles about this gemstone, the history, the myths and beliefs. I actually think, you know, some of these... It, one of those in a finished piece of jewellery, I think you'd be you'd be hard pushed to find um, a genuine natural imperial topaz at that price tag in a finished piece of jewellery. And it's so simple with your skills and your talents, just a little bit of maybe your precious metal wires, you know, doing your briolette wraps. You can recreate all of those designs. Now, um, we have 10 at this price tag. Two have gone already. I want to show you this. So that's a strand. Yeah, so it's comparable. A carats. strand yeah. of 84 carats. Okay, slight, yeah. in fact, yeah, less carats than what we've got. £831.86. We've got a variety of cuts and we're already massively, massively beating that price tag. So do you have the same situation when it comes to buying gemstones like Natural Imperial Topaz? Do you find it, again, is it one of those, have you got any of this? No, okay. Yeah, so it will be one that's on the wish list and Prakash will have hunted these out for me. Um, so yeah, we ask the business all the time, as you know, uh, what would you like? What would you like to see? Yes. Uh, and so this is one that comes up all the time. Repeatedly. And then Prakash is constantly looking and his team constantly looking uh, for materials that are, that are more unusual, uh, rarer. Uh, in fact, to the point that they travel, they've started to travel more to try and look for rough pieces okay. of material. Yeah, and they've sort of opened out into that marketplace as well. 
Um, so yeah, they. I, can, I mean, as I said, I can see Prakash's influence definitely uh, in this shape. He loves um, this. Well, he's he? got yeah, and he's got. They've got exceptional taste. You know, they've mar worked in this marketplace for many, many years. They know their gemstones, they don't do, they? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. You've got strands here of, of you know of length as well. Some of these are. Um, if I actually just kind of hold them from tassel to tassel, if you like, that's not that easy to do when you're talking about five strands. At uh, two hundred and eighty-seven pounds and seventy-five pence, six of these have already gone. Um, yeah, this. This one here is the longest. Um, I love them all. I think they're absolutely beautiful. So yeah, and, and we encourage you on a regular basis, whenever we're on our live shows, um, I don't know how many jewellers would do this, but, and I do classes as a jewellers when we're actually offering you gemstones like this. It's not finished jewellery, uh, but it gives you that potential. But how many times um, would you hear another jeweller say, I tell you what, here's one of the world's most coveted gemstones. Very difficult to get hold of that. But if you want to go and price compare and come back to me, then that's <laughs> fine. I encourage you to do that because I am that confident you won't find anywhere near as amazing as what we're looking at right now. That is not even your final price. Jackie, Satvia, Lynn, Maureen, and the Channel Isles, well done. You've, what's that a carrot? So it's like, the maths is too simple for my brain to, you know when the numbers are too rounded? <laughs> too rounded, I can't work out. What's that price per carrot? Two pounds. What did you say? Two pounds. <laughs> Can I have this one? Thank you. <laughs> you had to prize that off me then. <laughs> okay. Can we just show you this again? If everybody checks out, it's already sold out. Somia, well done. Who else? Who else was that? London. Merseyside, Lynn, I only 10 of these were allocated at this price. Hence why it's called the Elite Bundle. Is that because we can't afford to do this price tag? Hmm. Wayne's just said he'll, he will probably get in trouble for that. Is that true, Mary? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what Whatever a Marie and Simon sandwich. <laughs> no, that's not what he said. <laughs> oh, I thought that... <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I, um, I mean, we've lost Marie in, 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 in these... Luckily. <laughs> luckily, <laughs> luckily. So, is he going to get a telling off? No. Look at that pendant. That's so beautiful. We've got four in baskets for the final one. Yvonne, well done. And you know what? It gets better with this, jewelry makers, because when this lands on your doorstep, um, I love it. I, I did have five. Gradually, they're being... Uh, um, yeah, when they do land on your doorstep, <laughs> they're going to be... Um, you're going to be even more uh, delighted. So um, I've got Gillian there. Dorset there, Essex there. Yvonne has done it, Somia's done it, London's done it, Jackie's done it, Satvia's done it, Lynn's done it, Maureen's done it, and Channel Isles. I've literally got the final how many? One. You keep snatching them off me. I'm just having a look. Do you know what? You've left me my two favourite. Have, have I? I really love these two. I'd be happy with that arrangement if that was, uh, that was the case. I'd be happy. These are my two favourite strands. I love the golden yellows. Have you got a preference? I like the mix. I really like the fact that's mixed, but I like this cut, yeah. You like the pillows? Yeah, yeah. The pillow cut yeah. as well. Look at that. Mm. Seriously. If I hadn't have bought the Prabra already, I'd be buying this too. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, that does look nice. It does. If that was I think you should make a tiara with them. A tiara? Yeah, you know, that's imperial, isn't it? It is. Mm. Just rocking around in my tiara. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm going to knock the door. You'll be in your pajamas and a tiara. She knows, me. She knows me so well. Always in my pajamas. Here we go. Look. Oh, it looks lovely. Really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. hello. That is amazing. Who wants um, to purchase Imperial Topaz? But maybe you're thinking, I love that L, but I haven't got that budget right now. Don't you worry, because we can do them individually as well. Mm. Um, so we're going to start. They're described as barrels. Is that the pillows? 
I think they are the pillows, yeah. Um, so this was your caught your attention. Mm, yeah, Is that I like because the lesser facets more you can see of the gemstone? I think I can see the I can see the inclusions, which I like. I mean they're not like glaring obviously, but when I no. look at a gemstone, I look through it. Um I just really, I think it's quite an unusual cut. And that last slide that you showed with the dripping gold, I think that that would, it would oh, be achievable with that. Yeah, that yeah. would be absolutely beautiful. Um, mm. So one, that's using one. And just, I mean, we don't know the measurements there, but I shouldn't imagine it's going to be a, a huge crystal because Imperial Topaz oh, doesn't, doesn't form in, in no. large sizes, no. does it? No. Um, you're getting 20 carats here of natural Brazilian. So um, the original location of source was the Ouro Preto mine, which once was gold mining, wasn't yeah, it? Oh, so I want to go there. I'll come. Okay. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll come too. Um, but yeah, they exhausted the actual gold, um, the gold from that location um, following the first gold rush back in 1695. Okay. Um, but a new dawn um, appeared when it was actually discovered to be the the, the birthplace of this gorgeous gemstone, and it's it has it's almost like the gold has has almost had an influence on the gemstone. Yeah, it does look that way, doesn't it? It's, okay, it is beautiful, beautiful colours. Sixty six ninety five. I'm going back to the collection conversation when I first. Um, was at the conversation, you've got Imperial Topaz, this is a really immense uh, responsibility, Eleanor. Da, 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 da. Um, your one piece of jewellery was no way near a double-figure price tag, and they were all in gold pieces. Mm. How many's on the strand? One, two, three, count. four, She'll four count this five, one six, six seven, eight. She count the eight. <laughs> no, wasn't counting <laughs> the other one. How much? £10 per stone. Eight pounds. That's ridiculous. £8.32. For a genuine natural Brazilian yeah. imperial topaz. One for that price, absolutely. And, and in fact, more than that price tag. A and we're talking jewellery maker, obviously. They're beautiful. And it is, you know, in, with your imperial topaz, those lovely inclusions, that's almost expected, but it's also part of the beauty, I think. Yeah, oh yes, definitely. We love the inclusions. Because as I said, they're not really intrusive. You don't look at no, it and no, go, no. God, what's that? They're just subtly there. They prove it's natural. Mm -hmm. It is that natural material that you've paid for. It's not something synthetic from the internet. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's what's important. And when you look at that picture as well, going back to that yeah, pendant, there's inclusions, in, there, there's like, inclusions yeah. in that one yeah. too. Amazing, moving on. The pink drops now. Wayne, just before we came live, he was like, do you know, in fact, Wayne, you need to come out and talk about this. Go on. I said, you've got to come out, Wayne, and say that, because he's so passionate about this strand. Um, Wayne said... He's quite shy, look. He's not shy, Wayne. He's definitely not shy. But he said, I'll repeat it then. Wayne actually said, I don't get why this is still in stock. This is the rarest. It's the most expensive, the most valuable pink, and yet it's, it's still in stock. It shouldn't be in stock. And I agree. Mm. I do agree. It's such a wonderful colour. I've never even seen... I didn't know Imperial Topaz came in pink. Yeah, it does come in... Yeah, I think it was originally... The original Imperial was pink. Really? Yeah. yeah. So there's a story here, isn't yeah. there? So that's to do with the Russian mine, I think, is that when they found it in Russia, their Imperial Topaz was the pink version. OK. Yeah. So, and then over a period of time, as we've come into the sherry-coloured ones, that that's what we now think of as yeah, Imperial yeah, yeah. Topaz, but it doesn't mean this one isn't Imperial Topaz. I didn't, I didn't know so, that. Yeah. And I it didn't... is a really beautiful, beautiful colour, isn't it? It's coloured it's... by chromium. Is that right? So, yeah. I remember Carol launching it, and I think I popped in that one day. It was on my day off, and she oh, said, okay. do you know what that is? And I was like, no idea. No. Um, she was like, it's pink topaz. Um, 89.95. I'll count these for you, too, because I, I think... Yeah, now. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> making up. She's making up. Making for up for it, yeah. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. Wow. 20. You are about to purchase a parcel of Imperial yeah. Tobas. Because let's be honest, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's less than five pounds per. I don't like it when you break it down like that because it, it makes me nervous that something went wrong. How much? We're not even stopping there. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, he doesn't get it, Wayne says, I don't get it, I don't get why this is still in stock. They were, they were kept for us, that's what happened. 
And the the pink were the ones that were reserved for royalty, weren't they? Yeah. Literally, nobody was allowed any pink, uh, pink imperial topaz. Well, I'm sure imperial topaz was reserved for royalty, wasn't it? At one yeah, point. Yeah, that was definitely. That that's was, the yeah. that's the story. That's working out at two pounds thirty eight per pink imperial topaz. Unbelievable. Imagine this with the indicolite. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and the paraba. Oh, <laughs> that'd be beautiful. As the, but paraba sold out. Of course it has. Of course it has. Imagine this with. Oh, I'm going to say it actually with the black spinel. Yeah, that would look good. That would yeah. look lovely, wouldn't yeah. it? Less than three pounds. Per imperial topaz. That's not price per carat, by the way. Have we worked that out? Price per carat? Oh, Wayne's like, I don't know if I need to. I don't think I should. Thanks for that, Elle. Um, so, 533 per... Sorry, 333 per carat. That's amazing. So, when... Because Prakash uh, uh, heads the India team, doesn't he? Yeah, um, so he owns our Indian office. So when he's watching, and he's been here as well, it's always yeah. lovely to see him. Um, when Jewelry Maker is on in the office, which it is on a daily on, basis. All the time, yeah. All the time. What do you think he's thinking right now that we're doing to his amazing pink imperial topaz? I, I tried to think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet he might have wandered off. Possibly. <laughs> Just take a little stroll else. outside. <laughs> no, he'll be thrilled. He'll be thrilled that when... When everything's selling and he feels that he's done a really good job, because they are amazing. You've done an excellent job, they are Prakash. Absolutely amazing. An excellent and the loveliest job. people. Yeah. They really yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, really, really are. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. All done. Can't get those ones. <gasps> now. Where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. <clears throat> Tunduru garnet. Okay, um, right, Tunduru Garnet. Now, this was a very exciting launch that we had the other day. Um, and again, it's very much driven by location, this, because Garnet comes from um, lots of different places around the world. Um, and I actually have further slides, because I worked for hours on this. Oh, did you? Hours and hours and hours, because I hadn't spoken about Tunduru Garnet in, um, or a Tunduru Gemstone, to be honest, in, in, in uh, um, at length in many years. Um, so we actually have got, look at that. Mm, Firstly, beautiful. beauty is the number yeah, one thing, yeah. and that is beautiful. Mm. You've got a multicolored strand of genuine natural garnet. Um, I'm actually running out of time, so I have to be quite quick. Now, I do have a few slides. No. No? I'm saying no. No? The ones of the Tunduru mine, the map and everything. Where have they gone then? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon. Do you know what, though? Don't worry, because you know what I have got? I have my phone, so I can actually show you the pictures on here. Um, I start dialing through nice and early, because look, here you go. So this is screenshots, basically, firstly, of, of, of where uh, the, tun that's the Tundura location. So that, we'll get the 60 second clock rocking, there you go. So you can see that's the Tunduro location. So where in uh, Tanzania um, the actual situation is. And one, let me just one second. Um, if I just do it that way, where is it? Shows you that shows you the Mozambique belt. And the Mozambique belt is 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 the home for some of the most rich and abundant of be and beautiful colour gemstones, mm, isn't it? It's yeah. a geological event. Yeah. Which is fascinating. It is. That like Tanzanite is, is part of the, the you know, the Mozambique yeah. belt. Um, amazing. But then I also want to show you this. Statistically, do you want to know how much, how much um, garnet comes from that location? So look for the green. Statistically, very little garnet comes from mm. that location. The majority, in actual fact, is actually the sapphire. Um, so very, very little percentage. What would you say that is? Maybe three, five, mm, five yeah, percent, possibly. Yeah. Uh, graphics are live. If you weren't with me the other day, um, and it's something that is very little known, but even in its rough form, uh, Tunduru gemstones, garnet, sapphires, whichever. I mean, that's on my phone, so obviously it's not the best of image, but have got amazing clarity, haven't they? An amazing Beautiful. natural colour. Yeah. So that's one parcel prior to faceting. 
Um, so yeah, it's situated be- between Mahe- uh, Mahenge and Songia. So you've probably heard mm. a few of those locations. So look at that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm. If ever you want to pop along to the Tunduru mine, I'll come. Okay. Okay. I'll keep the mental But note. look at that. That's natural beauty. Worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity as well. Um, let's show you the strand because that's the most important thing. I'll so have to give it back. Look at that. <laughs> isn't it stunning? Isn't it nice? It's very autumnal, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And again, the really warm colours that yeah. will complement your deal of the day so beautifully. Mm. Um, I got really excited when I heard about this launch. I've only got a few of them left. How many of them left? Only uh, less. Oh, yeah. 30 of them left um, within the vault. Natural Tunduru garnet, which is a pinnacle location. Um, and it is the source where apparently lots of investment is going into, uh, in, into Tanzania mining. Um, lots and lots of uh, investment there because I guess it... Well, geologically, it's worthwhile, isn't well, it? Well, fascinating geologically. But I think you'll also see that a lot of the, like, Tanzanite itself would have brought a lot of money to the area. Yes. And the investment's being made. So uh, the industry as a whole now is trying to work towards making sure that the countries where the mining takes place are supported and financially supported. So not <coughs> all the money's coming out of the country with the gemstone. So I think you'll see things like investment in that area because geologically good. it's fascinating and gemologically it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. And making sure that all the conditions are right and all that sort well, of thing. Well, that's what's happening at the moment with Tanzanite, isn't mm. it? They're actually, they've closed the mining. Um, they're not mining at the moment, I believe. Um, that's not meant to be a... Um, a, a, a that's it. It's not meant to be the end of the road for Tanzanite, but I believe, don't quote me on it, but they actually certainly have closed it in the past to build the wall, um, to, 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 to really home in on sort of the, the employees, if you like, and ethical mining as well. So, like you said, investment, huge investments. There's no artisanal miners anyway um, around that location. I don't know about Tunduru, but a big investment into your Tanzania gemstone. And this is why it's the beauty. Yeah. It's the beauty. Really and it's so beautiful. lovely to know that the the communities that are surrounded are being, um, you know, are benefiting as yeah. well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Looking it, after everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And look what we get at the mm, end of it. 30 exactly. carats of natural beauty. Um, a mixture of your colours. Like you said, it's beautifully autumnal. Um, I mean, I've got hessonites in there. I can see a purple there. Yeah. I think it's... That's why I got my book out. Because if we look at the top of my book... Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah. You can see this the rainbow of colour. So this one, as I said, is, is the edition before the latest edition. Um, and when I studied gemology, it, they didn't have blue. You couldn't get blue. No such um, thing as blue garnet, that's what they you, said. They then. found it now, so it's not on the picture. Um, but if you actually look at that strand, if you took the, the really bright greens, your savorites out, the strand shows a, a whole range of the garnet family. I love that. So, uh, yeah. All of those. Yeah. So you've got the whole, you know, a whole range. It's one of my favourite auctions, actually, of, I think, this year, to be truthful. At uh, 69.95, let's take it down to its final price. It will look even more spectacular in natural light. Yeah. Because Garnet is one of those uh, show-off gemstones, isn't it? It, it is. loves light and attention. Yeah, and it's, it's another gemologist's favourite, isn't it? Tourmaline, <coughs> garnets, they I love garnets. Yeah. Because they've all got different refractions as well, which yeah, I think is a bit crazy. It's a fascinating material. So that's one, one day we should do a whole show on garnets. Well, um, yeah. yeah. Last time we did was on the birthday, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd be mm. up for that. Um, stunning. And a very, again, durable, natural. Yeah. Yeah. Just, and with all the different shades of garnet, I mean, that's an amazing strand. 34.98. I'm just thinking alongside if you were lucky enough to get hold of any of your imperial topaz. Yeah, that's very complimentary, isn't it? What do we think? Yeah. Ooh, that's yeah, really nice, isn't nice. it? Under £35, what an amazing Jemmy day. Um, <laughs> it is. Um, right, coming up though, we still have got an hour of the Mineral Man. But without the man. <laughs> That's okay, isn't it? So here's an amazing product. Um, so I hope you can, including the smiley faces, which is just amazing. Yeah. Now, there's one deal. If you want to bring the smiley faces, you have to do impressions of the smiley faces. I it's don't a want rule. to do that. It's a rule. I think it's you're a, good at impressions. It's a rule. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. And any questions that you might have for the lovely Marie, then do feel free to text in during May because we shall return after this.
Now this weekend is our magical winter wedding weekend and we have got the perfect deal of the day. On Sunday, we have finally got back in stock the Flexrite 7, which is our micro strand micro wire, which is perfect for your pearls for your wedding, which we have copious amounts of this weekend. So we haven't seen it since June. We are super excited that it's back in stock for you. So if you want to get a hold of it, you need to join us at 11 a.m. this coming Sunday. Hello everyone, I'm delighted to announce that for the first time in jewellery maker history, I'm coming on tour. I'm coming up to Harrogate on Saturday the 7th of December to do an amazing workshop. You'll be able to buy tickets for this workshop this Sunday during the morning show, the 27th of October, so we look forward to seeing you then. Hi, I'm Gemma Crow, guest designer here at Jewellery Maker, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about a project show that we've got coming up on the 24th on the Mid Show. The project show focuses on one particular project, which is a more in-depth piece that I can take you through the whole process. So we'll be having a demonstration every hour, and as we build through those hours, you'll learn everything you need to know to make this particular statement piece. It's not going to be a kit, it will be different components that we do throughout the show. So we'll start, we'll have that beautiful lapis, um, gorgeous carnelians, seed beads, and um, your findings and everything you need to make this as we go through. So make sure you can tune in on the 24th on the mid show from one till six to see this project in all its stages come together. Hope to see you there. Now this weekend, it's our winter wedding weekend. And what is a wedding all about? Well, it's a celebration of love. And if there's one thing that you're going to love this weekend, it's the incredible treats that we've got for you. Now, what's the thing that we think about with a wedding? It's pearls, isn't it? We've got every kind of pearl. We've got marbe pearls, freshwater pearls, potato pearls. We've got peacock pearls, you name it, we've got them. Even Baroque pearls. Also, we have got back in stock, we've got the incredible Dremel tool. And not just that, we've also got all of the different sizes of the pearl burrs for you and great availability this time as well. So hopefully if you want one, you'll get your hands on one. Also amazing, beautiful kits, perfect for wedding jewelry. And alongside that, we've got some of your most favorite guest designers. We've got Linda Brumwell, we've got Mark Smith, we've got Monica, we've got Sheila, we've got Alison, we've got Fleur. Gravy. Gravy, Jan Dwyer, the pearly queen herself, uh, all coming on air for you. And uh, deal of the days, I've just got to mention, we've got deal of the days with pearls, sterling silver, sterling silver three chain deal, and we know how you love those. And finally, back in stock after four months, the Flex Right 7 as well. It is going to be an action packed weekend. Make sure you are there this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Jewelry Maker for our winter wedding weekend. Oh, amazing how fast a whole group of people can disperse. I know, there was a lot of people Just in before here. the live yeah. show. Um, okay, um, so uh, Alex is awesome. And I really want to go up with you and have a little rummage. I know, I know. And I will be going again soon because he'll be back before Christmas. So, yeah, but he's out now. So this sort of thing, he's, he's bought specifically for jewellery makers. So when he was in Brazil, he bought this in, especially for us. They're so cool. So. Now, an agate slice, which are everywhere, and if you look on anything like, um, even big, like, big rep, oh, can you see it there? There you go. Um, big sort of home stores are, are selling our gate slices and they can be much smaller than the, you know, this little chappy that you're seeing right now. Um, but they can be sort of really expensive per agate. However, this isn't, these aren't just any agate slices because you might notice that every single one of these actually has an expression. 
Look at that one. He's adorable. <laughs> so, so agate slices are graded. So you can get regular agate slices, and these are the cream of the crop. To create the concentric pattern in nature yeah. is really difficult. Okay. So these are the best of the best. And Alex goes over to Brazil, and he's hand selected these for us, and then and then brought them. And he to does air. literally hand yes, select he does them. Hand so them. he'll only so, yeah. choose. I think he said, "Don't quote me." I think, oh, uh, I think he chooses. I what think he's th doing. Oh, yeah, I think he actually said there's one in a thousand. Right, okay, but just going back to the noise, right? So when you're doing that, they can't see you. They know. Uh, they, okay, because they all know you're what doing I'm doing. Is looking at a slice with someone going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they know. You know that's what he said. That not me anyway, or her, whichever okay. one. <laughs> She said it, not me. Oh, so this is the voice of the slice. It's the voice okay, of the slice. I'm getting there. Come on, keep Marie. Up, keep up. He's really <laughs> happy. Oh. Look! They oh, are amazing. They're oh, hang amazing. on. I think it's even clearer that side. Yeah. And so we also we also made sure there was a stand with everyone. Yes, you because get originally the stand. there wasn't a stand. And then I rang Alex and I said, "Well, the thing is, you know, we all use agate slices for multiple things. You've mm -hmm. got them as coasters, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, Caroline's just had them for a wedding, um, uh, and she's written names on them. And you might see that this weekend, but don't tell anyone I told you. Have you got coasters um, this weekend? Because seriously, I not, do need I, some. Maybe. Uh, and um, and so. But these ones, you know, they're so special and to, to find them, they're absolutely amazing. So I said they need to have a stand because you're going to display them, aren't yeah. you? You're not going to put them as a coaster. It, it wouldn't do I'd it justice. Do and they're, they're, I think they're incredible. Frame them. They're now, little, are little we starting with these? Of, okay. okay. Oh, 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 see, we got all caught, Wayne. carried away. Sorry, Wayne. At some point, at, that, at any point during that conversation, you said you, you could have said, told shush, us. girls. Yeah. We're not even starting with the smiley faces. She was just trying to make, but they are to coming to make the your noises. Way. That's <laughs> right. Uh, which first? Which one? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to get started with. This is super cool, especially on the back of. If you just got that paraba, you need this. Do you see where it come from? No. Oh, because of the copper. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a moment. <laughs> was yeah. so, I was like, because what? of the copper element that yeah. is present within your so, paper. This one, this is 150 grams of copper. That's so I have a lot. to get this across. It's, it's weighty. really heavy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's quite, it's, uh, it's amazing. So, so when we buy from Alex, um, we actually go out and hand pick the product. So as I said, Alex buys for some products specifically for us. And then also he has a huge warehouse. Uh, so I wait for his shipments to land in the UK because he travels all over the wine, uh, wine, all over the world with wine, I'm with sure. wine probably. Uh, all over the world to his mines and to other mines and deals all over the world. So those come in in big shipments and big containers. Be a pretty so I wait for shipment. his container to land and yeah. then we're in there right, and enough. select out all our product before it goes off to all uh, his other customers. And so Simon and I actually went out on this occasion and went through and, and selected these. And these are amazing. So, so heavy. Yeah. Aren't and, they? Copper's got a lot of... Uh, I mean, we can't say this is medically proven, it's not factual, but you know, many people will purchase copper for its medical beliefs as well. Yeah, um, but that's just a really cool object, isn't yeah. it? And we did copper spheres. I don't know if they're in today or if they've sold I out. I think they've probably. sold out. I think out. they sold out. Um, yeah, so we thought this would complement the copper sphere. Um, wow. So, yeah. And these are kind of last in stock, aren't they? So, yeah. Well, this is all like a little yeah. museum. You know, if you've ever thought about set, uh, setting up your own little gemstone museum, yeah, it's this kind of thing that I would, yeah, yeah objects to kind of put out and about maybe on your mantelpiece or your coffee table. Forty four yeah, ninety five so for that. It does have it, a piece of cork on the bottom so yeah. that it doesn't damage your surface. <clears throat> yeah, because it I would scratch, wouldn't it? I think that's really important, it? yeah. So here you go. Yeah. Here you are. So it will put, it will actually sort of protect yeah. the surface that I mean, that is amazing, absolutely amazing. The fact it is a prism again, yeah. um, and it's natural copper. Yeah, it, I just think it's brilliant. What a, a great thing to own. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you but we buy little knickknacks for around. You might for those of you that would just say, well, okay. I, well, I can't turn that into jewellery. It's just a nice object, yeah. you know, and we do all buy knickknacks for around the house, don't we? It's kind of that. Yeah. Or on your craft store or something yeah. to draw attention to things, people, talking points, I suppose. Oh, chrysanthemum stone. I never knew that that was natural. That's amazing, isn't I it? I thought that had drawn it on. was somebody had done it with yeah. maybe a tool That's like a Dremel. Stone. Yeah. That forms yeah. like that. Yeah. Did it you is. know that, Wayne? 
Did yeah. you know that, Leah? And we've brought it to you before as cabochons, um, but Alex did it as a, as a rough piece. So I literally thought that somebody had like almost dremeled the top. But I know, that's There's natural. two of these left. That is absolutely amazing, isn't it? So what is it that... that it's that... just the way it's formed. So it's grown in that pattern. And they call it chrysanthemum stone because it looks like a chrysanthemum. It's not actually chrysanthemums. No. <laughs> it's just no, the no, effects no. of a chrysanthemum. There's one yeah, of that's these. That's just what nature has produced. I mean, what a really cool paperweight. Yeah. I think it's just... Yeah, this, that's the sort of thing that I would keep. Yeah, on the windowsill, yeah. so that people are like, what's that? Yeah. What's that? But again, on your craft store, point of interest, What you know, what is that? Well, that's a natural. And once you're drawing people in, that's like window dressing to retail, isn't it? Drawing people in, that's the most important yeah. thing. Um, okay, so moving on, this is very cool. I've actually mm. asked Alex to get some of these, and I was like, I, so please. I don't know how this got on here, because this was a definite sellout. Don't tell the warehouse, because they were trying to pre-buy them before they even came on air. That Yeah, there was 17 of them or something, wasn't there? There wasn't enough. And they rang me and said, within the warehouse, more than 17 people wanted them. And I said, no, you can't. They, they're going, they've got to be sold on the channel. We're not allowed so, to do that. No, oh. exactly. They didn't do it. Look at that. There. Now, every single one will be slightly unique. They all come on a stand gone oh, well sorry. done we'll try to get more but you can the good thing is here i can blame alex for all of it he did say he's got more <laughs> he was good. like i've he's got, got more, more no problem there'll be in a container somewhere yeah yeah um he did say that and i was like cool because i want some oh look at that oh my goodness this one was two of these. these are amazing that is an amazing labradorescent simon and i hand selected all of these ones wow yeah and that is natural that's a huge free form. So again, you, the shapes might slightly differ, but look, oh my goodness yeah, me. Yeah, we just guarantee a minimum weight, um, you know, and that's a nightmare when you're trying to buy bits of minerals and gemstones and the supplies are like, but nature doesn't work like this. No, <laughs> like, no. Like, we know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Gone. Gone. gone, well done. Oh no, this could what be number? a very quick show. Just oh. one eye's just all gone. This is like my punishment show. And, Why? And these 18 customers didn't buy that because you didn't have enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> School report. Like name and shame. School just, report must yeah. try harder. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you must go out to the mine and collect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's only how many? Two. Palm stones. So palm stones are really, really popular as well. Palm stones and thumb stones we yes. do. And this apparently is something that you hold. And I have met someone who actually constantly holds a rose quartz palm stone. And when you go to meet her, she sort of swaps in the hands to shake your hand. And yeah, for some metaphysical yeah. reason. That, um, yeah. But just a lovely. Each, and these are all dogs too. So we met a chevrons, which is also dogs too. Sorry, Elle, snatching again. That's okay. Um, so you can see all the little triangles. Uh, can you see it there? Yeah, yeah. So you'll see there's a little, and again, Simon and I selected them to make sure they all had some triangles so you could see the chevrons. Uh, baskets with them. Hiya is sold out. Hiya Sue, I have one of the. Oh, oh. hang on, we'll Come get the reference to the next got one. one job. And then I. <laughs> <laughs> Now this... Oh, this is fascinating. So cool. So I've seen this all over the world, and it's really unusual. So if you pull up the graphics, because I've heard it being... To, um, it's broken. He's broken the graphics. That's um, I've, been sold, I've been told it's marble with spinel, but I think this might be calcite with spinel. Yeah. So they are... You know how earlier I was telling you about the spinel Perfect crystals? Perfect cubes. They are little tiny spinel crystals within this material. You see? And it is absolutely fascinating. And Red I saw a giant as well. one. Uh, I saw them in India a few years ago, and the, um, a few months ago. And then I saw a giant one in China when I was wow. there. Wow. Sue in Edinburgh saying, I have one of the uh, Ammonite Labradites, um, and everyone wants it. No! Hands off, it's mine! I don't blame you, Sue. I'd be you, like that Sue. too. Oh, I don't blame you. Ago. I don't blame you. In fact, so many of these items, they're just really cool objects, aren't they? For photography, I know we see quite a lot on your um, on the wall of fame and things like that. You know, lots of you display. I mean, if you had an amazing spinel piece of jewellery, you just would, wouldn't you, photograph yeah. it with Here this? Here it is. Here it is. So oh, look at that. That's a, that. So he's taken. They seem to grow in this sort of tree formation. All the ones that I've seen. And then obviously Alex has asked for them that to be cut like so that you can collect them. So it's not. That's how it grows like that in this formation. How much would that be? Oh, that was thousands. Yeah. 
I mean, you could, that was, it is enormous. I can't even tell you how big it is. It was just enormous. Um, but I've seen them in all different different sizes, and that is red and green spinel in that Ooh. one as well. And so I think Alex has Ooh. had them cut. That is the same. Um, yeah. This, so Alex has had them cut so you can collect them. So, That's yeah, absolutely, absolutely amazing. amazing. 19.95. Very, very cool. And it's red spinel as well, which is the most commercially sought after colour yeah. as well. Um, and you literally can see those little cubes. Um, okay, moving on. What number was that one? Oh, right. So Thank on the back of, things. you were saying about the rose quartz. Yeah, yeah. quartz. Another little pyramid, isn't it? Quartz? That's lovely. Yeah. Look at that. Really nice as well. I mean, like I said, that's an ornament to me, but there's nothing saying that couldn't be at the, you know, the, you know, the part of maybe a piece of jewellery on some yeah. uh, beading foundation. Yeah. Nothing saying that at all. It's 20 grams. Uh, 20 grams. Sorry, just a little bit of sticker, sticker on there. On it, yeah. yeah. 20 grams of absolutely beautiful, genuine rose quartz. There we go. Moved it now. Um, all coming your way at... Twelve ninety five, but these are last in stock, jewelry makers. Um, have we ever done an, um, an Alex show without Alex before? Well, I think they've played his products, yeah, but no, never. I've never done. But Alex he's show he, he's Alex. he actually said to me last. Um, he's lovely, Alex, isn't he? He's very he's he's, he's very he's lovely. One of my most challenging suppliers, is he? Yeah. But yeah. I like the fact that he's a little <laughs> bit of a loose cannon. He's I like that. A, much of a loose. In the cannon. best possible way, yes, of course. Yes. Um, he's a lot of fun to work with. He was saying that um, that there isn't a single month where he's not out of the country no. sourcing. I mean, he's hard to get on the show because he isn't in the country. So yeah. we have to plot him out for the year so that we can guarantee that he's in the country. Yeah. Um, but it's it's become such an amazing relationship because as I said when he's out in Brazil he's looking for these smiley faces for me he's you know he's constantly thinking about us and then buying for us and then that lands and, and that's really really special because that means we can get that before anyone else and um, so yeah and I'm right in saying as well what number sorry um, he actually doesn't have he doesn't do technology so Not at all. everything no. is in his head it is, yeah, you the go there, and that's part of the reason he's a bit of a challenging supplier. Is you'd say, how many of these you got? Oh, I don't know, there's a, there's a box. Well, no, and then, of course, we need them all to be minimum 35 grams. Oh, no, they come in all sizes. Well, no, <laughs> I need them all to be about the same. So. <laughs> there's only three of these. It, that's rubellite. Yes. In, oh. Yeah. So, again, another collector's. So, part of um, Alex, you know, you can see all the crystals. Um, Alex is, uh, we call him the mineral man. He has a whole range of minerals that he collects. So to collect pieces like this, this is the sort of thing I own as a gemologist and would have bought over I was going to say, years, I, I, I would of, like this in the studio. Well, my husband's classes as rocks. It's just like a house full of rocks. But these, to me, are fascinating bits of He knows of nothing. He knows nothing, only about fishing. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's, yeah. And electrics, collects. I do hope. Maybe. <laughs> You'll find out. Uh, so, 1995 yeah. sold out. Well done. Um, okay. 1616. 16. Oh, this is wicked. Oh, this was cool as well. Yeah, we hand selected these as well. So it's that's only... crackled on the inside. So that's a quartz point. And then it's crackled on the inside. Because so that forms naturally, nice... doesn't it? Yes, in that, yeah. that, that oh, point. It's been polished. Yes. But yes. And then they've crackled it on the inside. So you get this effect within it. Uh, with all the iridescence, which is where the lights got trapped between the cracks. Gosh, that's so beautiful. And then beautiful. it gives off the rainbows, so it's really, really pretty. How many of those, Wayne? Six. Ah. Oh, How why haven't I bought in? one of these? Well, that's because so you can't, lovely. Because they're never in stock for long enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. We have to. It's one of the ones that we have to lock down to make sure they don't. Just. Just. Yeah. Well, because just they get we get bought up, and then that'll be it. Just and then they won't. Off. Then they won't even get sort of broadcast on air. Yeah, no, I totally yeah. get. It. And probably staff okay. as well. Yeah, yeah. The we'll purchase them to too. Them. Uh, so 1995. So there's only a few of these. We're not saying we're not going to be. Look at the fire you're getting. Can you see? We talk about fire quite a lot in gemstones, and it's something that um, I, f I feel like we should explain because not everybody knows what that term means. So it's the dispersion from within the material. So the dispersion you're seeing here is from within the crackle. Um, that rainbow spectrum, yeah. isn't it? So it's a spectrum of colours that comes back and, uh, and your eye sees it as this rainbow of colours. And it is where the crack inside has created a very fine, fine layer 
That's there um, go. Yeah, and so when you look at it, when your eye looks at it, the right, the light is travelling at different um, wavelengths, so you're getting this rainbow effect from within it. So yeah, it gives off this amazing. It's the perfect crystal to actually show dispersion and fire. Yes, it's, isn't it really? Because yeah, yeah. like it's you said, good size. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, a, and it's yeah. visible. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Oh, I just bought one of these. This was one of the things that was in my basket. Oh, okay. <laughs> on top of my ruby light. I left it in my basket. Oh, yes, the amount of people that want I've one got, of these. I've, I've just bought one. Pyrite. So I've got, a, there's a giant one back here that I keep. So part, this is how pyrite naturally forms. That's Marie's. So pyrite, that's my one. Um, pyrite naturally forms as a cube. Uh, so no one's cut that, polished that. You can see it in its rough material. And there it is growing. And they all grow as perfect, perfect cubes. And I think it's one of the most fascinating pieces of gemology because people can't believe that someone's not cut that and stuck it on. No, I can't believe it. I can't. <laughs> it's and garnet's like, yeah. the same, isn't yeah, it? Garnet but, you grows, know, yeah. That grows in like perfect little shapes, yeah. so, doesn't it? Well, nearly all gemstones have these amazing crystals that they form in, in a way that they form. But I think pyrite, because it's a cube, and it's so shiny, it looks like a metal. People just look at it and think, oh, someone look stuck that. that on there. Cut it, polished it, and stuck it on. But that's natural. That is natural It's in the stone. In the matrix. Actually in yeah. the actual host, in host, the host rock. rock. Yeah. That's so cool. Everyone checks out, it's sold out. I just bought one of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, it was in my basket. I just, for that same reason, it's just a really cool it's object. It's just a great object to own. Yeah. yeah. If you want to be a gemologist, you're collecting for children. Um, you know, this. my kids love these sorts of things. We've got bedrooms full of bits of minerals and Sparks rocks. their enthusiasm, it does, doesn't it? It does. Um, okay, what number? Nine. Nine. Massively over -alloc. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? And do you know what? Just hold that. Doesn't it feel amazing? Yeah, it does. Oh, it's such a nice texture. Don't do you I? ever get it? Sometimes like, and this is why I almost, I'm not one that goes massively into sort of your myths, your legends, or, or so, I should say more, your medical properties. Um, I don't talk about that too much, but do you know sometimes when you can physically feel the presence of a gemstone? Yeah, it's that amazing. almost tingled, gave, gave me sort of ting, tingly fingers. Oh, it definitely, it's an unusual feeling. It's very light because it's opal. Um, and so, and then you can see all the little dendrites in the back. Uh, yeah, I mean, but it's grow amazing, naturally. isn't it? So they grow naturally and they're called dendrites. It means tree-like. And so you can see in there because it's a much bigger piece. So we do a lot of dendro dendritic mm -hmm. opal and agate, don't we? Um, but this is obviously a larger area where you can see the little dendrites. Look how beautiful it is. It is. It's so beautiful. And every single one, we say it's like, it's always like a Japanese art almost, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You can see the brush strokes, can't you? But nature. And, yeah. Nature. And translucency, mm. yeah. You that wonderful translucency within the gemstone. And it's really too. light, isn't it? Because it's opal, and opal is naturally light. It's much lighter than the labradorite that you just picked yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's a good point. And smooth to the touch. That's totally and utterly natural. You know... With Christmas coming, and we, we've all got people um, on our on our Christmas list that you think, what do I buy that yeah, person? Yeah, Something like this. And yeah, do a little write-up. Like, yeah, that's a really good idea. Something a little bit cool and quirky. Yeah, bit you know, that you can sort of... If they're an October baby in particular. Yeah, that'd be an amazing gift, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And of course, it's very festive looking. Twenty four ninety five on the verge of these selling out. Hassan Lin. These are our literally last in stock. No two will look exactly the same. That's the beauty of no. nature. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, but uh, so I'll leave those final four with you. Right, it is time to get our smile on. <laughs> are you going to make noises for all of them? Absolutely. Yeah. And it's obligatory that you do too. Oh, I can't do that. Um, no. no. <laughs> so these are literally bought specifically for us here at Jewelry Maker. And I th I'm, I'm sure, don't quote me, but I'm sure Alex said they are incredibly rare, like they one in really a thousand, rare. if not more. No, I've never had, I've never actually held one. I see them obviously in the marketplace and I see the spheres. Have you seen the spheres where they put um, eyes on them? And you can see well, glued them on. Yeah, glued them on. Yeah. Uh, so and you you see that sometimes in as an image, but actually to 
to have one. I, I mean, I've never naturally. achieved it. So, yeah, when Alex went over and selected them, he sent me photos. This is what he's up to. So, all hand-picked for us. You were very um, excited about the smiley faces. I really, I still am. Uh, you know, they're amazing. They're a yeah. star by, up next. Okay, right, these are amazing. And they come in different sizes, don't they? Yeah. So um, we've got an extra large smiley face. You've got the large, you've got the medium, and then you've got a small. But every single one of these, different colours, so not necessarily what, what colour. No, we um, couldn't guarantee the colour. No, but you are guaranteed a wonderful expression. Um, so starting with, they all come with their stand, and you were talking about that. Starting with this little guy. Isn't he amazing? See, don't they just make you happy to look at them? They do. Just think this is brilliant. They do. And that smiley face is obviously front and reverse because it's a yeah, slice. Yeah, sometimes you can see it better from one side to the other depending on the pattern. I'm down yeah. to the final four. Look at that. $44.95. Um, well done. We've already got people making confirmations. I agree. I'd frame these. I Would think I'd actually I pop think, them in a box frame. frame. Yeah, that's quite a good idea. I like um, that idea. Oh, amazing. And I love the textures on the exterior of them. I mean, and I get, and I get some wonderful gems that doesn't give the, get the credit it deserves, no, firstly, it I think. And this is amazing, how it forms in the concentric circles. Yeah. That, you know, that's a phenomenon, it really, is. isn't it? And you get these lovely little druzy yeah. inclusions within as well, which is obviously making part of his actual mouth itself. But the rarity of smiley faces. Yeah. There's three of these left, Suzanne, Janice. He's been talking to you the whole time, hasn't he? <laughs> Pick me. I really want to come to your house. <laughs> oh, it's worrying. Uh, <laughs> it's your fault. You put smiley it's not faces. My fault. If you put smiley faces, I'm going to do the silly voices. Um, but they're so cool. And obviously, um, you know, the reason why they're more expensive is because of the rarity of yes, them. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's a considered purchase, isn't it, for an object that's yes. going in your house. Lots of the uh, higher-end uh, uh, pieces that we sell, you're going to make jewellery with them uh, and add other value to them. Yes. But this is something special. This is like a piece of artwork. It is. It's, I, yeah, I, was, so, I, was, you just, I was about to say exactly that. It's no different than you going to an art gallery and paying an artist to do something. Yeah, it's something but really, this is Mother really Nature. special. Yeah, and actually, so, you wouldn't get many pieces of art for that kind of price tag actually no exactly and this is a one-off no one else is going to have your smiley face nobody, nobody in the world will nobody have, smiley will have the same smiley no. face as you no oh they're, they're just lovely aren't they they're, um, every single one of us if you looked around the studio right now is smiling <laughs> we are we are all bring smiling of happiness um, i'm going to leave that final one with you everybody so that was the extra large right let's do the large is next is this the large then i think so let's I, I think it's the that one. I don't know. No, I think they're the medium. Oh, okay. And that's the small. That's the small. Okay. We've got a different a a different samples. So, ah. Oh. So firstly, he's. <laughs> what noise does he make, Al? <laughs> he's a flobblob. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. He looks a little bit alien-like. Okay. Doesn't he? That's so beautiful that every single one on both sides. Hello, hello. Look. At... He's got really big, lovely eyes, hasn't he? And it's those concentric circles that make it very, very, very rare. There's only nine of the large. Um, I love the outside of them too, Marie. This is so yeah. beautiful. And how does it form? Is it is it, is it something like oh, geodes you're where my, they're... Yeah, you're oh, testing my geometry. So it, this is how it works in my head. Uh, so just to put that disclaimer out okay. there. So you've got a cavity within the earth, yep. which will then fill up with liquid. A bit like geodes. Yeah, like a geode. And then over time, uh, with the heats and pressures, it will, it will become crystals. And so you get these concentric circles as the different chemicals change within it. And then eventually that's where you get your druzy. Sometimes you'll then find that it will have... No, this one doesn't have a hole. Um, 
that some of them have the druzy inside it looks like as well. It does, so it? it's the it's the chemicals, the pressures, the temperatures changing as it's all forming. So it takes again hundreds of thousands of years of growth uh, to form something like that, and then yeah. And then you just, get a smiley face. And then you get a smiley face. So yeah. And the stand, don't forget, the stand actually does come with it as well. Um, whether you choose to use it or, or whether you choose to sort of box frame it or whether you choose to use it as just a really nice thing um, sort of on your coffee table or whichever. Yeah. I've got a three-year-old, so I possibly wouldn't do that. No, I've although, got the idea of putting it in a box frame. I think we should do that. Yeah, although, yeah. although she does leave the other ones alone now. She does, so I think it'd be pretty safe. Yeah, I think Willow would behave with that. I, I think so. She it, understands yeah. precious. Yeah. 34.95. Um, so beautiful. This down to the final. How many? Three. Three left within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone, everybody. And we, do, uh, we don't know for sure that Alex is going to... Never say never, but when I, he's he going to be able to... He certainly won't have any more this year because he bought... He did that and bought them all over for us. So, okay. So it'll have so to it's be, him be a going while. back to Brazil. See what they've mined, select the ones, so, uh, yeah. All the way over to Brazil. Yeah. Right, let's go for the medium. Now, I think we've got a few examples of the medium. I like this little chappy, because he looks a bit squiffy. Is that, is that a it looks like he's had a bit of a heavy, heady night. He, oh dear, he really has, hasn't he? Ah. Oh, I think he's how <laughs> I feel. <laughs> he's happy, though. He's just a bit blurry. Look at that. And then you've got another I've one got there. a different one. Can we put him next to that one? Yeah. Right. Uh, can you see his eyes? Yeah. He's got multiple very, eyes, Very, very, very cool. <laughs> there you go. So they've all got these wonderful expressions and smiley faces. Just beautiful. Now, this is the... You, you, again, you go by gram weight because it's not carrot weight. You don't no, want to go by measurements because they'll no. all be obscure. I mean, it's really difficult. And again, Alex has gone out and picked out the best ones and then... He, has, he won't be in Brazil weighing them all out for us. No. <laughs> He'll be saying, so we've said medium. I think the large didn't even have a gram weight. I don't okay. think it did, did it? Did it weigh in? Did it have a gram weight? I don't think the large and the extra large did. We just had to bracket them. Yeah. Because and you, sometimes it's really, really difficult uh, yeah, to do. But uh, yeah, when I there's bet. a differentiation between the small and the medium, then well, we can Well, there's a differentiation between, yeah. the, between all of them. You can definitely see those sizes, but... And they're different expressions. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's not set by carrot weight um, or even gram weight. Um, it's size, yeah. basically, isn't it? Yeah, and we it? buy them like that. Yeah. So, yeah. 19.95 for this lovely chappy. He had, a, he had a very... He had a fun night last night, that's what it is. <laughs> um, but he's really happy to be here this morning. These are... The, I mean, these... Um, the colours... Are, are these... These are dyed, yes, aren't yeah, they? Yes, so they're dyed. To, to this show is the off natural that. colour, I would have thought, this yeah. one. But, yeah, to show up the pattern, really. So the different um, materials take the dye in a different way, so you get the, the different uh, graduation of colour and that. Yeah, and then you can see you're smiling. I don't know if I should confess this, but I actually just... Um, I clean mine with just like a little bit of the spray cleaner. I don't think that will matter. Yeah, no. I just use your yeah. old good old flash yeah, I spray know, I cleaner and just um, and that works a treat. And that colour is still sort of as as, as energetic as ever. Nineteen ninety five Lynn London again, great gift. Yeah, this is a great Christmas gift, isn't it? It really I'd be is. I'm so happy to receive this. By the way, Mum. Uh, is your mum watching? I don't know. I have told her. She's not very reliable. <laughs> if you so are... You never if, know if she's watching. That's a lovely present to receive. Yeah, yeah. that is a nice Very thing. cool, very cool. Um, OK, moving on to the small. But they're not that small. small. I think it is. Yeah, I think so, it is. Yeah. This He's got face. three eyes, that one. He has got a few expressions as well, I yeah, can see. Yeah, depends which way you turn him. Which way you look at. So he's got this one, which is a... There's that one. He's talking there, isn't yeah. he? He's even got a little nose. <laughs> he could be both ways. Or it could be his mouth, yeah? Ooh. <laughs> they, they just, look, I feel look. my talents are wasted. <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what? I can't do I can't keep up. You can't, you can't. Deny that they are making everybody smile. Oh, they are. They're, I mean, they're, they're, they're absolutely brilliant. And how about we took... How many do we have in the small? Oh, there's 55. That's oh, good. That's a good quantity. That's a big quantity. I was yeah. expecting it to be less than that. One? They ran out we of time. We probably did, but actually I remember... Because it was I was with him on that yeah. show and we did run out of time. Yeah. So it was literally... 
on, on, gone, on, yeah. gone, on, gone. So how about if I said this was under ten pounds, jewelry makers? There's fifty five of these. Yours will look different. Like I said, they're all they, they'll all have their own little personalities. Um, they're just fab. I almost want someone to do like a little wire work body for them. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm sure someone will. Someone could. Yeah. Well, you do have the lovely Gemma Crow up on this afternoon. And do, I should point do. out, it's this. It's all about this on the mid show. Um, amazing, amazing designs um, that I know have been uh, we've been hearing about certainly um, ahead of on promos, etc. So one component per hour. Is that right? Yeah, with Gemma demoing. Okay. How to make this necklace. It's, the entire right, necklace. Wow. Yeah. So it's going to be a big, yeah, really big designer driven. inspiration. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, nine ninety five to get hold of one of your smiley faces. Half the stock has gone. Marilyn, hello to you. Julie, Fiona, Janice, Geraldine, Suzanne, Valerie, Sylvia, Jackie, Jeannie. Um, I really like these. I love that. I want I to just put love little... them. I think we should just Hang take on, some of these here. home with us out. <laughs> Shall we? I think, I'm fairly sure that's called stealing, but yeah, yeah let's. I like this one because I like his multiple eyes. Yeah, I like his multiple eyes. He's an alien. Yeah. I like that too. I feel that if I bought a collection, you could allocate them out to personalities, couldn't you? Like, this is definitely this child. <laughs> <laughs> the drunken face definitely fits a few people in the family. Christmas, you could, you could have a personalised Christmas dinner coaster. <laughs> I like that. Where am I sitting? You're look about you, the look drunken for the, look face. Look for the one. <laughs> this will be you by the end of the night. <laughs> uh, look, for the, look for the one that, that, that does that. Uh, it's like, that's a sketch of, uh, was it Little Britain? <laughs> That one. <laughs> no, I think you've got some sort of illness, to be honest. Catherine <laughs> Tate. Catherine oh, right. Tate. Um, yes, they're apps. That's a great idea. You've got the personalities, aren't they? I like the idea of getting a few of them in box frames, and you can get box frames for next to nothing. The ones yeah. in up in my lounge, for example, are from that really cheap shop that um, begins with a W. You know okay, the one? Yeah. Um, and literally they're just, just photos put in. But these on a little bit of double-sided sticky tape, so they look yeah. like they're floating. Oh, that'd be really good. Yeah. Cool. I'll have that for Christmas, please, Al. Okay. Sorted. I can do that. I can do that. Mm. Instead of chocolate. Yeah. Suits me. Or as well oh, as chocolate. as well as chocolate. Okay. okay. <laughs> <You know. laughs> um, Okie dokie. Right. One of your favourite Alex product is... Um, always always his amazing carvings mm. and these he does go to different locations and he what he mentioned was that he'll go to the the best as well oh there's some dodgy carvers out there yeah we've <laughs> Trust seen, me. Let's just seen some of the stuff that were offered you're like really and what is that oh that's a cat is it <laughs> questionable <laughs> yeah not so, these but though. alex does beautiful carvings yeah he's got great factories yeah. well the foxes uh, stroke wolves mm -hmm. are always one of your favourites. Up next. <laughs> I've definitely seen them. The wolves have gone. <laughs> there they are. There they are. There they are. Okay, they're back. It's okay. The pack is back. Um, they are absolutely amazing creatures. Do you want a wolf fact? Apparently they're bringing them back into the UK. Oh, okay. Up in, uh, up, uh, up in uh, Scotland. Now, these always fly, but I should mention that, yes, it's a beautiful carving with so much detail, but they also have the drill hole, yeah. which means that you could just literally suspend them. Now, these are very limited. How many do I have? Really? We've got quantity. Oh, so this is this is... one that we've reordered that's supposed to be on his next show? Oh, and good, again, jolly good. And, again, <laughs> <I'm well. laughs> and again, they are all quite a, a little bit unique. So you'll notice this one has got more of the... Um, Whiskers, yeah. And then look at this one. Do you see where I'm coming from? So they'll all be unique. There's the actual drill hole aperture. It's a good so size drill hole as well. Yeah, right? so you can put even your memory wire yeah. will go through yeah. there. Um, it's a natural rose quartz. The detail on these are just amazing. Down to the muzzle itself. 
amazing, amazing character. Um, and they've absolutely flown out every single yeah. time that we've brought them to yeah. air. Hence why I'm not surprised you've reordered them. Yeah, but I don't think they were supposed to be on this show. Oh. I think they were for his next show. Never mind. They're here now. <laughs> Go Oops. with it. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> These things happen. Well, we've only got the two. Oh, we've right. got the rose That's quartz, good, and we've got <laughs> and, and we've got the lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli is coming up in a few moments. I've got 120 of these. Not anymore. Um, by the looks yeah, things, probably not. No. no. Let's get the clock rocking. So hand carved. Um, carving or faceting a gemstone is one thing. Carving a gemstone. A whole different skill set. It is because yeah. you or not in some cases. Or That's what I've not. Seen. Um, yeah. So it is really, really difficult. And you've got to remember as well that each material has its own properties of how it will break. Mm -hmm. So the cutter has to understand how that's going to carve, how it will cut, which direction they've got to put it in. You know, if there's a big inclusion going through it, do they want that visible? Um, yeah, there's lots of considerations uh, when carving it. And a skill, you know, you can't do that overnight. It's going to be years of practice. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Can I howl? Um, I'm not... Uh, oh. <laughs> my, my, Who are, nobody asked you to do that. Uh, yes, they did. I didn't hear them. Yeah. Adam did. <laughs> okay. Adam did. I thought you said you'd. Can you no, howl? No. Nobody said oh, that. I'm, I'm literally hearing <laughs> <laughs> these things in my head. That's worrying. Uh, 60 seconds is up. The graphics are live, so technically we don't. Well, okay. Wait, we're not meant to have these. Never mind, just never go mind. with it. Just go go with with it. it. Never mind, never mind. We've broken the show anyway, so... It's done, it it's done, isn't yeah. it? Hand carved. So Hand like carved. you said, this is something that from generation to generation, like I'm using... Uh, let me go to... Bear with me on this one. Eda Oberstein. So that's passed on generation yeah, to generation. You know, something that you don't just go to even university for a few years and mm. learn. It's something it's decades. It's a family trade. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Um, and often is the case with your gemstones as well. Yeah. Gemstone faceting or carving. It's something that you learn as you grow, yeah. I suppose. In our cutting facility in Jaipur, it is its two brothers... Yeah. And then when we, when, as we've quickly expanded, they just bring in other family members who are all cutters. So it definitely is a family industry where they've all learnt the skill over many years. Wow. So, yeah. And that will be the same all over the world because um, Alex was talking about, and I don't know if it was in particular the wolves or whether it was the unicorns or whether it was from the other objects, but he says he will go to um, the best and also he really supports ethical yeah. um, operations as well. If he doesn't think the employees are being treated well, he won't actually deal with them. No. So that's being passed on to you. Wow. Okay, so a little bit of a heads up because we were discussing this earlier on. I won't say, na won't say any names... I have seen wolf heads like exactly like this elsewhere and they're considerably more than what's on your screens right now. Considerably more than what's on your screens right now. So do grab them whilst you get the chance. With the drill hole, you can use that or not. You don't have to, do you? No, I mean, you could do it. I don't know if you just keep it as an ornament. Again, that my boys would love that as a collectible just to, just to own it. And wolves are very big, aren't they? A lot of our customers, when I go into Facebook and you look at the customers, they, they're, you know, obviously wolves have a meaning. They do. It's, it, it, it's family, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Family, so it's like a pack strength. Of, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah um, I, I don't know, because you often see it as well in a lot of your sort of native... American so t-shirts yeah, and things yeah. as well don't you see a lot of those um, wolves in there so yeah I mean I don't really know other than it's probably family and strength and those yeah. kind of things um, so if you if symbolic, you're a big fan of that very yeah. symbolic yeah. yeah as many creatures actually are uh, Suzanne Margaret Jan Denise Eric Patricia Deborah keep dialing through I've got I've got one more have you oh mm -hmm. I've got two more. This I think is one of the most popular because it's almost like with the brush strokes of his of his fur. Here you go, Kimberly. Kimberly's been asking for the lapis one. It almost this for me would be the alpha. Yeah. His detail. It really that lapis allows you to see that fine detail, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It does. It, it almost does. It, it, it enhances the the yeah. fur. It does make it look furry. I know that sounds. No, bad, it does. But <laughs> it does. I get it. Yeah. Forty five carats of natural lapis lazuli. Ten of these. Yeah, it, I think the lapis lazuli has been one of the most popular colours. Right. 
You can um, see why, can't you? Yeah, you extra can. Extra detail. He'd be amazing in Labradorite too. Yeah. Um, but mm. lots of you have actually, have, uh, when, when, during the show, lots of you were messaging in saying, can I have this, 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 and this. It's not always possible to carve in certain gemstones. No, the one thing I get, I've been asked for a lot, is moonstone unicorns. Yeah. Well, the cost of that would be astronomical. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so, and, uh, so it's and then not Tom happen. keeps on asking me for smoky quartz unicorns. I don't know if we've done that or... <laughs> anyway, he keeps on mentioning. So, yeah. So, there you are. So, um, I do get asked for I feel sorts. like if you were going to do a carving out of smoky quartz, it should be something maybe a little bit more Scottish. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I feel something a like haggis. that. A haggis. A haggis. <laughs> yes, lovely. <laughs> I think we should do a haggis-shaped gemstone. Unicorn's the national animal, I think, of Scotland. Is it? Okay. I think so. Um, Unicorn is the national animal of Scotland? Something like that. I don't think they actually exist. they're not real. Yeah, they don't actually exist. <laughs> they're not going exist. to break anything. So. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Text it if you know the answer. I would have thought maybe something more like a stag. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think know. we're on dangerous territory. Yeah, let's not go there. Let's not go <laughs> there. Um, down to the final few. Again, perfect Christmas gifts. This one has also got the drill hole. And you've got the uh, sort of... The flat. Yeah, he's done it with the flatter back, which I think is quite clever, isn't it? Because Cheers. if you do put that in a pendant, it will sit nicely. Well, if I hold it with the tweezers... In fact, I think we've seen them on the Wall of Fame, but look, it's just going to kind of sit. Yeah, it's a really good size. Yeah. Some leather cord, mm. yeah. yeah. Very, very good. Uh, very cool, but very popular. So there's a bit of a queue on the phone lines. You're being answered, jewellery makers. We can see you being answered. Um, that's very cool. Which one would you go for? Lap I think you'd wear them all, wouldn't you? I think this one is more unisex, isn't it? So yeah. This was, whereas the the pink one is obviously slightly more feminine. Yes. I think this one can. We do go have for one more. Yay! <laughs> Number. It does mean you might not see them in the in the other show, but we do have one more. Uh, I don't have those boxes. Oops. Do you have number eight? eight. It's not in there. Oh, I do. <laughs> My bad. Here you go. Oh, right, we had 30, 29 now, because somebody's already jumped on this one. Now, if you know anybody that oh, A, nice. loves wolves, B, is, uh, loves amethyst or is yeah. a February baby, then, again, lots and lots and lots of meaning. That's so beautiful. Isn't it funny? Because, obviously, look at it like so, it's clearly a wolf. But, actually, when I'm looking at it this way, it's a little bit bear-like, too. Yeah. Because you've lost the 3D, I suppose. Yeah. Element. It is very clever. So beautiful, mm -hmm. though. And that's also like a... Um, you've got you've got the patterns the within chevron, there. chevron, yeah. yeah. lovely chevron. I think that's better than doing clear amethyst, because... Well, you, you can see more. It gives that extra texture. Again, you can see the carving, can't you? I've seen these elsewhere, considerably more than what's on your screens right now, jewelry makers. We only have 30 of, the, uh, 30 of them available. Amy, Penelope, Janet, Christine, Kimberly, Helena, Jacqueline, Susan, Holland, uh, Channel Isles, Camilla, Rose, Sylvia, there's lots of you there. Christmas is only something like 60 days away, you know. Oh, Leah's just looked at me with widened eyes. It is, it's only 60 days away. I you finished away. your shopping. You're one of those, aren't not you? Not far no. off. Yeah. I'm not far off it, yeah. yeah. Because I haven't had a chance yet. Yeah. Do you want a wolf head? I'll be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love a wolf head or a smiley face. Okay. And, uh, or, 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 or... Yeah, they've all sold out. Yeah. Whatever's to be any, to be honest, anything from today's show. Okay, that's all okay, good. That's okay. all good. Uh, Fourteen ninety five. Loving these on a cord, sliding knot. Job done. On the verge of selling out, and it's a natural Brazilian uh, wool fed too. Okay. Oh, this is an armadillo. Is it? An, oh, is it a hedgehog? Soapstone. Sylvia asked me for soapstone, but I think she's already bought this. What is soapstone? Yeah. It's a gem <laughs> material. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry. I did say this on air, though. It does look a little bit armadillo like It does, as well. I think it could be either. Could be They're either. Very similar. 3 95 They're just cute, aren't they? They are, aren't they? I mean, again, like your smiley faces, they're just going to make you smile, aren't they? They are. He's even got a smile. He has? 
like all good hedgehogs do. I like hedgehogs. I know, I think we should keep one in the garden, but I, that's not allowed, apparently. <laughs> Couldn't get out of our garden. It could you could mine. put a little arch in the fences so it could go uh, through I used, garden. I used to have uh, um, hedgehogs that were under my deck, um, decking in my old house. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> they were, they lived under the decking. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. And they were quite happy, bless them. Quite happy. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go to a product shot. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Thank there you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Under my deck in. Okay, okay. Don't keep saying. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is a really lovely unicorn. Um, and I believe <laughs> that 90% approximately of all um, the unicorns that, or, or I should say the targeted unicorns, end up being horses. <laughs> It's true. It's true. This is what Alex said. Because the horn itself is very challenging. Okay. It's the, it's the angles. It's a bit like... I think the you know, show was sort of half an hour too it's long. It's taken a turn. Uh, $24.95 for these. I'm only repeating what Alex said. No, it's true. They're very, very hard to carve, I think. so. Yeah. Um, and he has said that as well, that when you carve the, the horn, it is, it is not difficult. They're laughing in my ears. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is the most difficult part. But... And again, that's why we can't get it in all different materials. I think it's very dependent on the material. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, if it, if that does happen, I mean, you still are left with a, a really lovely... It will be a stallion, wouldn't it? A really gorgeous stallion. It's a genuine crystal, genuine gemstone carved like so. Uh, moving on to... Oh, this is so lovely. Um, do you know what I learned when we launched this? You know, you know Senior Director Ollie? Oh, these are really cute, aren't he they? Collects he collects bowls? Yeah. He That's actually unusual, collects little bowls. Yeah. He yeah. actually bought this. I don't know. I think it's just so cute, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. So you're looking at um, a 20 gram, a 20 gram fluorite bowl. Yeah. Um, of a genuine gemstone, I mean, yeah. how do you even go about? So I think fluorite, if you think about the history of fluorite and the blue john particularly, is often carved, isn't it? So, but to buy one of the blue john carvings will mm -hmm. cost you an absolute fortune. So blue john is a form of fluorite. So, yeah. so obviously they can carve it, but it is, you know, with all the, um, so it's got lots of different cleavage planes within it, which you can see there on the image. So, and I think that adds a little bit of, extra interest doesn't it well it's fascinating yeah. that you can actually because it's quite a soft gemstone yeah sold out gone 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 uh what number 23 oh it's a dragon's egg these are really cool oh these have been really popular so you asked somebody asked for hematoid earlier on didn't you mm. uh the red hematoid yeah they did yeah um so a dragon's egg obviously on the underside it literally looks like a, a an unpolished stone almost <clears throat> but when you look at it in its polished form I mean, look at that it reveals the beauty of mother nature it has they've been so popular in all the different materials haven't they i think the yeah. labradorite one flew out and we keep trying to bring every on each one of alex's show we keep trying to bring another one um, but yeah they're really clever aren't they yeah and again it's an object it's not necessarily anything that you would use in jewelry Although you possibly could, if you wanted to, it would be quite a big pendant. But it's a really nice object to have, um, for if you, especially if you'd go for sort of gemstones, uh, beliefs, and properties. Um, for those of you that just, I, I'm fascinated by their appearances. You see, and what was it that made that gemstone do this and that? Yeah. So, it's interesting, isn't it? I like that one because you can see the inclusions in it. You can yeah. right the way in. Moving on. Uh, ooh, aha. Shiver, Lingham. Now, I don't know. Should I actually touch this? I shouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jack picked these. Did he? Yes, so Jack is uh, one of our merchandisers, and he's lovely, and he came out with me to Alex's, and he picked all of these. So why 
Um, why are we all being so tentative so, and caught us around a shivalingham? So the um, obviously we can't guarantee anything, but it, that it is said that this is uh, helps fertility. Believe to help yeah. with all uh, sort of levels of fertility. And it's, yeah, and, and it's it's a really lovely shape too, isn't it? So it's an so opaque it grows stone. just like that. I saw one on my Instagram the other day, and that it was about this big. It was and massive, what in that shape? Massive. Yeah, and it grows in that shape naturally like that. That's how I understand it, anyway. Unless Alex has said different. But no. And in um, and he does all different sizes, so he does up to probably about that big, about the size of a loaf of bread, maybe. It's so in huge. In one yeah. huge stone. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Seven pounds ninety-five. Yeah. Um, again, yet the measurements comes in its own little box as well. Uh, totally natural. Uh, do you know, it's, 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 just, it's just a really cool thing. I think with a little it's bit really of fascinating. Yeah. Just a fascinating object. I was watching a programme last night, sort of mid, you know, in between prepping, and it was actually the actress from Black Panther that went over to look at, um, and was looking at these different tribes, you know, female tribes in particular, and they passed through this one, um, I, I can't remember exactly, but they actually passed through this one village, and it was talking about um, their beliefs, and fertility actually came up, and there was a lot of these kind of shapes oh, right, being okay. held within hand. So, well. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Moving on. Um, yeah, forgive me, I've not, I can't remember the exact, because I was mostly prepping. Oh, you see, I love this. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, there should be two, two tumbles. I've only got the one in here. There is two in a pack, because I picked them. So, yeah, ocean jasper tumbles. Everybody loves tumbles, don't they? I think they're really collectible. Yeah. I think they appeal to the child in me. When you were little, you used to pick up stones. Well, yeah. I did. Collect yeah, stones yeah. and shiny things. And well, you end up doing that as a career. <laughs> so, yeah. Marie, there's actually a shop local to us that actually sells um, little, they're much smaller than these, little stones, little pebbles of jaspers and all different sorts, calcites, those yeah. kind of thing. And I can tell you they're £10 each. Oh, they? Wow. Each, yeah. yeah. And they're smaller than these, in actual fact. It's very local to us. Oh, okay. Um, but, yeah, they're so beautiful, aren't they? You get this lovely high shine. With your jasper, you get... I get, like what we said with the agates, it's a gemstone that doesn't get quite the, the, the credit that it, no, it deserves. It and this one particularly, the patterns are beautiful. Yellow. Uh, moving on to... Ah! Stick with your temples. Oh, I love these, though, because you can see inside, they've got... You can see all the little inclusions inside. Yeah. So this is very you. I can see why yeah. you would totally choose. <laughs> you, you would choose all of these. Um, they're carnelian. Can you see? You, can, you can't really see them, can you? Oh, you would can't you see take them off there. Bit. Does that help? Yeah, here you are. I can see them here. You can see all the little inclusions inside the carnelian tumbles. They're really cute, aren't they? For four ninety-five for three. Who Amazing. wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Exactly. It's an yeah. added to your order price tag. Yeah. You you could incorporate these into jewellery if you wanted to. So I've seen them make. Um, I, I don't know what they're called, but it's um, wire that's wrapped yeah, and then yeah. you put them Caged. inside like a cage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think they would look amazing. They, they would look lovely. There, yeah. yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, but again, nice little. If you start your own little gemstone museum, we've spoken about those box cases. You use nothing stopping yeah. your glue in, uh, sort of sticking these. Those in, yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. Especially in someone like a like you know like a bathroom. I had this idea. You, um, I think it was at the beginning of the year actually, and it was think it was as we started introducing Alex's products when whenever that was. I think it was about this time last year, maybe. Was it? I yeah. Can't and I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to get a few of those box frames and I'm going to put them up the wall as you go up so you can oh, see all of these idea. really cool little yeah. gemstones. Um, so that's the kind of thing I would add. £4.95 only um, in beautiful, genuine carnelian. Um, it, it is a very warming stone, isn't it? And yeah. you associate it to, to whatever season you're in. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. I love the inclusions. A lot of the carnelian we see is very uniform isn't it? Mm -hmm. But this is, you can see nature in here, yeah. And yeah, it's an agate, isn't it, Carnelian? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so nice and nice and versatile, nice and... Um, good, tough. Wearable. Good, yeah, wearable jewellery. Glowing. Yeah. Glowing in its colour. Um, have I got time for anything else? Quickly. Quickly, quickly. Okay, 24. A thumbstone. Oh, you mentioned this. Ooh. Oh, they're so popular, these thumbstones. I get requests for them all the time. Uh, so, yeah, they're normally sellouts, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. If you, uh, you know, if you're one of those people that just feels that like you need to 
Yes. Oh, winner, winner, winner. Yes, yes, yes. So you can't buy that now because we haven't done the winner. <laughs> OK, no, we'll put the price on your screens. The winner of Marie's amazing... You've just won five carrots of Paraiba tourmaline. So Don't forget you've also purchased five carrots. You now own ten carrots of Paraiba tourmaline. Michelle Mason. Well done, well done. Huge day for you, lovely. Yay. So you're getting this very necklace and also the match years. Marie, you've been awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Sorry we're running Thank out of time. You. It's been great. Come fun. back soon. Yes. We'll see you soon.